Cause I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Good evening, Cart Before the Horse Nation. Live show starting soon. Make sure you get your popcorn, you know, get you a glass of wine, roll your dupe, whatever you got to do. Show starting shortly. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live Saturday night, Regal Rumble, Mr. Walker. How you feeling, brother? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan-freaking-tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bon Quishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Regal Rumble in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't No Fun Once the Rabbits Got the Gun Entertainment. What's going on with you this fine Regal Saturday? <laughs> We in the building. It's Saturday night. All right. Um, we here. We about to cook up. We about to cook up. As y'all can see, hit the like button as you coming in. As y'all can see, we talked about Gail the other night. We're going to get to her. We're going to mine our way to Gail. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh -huh. Boss Chicks. It says Boss Chicks must pay to play for companionship. There you go. And listen here. We continue to collect that and we ain't off base. We had a sister come up here. No, she was in one of the comments on one of our premieres today. She said, you know, she of age, she older, and she paid a play. And she happy she got her young man and she footing the bill. Now what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Take heed to the message, folks. That's all. All right. That's all. So here we go. We're going to get into it. Make sure y'all hitting the like button, no matter which channel you are watching on. I see some of y'all over at Carpet for the Horse. Some of y'all at Single by Choices. It's cool. You know, y'all know we don't care as long as y'all here and hitting the like button. There you go. Like, you know, or for the uh, detractors, 
and the little uh, spooky haters all the way in the back, the dislike button. Either or, you know, just do something since you're here. Do something. <laughs> so, all right, I see my guy, G Honda. He in the <laughs> building. He says, for the grill and Kelly Kale BBL and blue eyes. <laughs> you on Kelly Kale top. Man, heavy. Yeah, stop that, G Honda. Kelly Kale ain't been up here in the ages. <laughs> but like I said, she do got that BBL though. I would like to get her back up here. Oh yeah, that would be splendid. <laughs> and Jihanda come back. He says, This is for Mr. Walker's Fenty shirt, Fenty shirt fun, and Prius gas. Here we go. That's all right, Jihanda. We appreciate you. You always get you get it started. That's all. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. You tyrant. All right. You like the guy that you know you let run through the uh you know the football team run through the through the paper there you go like they, they let one guy go first though you know yeah yeah he did what they call him the team manager <laughs> <You know? laughs> God, six, six foot eight team manager oh, you'll get your tail on that field boy <laughs> <laughs> all right team manager shout out to el paulino she come through with the five dollars all right the super sticker and per, as always she come back with one membership at the Carpet for the Horse channel, one membership single by choice channel. So pleasant. Oh, so pleasant and also oh, thoughtful. Thank you, El Paulino. Shout out to El Paulino. How you feeling tonight? Um, also, we got a cash app here from the mass man. How you feeling tonight? Hope all is well. All right. So we appreciate y'all. Make sure you're hitting the like button as you come in. We're going to get into it. I see we got guests backstage. All right. First and foremost, we're going to get right into it. We got a newcomer to the stage, folks. I feel like this is uh, the Apollo. <laughs> hey, we got the, crowd, the crowd just is harsh, hell. <laughs> there we go. So we got a newcomer to the stage. He new to the stage, but y'all know them from the chat, very familiar folk around here. They mother loving one. What you talking about? So here we go. Give a warm welcome. It's a 22. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Shout out to Joker Nutty Nate, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Is this camera on me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yes it's, on. it's on. Okay. It's on. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, Shout out, oh, my okay. guy. All right, that made his way up to the big screen, folks. Okay, here we are. <laughs> love here it, we love are. it. We here, we moving, man. Welcome, brother. Yes, yes, yes. If y'all don't know who this is, this is Joker Nutty Nate from the chat. Make sure y'all go over to his channel and subscribe. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Make sure you drop your link in the chat, brother. Go Absolutely. over and subscribe to Joker Nutty Nate channel. Check Absolutely. out his music. Y'all know the new LP is out. Go over and check it out. Absolutely. 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 Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, so here we go. What you got? What you got, brother? Yeah. I just want to say, man, you know, I appreciate y'all. I'm loving what y'all doing, what y'all got going on. You feel me? Like, I've been watching y'all for a while. Y'all done elevated. You feel me? Gavin, I got to give y'all y'all flowers. Gavin, you feel me? You Dr. Dre on the soundboard and them clips, man. <laughs> Be doing your thing, coming up with Funky like every single day. And, you know, Mr. Walker, the gift of Gav, you know, with the <laughs> shirt and the, the, the suave and you know what I'm saying? So I'm loving it, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm here to give y'all y'all flowers while y'all here. You feel me? Appreciate you know, um, and, that, and that's funny that you say that because I, I actually kind of um, – Think about that sometimes myself. I'd be, you know, I've said kind of like the whole Dr. Dre thing, you know, because Dr. Dre is somebody he started off, you know, as a people know him as an MC on the mic, but mm -hmm. really he liked being behind the scenes producing. And he like, I can do both, you know what I mean? And then you got Mr. Walker, he more like Tupac, you know what I mean? So when, <laughs> when Dre, when Dre and Tupac got in the studio, and they made all eyes on me, you know what I mean? So yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just here to give y'all y'all flowers, man. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, man. Um, it'll never be another like him, but like, you know, I got hip to him, and uh, a friend told me about Kevin Samuels. I got on to Kevin Samuels, and 
it was crazy because I was going through some little situation and I got out of that and I started watching Kevin and man, that brought, he just opened my eyes even more about relationships and how man should be and how women should be. And um, you feel me when we lost Kevin, man, that, that, that kind of, that took me out a little bit, man, that, that kind of, woo, that was, that was a tough one right there. Man, I, done lost, I, I done lost a lot of homies in the game and in the streets, but Kevin, that, that, that one was deep. That one was deep. So just to see him gone. And when he, when he left, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to watch because I didn't really watch YouTube like that. I started watching Kevin and the podcasts. I didn't know nothing about no podcasts until Kevin. I started watching Kevin Samuels. Sure. So when Kevin was gone, man, I didn't know what to do. Sometimes it's, it's just hard for me to even watch his videos now because I used mm-hmm. to watch his shows faithfully when he came on. You feel me? I used to watch him. So when he Did left, you? so when he left, man, that 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 kind of that, that hit hard. But I got hit to the Theo. And I watched Theo, and then Theo put me on the y'all. So shout out to Theo Coop. You know, the Do Better podcast, you know what I'm saying? So if it wasn't for Theo, I wouldn't know nothing about y'all. So big ups to Theo, you feel yes. me? And um, yes. I'm too blessed to be stressed, man. I know that's right. I'm on the Regal Rumble, and you can forget about the rest. There <laughs> we go. I'm here. So we're, we're going to cook up. I also see we got another guest backstage. I'm bringing my girl up. Shout out to the Heathen Queen. Welcome, welcome. Right. I'm starting no trouble. You muted. How you feeling tonight, Heathen Queen? You coming to start trouble or what? You come in peace? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. I don't ever start trouble. What do you mean? Uh-huh. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh. <A> bullshit. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, you gotta so, have some kind of opinion. You gotta have some kind of contrary opinion on the stage. It might as well be me. Okay. Yeah, well, we're here for it. All right. All right. Also, I see my girl backstage, and we're gonna get into it now. I see Crystal in the house. Watch your mouth. Hey, Luna. hey everybody. Hey. Good evening. Welcome to the stage. Thank you. How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling great. Nice. All right. We got a wild show lined up per usual. So <laughs> see, we got Joker Nutty in there up here, Chris. I know. I want to say, <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I, I love what you're doing over at the ladies' night. You feel me? You be up here causing Thank chaos. You. you know what I'm saying? You know, but that's that's women. I mean, women, they cause chaos. Man, I mean, that's oh, just man. Joker. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but men are here to kind of keep it, keep it, you know, keep it in its lane. But I give it to you know, y'all, I give chaotic, it to y'all chaotic. But I love y'all. I love you. I love you. I love, oh, you. I love you. I appreciate you. You a savage, you know, classy, bougie, <laughs> ratchet, you know, and, you know, <laughs> you know, like and auntie, you know mm. big heathen queen, you know. So, but I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, ladies, there we ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the Rico Rumble. <laughs> yes. And we're gonna get right into it tonight. All right. So y'all see the thumbnail and the title. Um where we at. We said we're gonna talk about Gail later in the show. But the, the theme of it is boss chicks. They coming out and they're gonna have to pay to play for companionship. Especially men are saying over the age of 30. They're saying in particular women over the age of 30 gotta pay to play. Dang that 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 young! I can't uh, tell because just last week we had a uh, young buck uh, impregnate Drea. So make it make hey, sense. Hey, that, hey, look that, at Drea. It's, it's, and, and look at Drea. Let's context. Look at Drea. Like regardless of how old she is, she's some type of modern day ratchet sex symbol. So, she is a sex uh, symbol. I give you that. Um, but also too, I was watching a video with NBA uh, young boy. I think that's his name. No, 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 it was NBA Young Boy. It was uh somebody Chopper. What's his name? Yeah, so I know you're talking about NLB Chopper, whatever that rapper's like name that. is. <laughs> but um, he was like that he only dates women 30 and up. So I think it it's like it's this weird thing going on where it seems like the younger guys are starting to like women 30 and up. So I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna listen and see what's up. Right. Right. All right. So I'm bring, I'm gonna bring pull this video up, bring my guy into the room. All right. I this is going. 
to trigger alert. All right. So everybody, <laughs> clutch your pearls. All right. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, uh, Anton Daniels. All right. He has he has a message. All right. Uh-oh. Where, where we at? <laughs> let this play. Also, shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Let me see if I can let this play. Hit the like button. Put up the there, you go. there we go. Like Hit button. the like button. Get him. You, he- you heathens. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the like button, folks. Here we go. Black Women series where Melissa Ford and we saw Ebony K. Williams on there. And he made a video pretty much insinuating that black women or women above 30 with children are not necessarily the best catch, okay? I wanna play this clip and then let's come back. If she wasn't up, what makes you think that she wouldn't already be taken up by now? You think that she 30, 40, 50 years old and every single guy that ever came across her just missed out on a great thing? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Can we really have a real conversation? Every single guy through her entire existence on the face of this earth, they just fumbled. They didn't know what they missed out on. Everybody was crazy. And you the one that discovered the diamond that's been visible for the whole world. She on social media. She had all of the hot spots. She making herself available. And you the one that just discovered her, even though she had children by three different dudes. All of them didn't want her. Her daddy don't want her. Her mama's disgusted at her. Her grandmothers keep trying to hold her accountable. She didn't bust it down for God knows how many different guys. And you think that she was just hiding in plain sight and God put a veil over every guy's eyes that passed over her before he got to her. And then y'all let these simp coaches, man, listen, it's okay to get with that woman. You you just missing out on a good thing. Then how come everybody else before me didn't see it? So let me kind of read. So I'm going to stop it, dear. All right. So we get these women come up on the Kendra show a lot of times. And they 32, 35. You know, some, sometimes they got no kids. And people are like, why? And they got no kids. Hitting on, like Anton said, has every man they come in contact with? I mean, what's going on? Hmm. Um, I, I mean, I think it's definitely, uh, for sure, lack of self-reflection. I think in our culture right now, we don't ever look at ourselves. And I think, unfortunately, women, because men are a lot of the times afraid to or maybe just don't know how to say it um, or just sometimes even just want to spare her emotions, won't tell her what's wrong with her. And I and I preach this every week to tell a woman what is wrong with her her characteristics that are off or whatever it might be. So I think that's one piece of it, um, lack of self-reflection. But also too, I don't like it how he uses the extreme, like Gavin says, and digs in the gutter to find the prototype of a baby of a woman with children. Not all women with children have three baby daddies and ratchet and all of that. It's just the craziest blunt statement to say. So I think that's another piece that I definitely disagree with. And I think we have a misconstrued. Yes, is there a large group of women who don't self-reflect or ratchet, drinking and smoking and doing all kinds? Of, yeah, it is. But it's another uh, a large group of women who are not finding what they want, aka these are the same women who unfortunately leave marriages at the 70 to 80 percent rate. So my thing is, is it women can't keep a man or a woman can't keep a man or is it a man can't keep a woman? That's what I come to the conclusion. of. So that's what I'll say. So now how about this? I like to look at our dear sister, you know, picnic situation that she's let us all in on. You know, she ain't out here acting like no ratchet. She's all about accountability. You know, she preaches it and she ain't got a bunch of kids. She got one kid. And even she, her with her with all the picnic kids, is having a very difficult time finding a man. So I don't even think we got to dig deep into the gutter to find, you know, these examples to be true. That, that it's, it's tough for these sisters, these, like you said, single mothers over 30 trying to find the man that they desire. Here's the thing. There's a guy out there that will marry them, about a lot of them. But those sisters don't want that man. Because to hints of the show, they got to pay to play. So Joker <laughs> Night Nate, we get you in here. Why don't these women want to pay to play, man? They paying, man. They paying. They paying. They paying. They paying. I want to, but real quick, I want to give a shout out to my wife, my beautiful wife. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a shout out to all the beautiful wives 
yes, all sir. the ones that you know yes, deal with our deal with our madness, our you know clean our dirty drawers. You know what I'm saying? You know deal with you know deal with us our farts in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? You know <laughs> shout out to them. shout out to all the beautiful wives and my wife. But um, man, they plan they paying man they paying they gonna pay for what look you gonna pay for what you want. You gonna pay for what you want. You want that yeah. premium gas? You are gonna pay for it. Mm -hmm. You want that? You know, you want that Netflix and chill? You are gonna pay for it? Like, I mean, you gonna they they paying? They paying? They paying? Cause you are gonna pay for what you want. That's just the bottom line. I think the pool. I think the pool for women up to a certain age is plentiful enough where she doesn't have to pay to play. I think that pay to play is more towards older women who, you know, who have not aged out of the market, but who have stuck to their guns as far as men that they want have, are concerned and are disappointed well, that they haven't found that man. So now they say, I can pay for that man because I have enough money to pay for whoever I want. And then they do so. And let's not forget, let's not let's not make it seem like it's a bad thing. There are some beautiful women on this planet who pay to play. Okay, yeah, you got yeah. Demi Moore, Chris Jenner, uh, Gabby, Gabby, uh, you know, all these people. <laughs> yeah. Chris Jenner, you know, do you, uh, think, her, you think her uh, husband yeah. is over there because she's so fine? Uh, okay, Demi Moore married Ashton uh, Kutcher, <laughs> and Ashton Kutcher was like 27 years younger than her. Wait, Ashton Kutcher. They ain't paying to play with Ashton Kutcher. They ain't paying that. These you talking Give about? I'm talking about. I'm talking about older wait, women. Wait, well, wait, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we say rip the hip, we ain't talking about people like to uh, bring up the couple of Rihanna and her man. That ain't ripping the hip. That brother no. got massive amounts of resources. He may not be reaching a billion like a Rihanna, but there's at some point, rich. Can we agree that rich is rich? You understand when we say rip the hip, we mean these sisters gonna be going in a pocket saying what you need for this week, what you need for this month, paying frogs. That's what talking about. That's the Amazon talking about. drivers. We talking the Amazon drivers of the world. These guys. No, I don't think nobody paying to play that young. Nobody is paying to play. Uh, young uh, women that are in their thirties are not doing that. Maybe forties and fifties women. Well, th listen, I, I want to say thirty is the new forty when it comes to women. <laughs> yeah, but these women are said, yeah, they said 30 was the new 20. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, funny yeah, how fast black, they change. Yeah, orange is the new black, sugar is the new crack, whatever. <laughs> I don't think they've gotten to the point. I think it's a I think it's a specific demographic, an age specific demographic that would be paying for playing. Women in their 30s, I don't think they're doing it and in some of the 40s, but I know. Older women do it. As I said, I gave you a couple of examples. Gabby Union, uh, uh, Demi Moore. Yeah, Gabby Union wasn't a young girl. Examples. See, <laughs> like, Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade, like he's broken. But why would I? Why would I, as a fifty-year-old woman, why would I be paying for play for another fifty-year-old man? You're not. I'm not. Paying, I'm, not I'm paying for somebody younger, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. But but, but not young and successful. Young and driving a Honda Civic asks you for gas money. Amazon, we just, we just did it. We just did it. A you 30. see it. I, we see it happening with celebrities and you know I, celebrities all the time. Yeah, celebrities all the time, and and I get it because they still have money too. Right. Um, but they still a lot of. It. We got to take it away from you for a sec. We talking about these regular CEO women that say they make two hundred k a boss chicks. No. no. The um, ones in the 30s are staying singles per statistics. Right. Um, and the ones that are 40 and 50, I would really say 45 and up are right. the ones who say, you know what, I don't want to be bothered with a man, I don't want to clean your drawers, I don't want to do this, blah 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 blah. Right. Uh, so they say why are they single though? They're single by choices. Won't they're say? single by some of them are single by choices, and some of them are single by choice. My choice. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cow. <laughs> because they haven't found what they're looking for. They haven't found something good enough for them to stop spinning. I talk to them all the time. Yeah. So, we, so we saying, so we saying, thirty year old women, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, You saying they're not, they're not paying. That's right. And, paying, and I'm but, sure there are some, right? We're not going to act like we don't see the guy I mean, off his girl. Really we're in a time age. We're in a time zone where like. Cash through everything around me. 
So a woman, if she want to be around this dude, I'm not saying she got to pay for everything, but she going to pay to play with him. If she want to be around who him. Is the 30, my thing is, who is a 30-year-old woman dating? A 20-year-old man? No, yeah. whoever the man is, she going she gonna to come up out of her pocket. Like, he going to come up out of hers, but she going she gonna to pay to play with him. She going to pay to play with him. If she want to be around him, she going to play to play. Now, I mean... You know, a trick is a trick. So if the dude want to pay for everything, that's cool. But if if it's a different dude and he around the girl and she gonna pay to play if he won't if he if he won't stay, you feel me? I, I think that's and that's um, yeah, that's not a good thing. I mean, if a woman, I mean, unless she really knows that like I'm just here to play to pay to play or play to whatever, then that's cool if that's the agreement, which most times it is. But I think when women just do that out of desperation of not finding what they want. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. You straight I mean, to well, if just, you to, just if you go to a vacation spot or you go somewhere out of town or you to something like that and you just want to have that experience, of course, some people pay to play. They may be young and they might, you know, spend some money, some drinks, and all that kind of thing. But a normal everyday woman is not out there saying, I'm going to pay for him because I want to get him. And I'm 32, but I and he 24. I'm going to pay for him. Right. Women don't women don't need to do that. Yeah, you talk women are years. still in their thirties. Here's the thing: they might not be paying like right up front, like our girl Maggie, uh, money to hand. But like these sisters come up here, these boss CEOs, and they will find a guy that they like how he built and all that, and they say, "Come on, hey, you want to start your own trucking company? Mama will pay for it." Ripping the hip, she got a guy. He ain't too much in his financial stride, but they gonna rip the hip to try to get him there and and make him what they desire and they doing it there's videos showing it they they hiring these things. there are some that's so small though. that's a small number. we agree they got they know that energy so they going they going they going to pay for it they we gonna agree pay. we agree i'm not saying trick and i'm just saying that the woman she going to pay to play she wants that energy especially if it's a dude she into especially yeah. if he's 666 we she agree, except we agree with we disagree with your age range. Oh, we I'm not agree about no, no, no. I'm, 30, I'm 37. I ain't talking about no 20 year old. I'm talking about 30 and on up. Like we said, yeah, 30 and we, we can agree. We, we can agree to that. Gonna, she gonna pay for any age, though. I mean, now, I, I, I personally, I, 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 I think it's a small. piece of live. I'm just saying, like, age ain't nothing but a number. She gonna pay to play. <laughs> That's what well, I say. This we can't. I don't know when we're ever talking in majorities and when we're not. Because if we're talking in majorities, majority of women, based off statistics, a lot of those women in their thirties, even twenty-five and up, are single right now. So the thing about it is, it's not. Yeah, we could talk about. But but real quick, Crystal, not to cut you off, just to what Joker was saying, we get these women come up on the Kendra show, and they'd be like twenty-four years old with two kids, talking about I don't want no man come up here leeching off me, asking me. And it's like they be paying Nug Nug and them be extracting whatever they be extracted from these women. Yes. Young right, women like sometimes, that? sometimes they come on the show and they be like, they say, Oh, you know, have your own car or don't ask me for no money, have your own money. Because they've done they've dealt with that. <laughs> so because they pay for the gas, they pay for the movies, they pay for the popcorn, and then they come on Kendra and say, Well, had this, had this because they so okay. Done. Let me ask y'all a question then. Let me ask y'all a question. So I could agree that, um, you know, women go through a uh, naive state, a naive phase. I feel like that happens teens, early 20s. So there's they- a naive phase. Uh, Chris, I'm sorry, sis. I feel like this is this is a uh, a, a compound. So now women have a naive phase. A phase well, where- men, don't young men have a phase where they're still growing into a man? It only has to be natural that a woman would have a naive phase so where she is kind of like money doesn't matter stability doesn't matter i just love him or i just want him so i don't totally agree disagree with you all even ebony said it last week she tried the whole college student you know i got you bae i'm gonna have your back most women have you know i'd be lying if i said they haven't but it normally happens in late teens early 20s when they try that it doesn't matter what you have i just want you and they quickly learn by 25, hopefully, that that's stupid because ultimately... Well, you you, th- you theorizing right now, Crystal. You're not speaking on reality. You're speaking yeah. in theory about... Is, man, you speaking, I, I, yeah, I, you're I, speaking I, like, like you're giving a lecture to your... But in <laughs> theory, we talk about what's going on in real life. That's what we're saying. I've so seen that, saying, Crystal. I've seen you? it. Now, here's the... We, now, yeah, what Crystal said, I get it. 
you know, these sisters go through that time where they hold them down, they've seen it and lived it. So I can't, I can't be a hypocrite at the same time. We can't say, we can't like saying that now that's a phase. I feel like that's like a hood norm of a phase. Like we can't say now it's this naive phase for the younger generation. Why? Why not? Because for the younger generation, they're going to take that as a cop. I say, I'm just in my naive phase. No, no, no. I don't think it's a cop. I think they should learn from our mistakes and not do it. But then at the same time, then, then the guys will say, you got an age of gold diggers then. If it's like, if you can't build with that man and accept him for where he is, then you're called a gold digger. If you do it, then you stupid. It's like women have a very difficult space to be in sometimes because it's like, you don't want to be shallow and care only about the money. But when we've had those periods in our life where we like, you know what? It's my high school sweetheart. I love him. I don't care if he just wants to play video games. This is the person I love. They wise up when they get a little bit older and they're going to get tired of that if that man doesn't grow out of that phase. So that's the times I've seen it where I can agree with you. That's all. What, that's is that well, do we have the same, same definition of pay to play? Because I think of pay to play meaning I'm paying for companionship. Yeah, I'm paying too. for the sex. I'm paying for that because I can't get it any other way. I'm saying older women might do that. I'm not saying women who are in a rela- a girl who's in a relationship who's 20 years old. And he doesn't have a job, but she's paying the bills at the house. That's not pay for play. I don't think so either. I, think I mean, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the older women who are paying to get the affection, who are paying for the sex, who are paying for a companion like Chris Jenner is paying for her young man to be in her life. That's right. pay to play for me. What are I'm you all talking about pay to play? I'm saying, I'm saying both. Both. Combination. But the first yeah, one is the young kids is not pay to play. Combination. Yeah. I mean, you can, what you mean? I'm, yeah, but both. the first one, the, the the 24 year old who has a boyfriend who doesn't work, that's not paying for playing. Yeah, it's not. It's I mean, it's being it's silly. Like everybody it's, got a dollar in their pocket now. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. And it, and I mean, they being young and dumb, but that's not paying to play. Yeah, it's a difference. Yes, we're talking about older women who are paying for and intentionally knowing I'm paying for this. D. Right. I'm paying for his sexiness and his strength and right. she knows consciously I'm doing this on purpose. I right. think when those younger women do it, that's just a phase mm-hmm. most women go through where they don't care about money and stability so right. much. They care more about love until they get a little bit more logical. Right. Right. Go ahead, Gav. Do we have the same definition or we don't? Go ahead, Gav. I, what you, I think <laughs> you both, I said combination. I'm saying pay to play, okay. or you know, when you're with your man or your husband, you gotta, I mean, you're still paying to play. I'm just saying, like, you gotta you gotta put a dollar down, you gotta put a dollar on the table. I mean, you go to the casino, you gotta put a dollar down to play. I mean, whatever. I mean, rather you want twenty dollars or a hundred dollars, you gotta just put a dollar on the table to play. That's so we're I'm not saying. doing the definition, right? We just no, I'm saying, saying, I'm saying both. you want to so, use tonight. The, the the woman that's paying eighty percent of the bills, she paying the play. You know he ain't what we calling that. No, she's paying a bill. She thinks that she's just doing bringing a hundred and hundred, like we talking about. She I thinks she's just bringing a hundred percent of her resources. Her man is still trying to get his trucking company together or get his whatever he's doing his trade. So she <laughs> thinks that she's just being a good wife or a good partner by giving him time to grow into the man that he's hopefully going to become so that's and romantic great. right and it's romantic yeah and it's a romantic it's, relationship if the it's age not, gap ain't that thing. big i'm writing that crazy train if the age gap ain't that big so if this yeah, the age gap isn't big if she okay. if she 30 and he 29 okay i'll ride that but if we're right. talking 45 and he 25 right that's no different. ain't no building <laughs> that's different right. right let me get these super chats real quick and i'm gonna pull this video up Shout out to your daddy plug. He sent the two dollars. He says, I'm here to get triggered by Crystal, but I love her though. All right. <laughs> the beast come through. He says the starting five lineup is emasculate. And shout out to the panel. Immaculate. Immaculate. I'm sorry. Immaculate. Oh man, where I'm at. <clears throat> shout out to the beast. Where we at? G Honda. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not doing all that. <laughs> you trying to change your name. G Honda, stop, 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 Gav. Boy. I heard you saying something about Mr. Walker, not Tupac. I was laughing at that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he says, Crystal, you know damn well them beta simps tell 304s what they want to hear to get into the sweaty, watery, you know what. <laughs> oh. 
we talking about men, men paying women paying men, not men paying women. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> All right. The B says because they broke credit cards maxed out. G <laughs> Honda, salute the Joker Nutty Nate. He says older men can come in and fund women's life, but a woman most definitely can't and don't want to pay to play. Is this camera on me? Mm-hmm. And that's and what I got it. We, I'm about to say we got a good example. She about to y'all about to be blown away with this. Okay, bring him up. We ain't tripping. Shout out to Triple X. He says HQ <laughs> would pay for Denzel. All right, they can. Oh, you're goddamn right. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Divine photos. He says, like I always said, if a woman really likes you, no matter what age, they are willing to pay to play, move mountains for a man they truly like. Mm-hmm. That's that not true. a bad thing, but they be picking wrong. And Goddess Bella, how you feeling tonight? She says, peace and love and life to everyone. Appreciate you, Goddess Bella. All right. Shout out to B. Wyatt. He says, John's, all right, he must be from Philly. John's <laughs> will pay to be with Nugna if she like him. That part. What is a John? What is a John? Oh, that's a slang. <laughs> slang. Oh. Yeah, that's that Philly slang. What's John? Yeah. Just women, folks? John, John yes, yeah, folk, folk in them. Yeah, folk, oh. yeah, folk in them. <laughs> so, shout out to Divine Photos. He says, Fanny Lewis paid to play. There you go. He says, Gail paid to play. So what makes the average woman self-proclaimed bosses who offer basic things refuse to pay? Those are rich women. Yeah, and if she's super, if she's young, she's not going to want to pay to play. Her hopes are still going to be up in the clouds. Not if she got children like almost 60% of them do. They still still not paying to play. And that's the problem. You see what I'm saying? Women, they're still not paying to play when they no, got no, 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 60% of them got children, and on top of that, about 80% of them OD. So, so they all out of they all caddy wampus. Who said 60%? I thought it was uh, I thought it was 52%. Let's see. Here we go 52%, 60%. Is okay. are we really, is it really that big? Oh, like 58 but uh, think about it. Say 47 and months. rising. Let's be fair. Whatever the number is, it's rising. Can we agree to that? Who said that? No, I heard the birth rates are down. But just be positive about it. Like, if if a woman overall, overall woman got three kids and she's dealing with a dude and, you know, they go out and she pays, but he gives her that, he gives her that energy, that protection you feel me that guidance and she i'm not saying bad like negative pay to play like pay to to, to be with him, like you know sleep with him nah just whatever thing positive is pay to play that's what i'm saying just think about it on a positive level why women can't pay to play men pay to play no matter what the scale is right about. but i think right joker uh to your, like to what you're saying i think the reason why is because it's this it's things that the majority of women want and it's the thing of majority of things it's a majority and, of and the, and the, the piggyback off what you said, Crystal, about the birth rates. Like you said, the birth rates may be going down, but obesity's up, and you know, women dating each other's up. So y'all all out of whack per usual. Well, no, I'm not saying that it's I'm not saying that that we're on track right now as uh, humans, humans, no. But what I'm saying is that um uh yeah, that's fine, but uh um what Joker was saying about the uh Damn, I just got. What did, what did you just say, Joe? You said something. What, what did you just say? I have that effect on women. I'm sorry, but I'm oh lord, no. Y'all sir. was going down the page. Let, let me. I'm about to say. Let me get the rest of these real quick. All right. Shout out to Sal Bill. He says even young chicks pay to play. How many of them buying Tyrone them new J's or Xbox? Then when they order, I'm sorry. Then when they're older, they break off that welfare and taxes. But that's not pay to play, though. What is that? What is that's, it? A, that's a regular up and down in a relationship. He he does the same thing when he has. No, money. he don't. He, he rarely provides, ever. He rarely ever reciprocate. He, hey, yeah, he let's, let's, for yeah, let's stop. Let's stop. He pops some babies hey, up in hey, there. Ain't no respectable man 
looking at his woman, he looking to build with talking about can I get them J's and the Xbox? Yeah, like what the hell are we talking so, about? So that's the thing. Not- that's why this ain't this ain't built no man. These that's what we saying. Even the young sisters, they like you said, maybe they're in this naive phase and they think they're gonna ride with this guy and they but they paying. Yeah, we gotta stop acting, they're gonna continue to pay women. Will continue to pay higher and higher prices. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully women will get back to their nature of what they should be doing and stop thinking that they can buy a man. Well, you can't you see cannot. that, Crystal. Y'all, they fight for equality and feminism. This is yep. what y'all want. Yes. Ooh, what do you mean fighting for equality? The, the fight for equality, first off, that's going to be a fight for a long time. But what I'm saying is it's not smart for a woman to be, um, mo- in most cases, you know, be the one be playing the man's role. In most cases, that's not going to be beneficial for her, no matter how you flip it. Because as women, we just want certain things. And as men, they want certain things. And when you get to flipping it, AKA the woman who wants the fine man and she don't care about nothing else but how he looks, Kiki Palmer, stupid, right? That's not a good move to make. Right. Or the man who's like, man, I just want the money and I want to kind of live off her. It never, it doesn't work most times. That's That's just what I'm saying. Right. Uh, right. Tell you what, when Nug Nug can always make out in these situations, I think Nug Nug dang near batting a thousand in that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Shout out to Richai Media. He says, What's the bounty? Shout out to Richai. It's coming, Richai. Uh, the Beast, he says, Damsel in distress out. Beauty, beautiful bums in 2024. Yeah. There you go. Shout out to Diamond. That what happened to the damsels in distress? That's that's how y'all started uh turning this around the femininity. <laughs> Shout out to my guy TJ, the real bravado. <laughs> he come through with the twenty dollars, says salute fellas, showing some drive by support and peach crystal 2024. Yeah, boom, <laughs> Crystal for vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to TJ, y'all. Make sure y'all head over and subscribe to The Real Bravado. Hopefully TJ come up tonight. Be nice mm-hmm. to get TJ up here. Mm-hmm. Um, undisclosed username come through. With files. <laughs> <laughs> so when women do it, she just being supportive. When men do it, they're simps. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when we do it. So yeah. Yeah, where my girl die, man? Dang, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Birds of a feather. They flock together. This goddamn way. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, we got yeah, new dime drops. Two- we got new dime drops coming, y'all. Be but those are two totally different. Those are two totally yeah, different things. Oh, uh, when if you're doing, if you're paying for, you're paying supporting a lifestyle household with a man. That's being in a household with a man that you're having relations with. I think the word simp has gotten way out of context. Yeah. A simp is a person that does things for a female, specifically a, a man who does things for a female and she has no feeling for that person. She doesn't no. like that person romantically. Uh, that is a incorrect, simp. Incorrect, incorrect. I'm saying incorrect. to us women, to you men, it's something else to us okay, women. Okay, so let's, let's get simp. there. What, what do you think us men think a simp is because I think what you said was incorrect. So what do you think we think it is? Any man that supports a woman with finances and money? No, that's insane. No. We, a, a as simp, women. A simp, it's, it's a combination. So a simp no. is a guy that is, that is, what they simp, they sympathetic to a 304's behavior. So this woman been out here loose no. and wild with, with her set. No, I'm telling you what men say simps are. I'm telling you, don't say no. Man. So, okay, so man. This, 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 <laughs> this woman that been wild and loose with her, with her womb. And this guy comes to act like ain't nothing wrong with it. He's like, oh, she's a queen. She ain't do nothing wrong. He is being too nice. Just, and his, he only got one objective. That's, he got one objective and that's to get some draws. He's and simp. our definition of a simp. He ain't there for help. We you don't understand? care about. We, we call him. He's detrimental to the woman. He's not good. He's only Let me give you my definition, me. though. My our definition as women. Our definition is me. Our men who we have no feelings for, but we know he likes us, so we let him do whatever he want to do, whether he want to give us money, support, or whatever. Our definition of a simp is different from you. You all think it's a person that we want to have around, and he's just doing things for us. 
A simp to us is a person that does a whole bunch of things, but we don't concern ourselves about it. Like if we talk about Russell Wilson, Russell Will, why is Russell Wilson? A he is not a simp. Man? I'm saying why is he a simp to men, but he's not a simp to us women. Right. Because we well, have it's two things, like you said. What a simp he is. Well, well, it's like when you know, women get to talk about pick meeks and stuff. Men don't look at it as a bad thing, but women do. So that's just one of them things. All right. So uh, shout, shout out to Triple X. He says, if Crystal was single, she would pay to play for Michael B. Jordan. Right. No, I wouldn't. He's not my type. Okay. Shout out to the beast. He says, hope doesn't produce results without action. Amen. Richard says, Gavin, get the bounties up. All right. And El Paulino, older women have to pay to play because the more money they make, they tend to look for younger men. And and younger men tend to be looking for them because they know they like if these guys like I keep bringing up the young college athlete if he know he got stuff going on for him he gonna approach that old cougar because he knows she a lonely and he know you can't get no better meat hunter than this ain't nobody checking for you all right so and there you go and they gonna pay they gonna pay a little bit of tuition and it may look like they're in a relationship but but time will always show it's gonna end. Can I- can I can I just say something real quick? Yeah. Simp is a man who is seen as too attentive and submissive to women, especially out of failed hope of winning some entitled sexual attention or activity yeah. from them. There we go. Says. See, there we go. It's yeah. somebody, it's somebody that we don't we are, we are not interested in in that way, but we he does things for us for wants to give us money or no. whatever. But we he's, don't care. He's there for draws that is not in your best favor. Yeah, he's there for draws, but he's not Is he your, is your ally? Is a simp an ally to single moms? Yes or no? If he's giving her money, I would assume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, he right. get, if he get, I'm saying we, as if we call him a simp, that means he's doing things for us and we are not reciprocating romantic Feelings for that, and I think simps also are like a cult c- cuckolds. Is that what they call a cuckold? Oh, oh, like, oh, he's oh, like oh. a dude who just doesn't care about. He knows he's not going to get it, right? So he can just keep paying, and right. if I can, I can persuade her with my money, right, to give it to me. And she's been, and a lot of times those girls are kind of mean and let him know, like, I don't really feel you like that. It's right. kind of more like a brother or a friend zone, and right. he just keeps trying, right. Um, but we don't. We are not giving him any romantic attention. So, okay, we don't desire him like question, that. That's a lady. Derek Jackson was Derek Jackson a simp? Derek I'm gonna let Jackson. this play. I'm gonna let this play. Y'all let us know if this is a simp. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I said, bro, you don't realize what these women go through just to meet with you for a date. Let's talk about time first and foremost. A woman who doesn't even know you. She met you at Target. Okay, you're a stranger to her. She decides, okay, well, let me create time to meet with this man for a date. Time that she could be using to spend with her kids, her family. She could be using this time to make money. And yet she's still budgeting time to meet you. Let's talk about preparation. The hair, the nails, the the, the feet, the, the, the shoes, the dress. Beauty is a process. She's taking time to put herself together to meet with you for a date. And once again, she doesn't know you at all. The least you can do, brother, is pay for a meal. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't have to meet with you at all. You're not paying her bills. You're not doing anything for her in life. And if she chooses to give you some of her time, the least you can do, brother, is pay for a meal. Come on. So, I don't know. I, I have something. Um, I have something, and I think everybody would like this. Pander, not a simp. Once you get the cat, then you might be a trick. See? It's easy to... So, he would be what y'all say is a panderer. But I don't think so. I think he's just a guy like keeping it real when it comes to some women. Um, we know that there are some women who put men under food and stuff like that. Um, but then, yeah, like we said, a simp hasn't gotten a cooch a lot of the times. That's right. And then and once he has gotten it, he just paying to play. He's a trick right. now. So a go. simp and a trick are not the same thing. And a panderer right. is not a simp. Not all times. That's Correct. all. It's yeah. just how you... Oh. Okay, okay, simp. So there we go. We're gonna get real specific in 24. I dig it, Crystal. So simps and pander bears, either or, they're not good for the group. Yeah, and that's my thing. That's that's my only pushback. I don't care what y'all want to call these brothers. It's very simple. 
It's all about being good for the group overall or moving with selfish intent. Panda bears and simps move with selfish intent. I'm sorry. Okay, not when is it, okay, Mr. Walker, when is it that I just love women and I see what a lot of them go through and I love them, so I'm speaking up? And when is it a panderer? Like, see, Ace Metaphor, lovely man. <laughs> Why do you so call Ace Metaphor? Ace, see, no. and that's the thing. No, Ace no, Metaphor no. got a face like he done took about three, four, five black pills. I don't care what kind of he covered, talking like all oh, he had all these women. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. He's so, extreme. On a comment on that video, if he's a, like the way he, this, right, go ahead, I'm gonna let this play right after Joker. The way he just was saying the stuff, it made him kind of simpish and panderish. It's just how you say it. Like, I mean, it's it's I had a son, I'd be like, you know, let her get fly for you. When she ready, you go pick her up and you go take her out, you know, buy something to eat, pay for the movies. I mean, that's it. But it's how he going about it. And, uh, and then you, and then you, like, it's just how he was going about it, how he's saying it. Like, it's kind of simpish. But because of what he was saying was the truth. I mean, yeah, you pay for it. You know, you take a girl out, pay for her date, pay for the dinner. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's just how he's just saying it. It's just like, it's simpish. It's like, I agree. Let me play real quick. I agree, Joker. Thinking that dusty ass men is the best you can do. That just because maybe you have a kid, maybe you overweight, that you can't find somebody that will at least treat you well. Maybe you don't find a man that's as tall as you want, that makes as much money as you want. That's not settling. You settle in relationships when you settle for poor treatment. There are women right now with tall, rich, successful men, and they are still settling because that man is cheating on them. Yes, they bills pay, but they lonely as f You start to settle when you settle for a man that don't see you as his queen. They don't respect the sanctity of y'all marriage when your man is not your biggest cheerleader. You will settle when you start to think that an inconsistent man is the best you can do, that a man that can't reciprocate is the best you can do. That's when you settle. I don't give a f what nobody say on this internet. Don't rush to get in no relationship simply because you scared somebody gonna take a man that don't treat you right. Stop thinking. So, so you just, you, just see, you just see how his he doing his hands and, <laughs> and that's, that's what, what it's called. It's, it's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I that's mean, not a simp. He wasn't that's saying that. I mean, yeah, it's just how he doing it and all that. I mean, he wasn't I, saying that too bad, I'm, but it's just he just. He what might be it? more on the artistry side. We don't have a problem when rappers be doing this. Thing. We like that, so it's like. But the way he doing like, it, and he, it's just too. He it's just too, like it. He just extreme. Some guys are goofy. Some much. guys are over the top. Some it's dudes are silly. Much. It's too much. But that's, that's not a. But that's not a simp though. Doing it, huh? um, but that's not a simp though. I think, I'm starting pandering. to feel like they interchangeable, man. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing though. My thing is, we stuck on his mannerisms. But did he lie? Did he lie? No, okay, no, let's touch on it. He said, doing it. He said, "What if you, he said so? What you a little <laughs> overweight? So that's the thing. Lack of accountability. Simps. Here we go." Sims and, and panda bears, they go, they they take in accountability off of the woman altogether. So what your little big sister? So what your little mess and poke me in my forehead twice a week? It's okay. I understand. That is a clear cut case of uh, a, 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 a sipping, a sipping, whatever he is. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He says yeah. Russell Wilson is a simp. He wiped up a woman that got bust down and impregnated by a rich pookie with hella baby mamas and dressed like a thought. That's dressed what like I said. You all's men's definition is different from our women. We yeah. don't think of Russell Simmons as a, a Russell so Wilson as a simp. You all, men think that we when, a simp is not what you all are describing Russell Wilson as. I we keep telling you you saying that where you're thinking of is wrong. Well, do you know what simp? It was simp like you said, short for somebody that's sympathetic to a three hundred four. All right, so now here's the thing. So here we go, Heathen Queen. Russell Wilson is him. He's a he's a he's a smart, intelligent, you know, kind of a square Super Bowl quarterback. Are we telling that man on the face of this earth that it was in his best interest to get with 
Uh, uh, wait, wait. To get with uh, the his wife, with all due respect, and and we, while we call him a simp, she is on record saying she don't need that man. This man, it's only one Russell Wilson on earth. You can't you can't duplicate that. And she's talking about in the song. She, this was she said no. She said it on it. He was sitting next to her, and he says he he know I don't need him. So <laughs> see, Russell, mean, Russell, that so, is utter disrespect. So he, why are we so why are we taking the accountability out of Russell Wilson's hands and saying that he and didn't. saying we that Sierra, a simp. you didn't and, he's a simp. <laughs> so why is he a simp? Because he chose what he chose. Yeah, he, he's a simp. He, that's how I feel yeah. about Russell Wilson. Like. And you, you and she I doesn't like deserve. Do. Like oh, she doesn't no, no, no. deserve to be a no, no, no. wife. She no, doesn't it, deserve. This is, how, this is how I feel about Russell Wilson. Somebody got to take the bullet. Somebody <laughs> got to take the bullet. So if he want to stamp to a woman that already had somebody kid and whatever, let him do it. But he is a simp. But everybody got their own lane. So he chose his lane and he just cruising. Or is he, he just a powerful man who can get whoever he want and he want oh, to Russell, Sierra. Come on, Russell Wilson. Look, he's a simp, but good dude. But why did he choose her? Well, why, did he, why did he choose her? Well, he chose her. He said the Lord told him to. Why, why did he chose? Why did he, he said the her? Lord? He said, and, they, and it seems to be going well. They got so the Lord was wrong. So the Lord was wrong. Are we saying the Lord was wrong? I'm not knocking Russ, but I'm just saying. But you can't see a red car and say that ain't a red car. It's My earth. thing is, y'all so can't it's, say. It's it's okay. Y'all gonna tell y'all in one sense, it's like you can't tell a man what to do, but then we can tell a man what to do. It's like Russell Williams got with her because he loves Look. Sierra, she loves him. Yes, she might be a boss chick, but some men are okay with the boss chick as long as she's feminine and does what he needs her to do. Here's so I, Russell Wilson is a simp. That's what the the super chat say. He is. I don't care what the super chat it's say. Not wrong. Wrong. I would never I call him a simp. It's not I wrong with you. I told you, you men have the wrong, you men have a definition of simp. Listen, and here's the bottom line. Here's what I'm saying. I, I think women are off base when they get Ooh. talking about simps. And I think men are off base if, if we sitting up here talking about women who are pick me's. Y'all off base. It really ain't a conversation for y'all to have because it's not a label that y'all can put on somebody. It's and vice versa. How? How do I get that? What do you mean? Because the, the, we create, I mean, come on. It's a man's yeah. work, yeah. but it wasn't but it's nothing it. exactly. Listen, listen, all I'm saying is we created those words. So a simp is a simp. Women, come on now, we know women they, they take words and turn them into this and turn them into into and you know they like so if the man, man is not worthy, this, if the man go. is not if the woman is not worthy of the man and he chooses the woman, but she's not worthy, she's a 304, but he chooses her anyway, he's a simp. So his his all of his control has went out the window. He has Russell. no discernment because he married a chick who was not considered a three hundred four by you all. So he he's not able to make his own choice about the woman that he wants or what he has all the money in the world to get whatever woman he listen, wants, and he listen, chose listen, her. Listen, so how is he? Money don't out? mean nothing. Money Real. don't mean a daggone thing. Hold on, know. hold on. Money, money do mean something now. Hold on. We he done. had all the money in the world. Let, let me know. It's just cash out. Money. Real quick, he's a queen. Uh, hey, we just got a fifty ball in. Mr. Walker <laughs> talk about money. Money don't mean nothing. Money <laughs> means something now. Yeah, dude. Uh, and, Shout out to my girl Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn come through with the 50 ball, just supporting the show. And we got a brand new drop tonight. Y'all talk about money don't mean nothing. Y'all tripping. Where I mean, my girl Dime at? Get them Dime. Dime. Get money. And we gonna get money. Look right clean and it's not real funny. When we walk by, even smell like money. It get money. And we gonna get money. Dime it go to work and she bring in that honey. Walk by, even smell like money. Damn it, making money. Damn, making money. Working, working, making money. Damn, clock a job and she make that money. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get money. I love it. Damn, got a new job. Okay. Get it. <laughs> but Get it. yeah. But here's a, what else, I just want to say this real quick. Shout out to Gwendolyn. Shout out to Gwendolyn, the show sponsor. I'm just saying, eliminate CC, Sierra. Russell Wilson is still a simp. 
He going to send for whoever he get. It's just him. I'm not talking about Sierra. I don't care who, who he marries. Y'all would call it's most men simp. who were born before 1970 a simp. Because men back in the day always adored their wives and talk highly. Of well, them. it's just, I mean, him, no, well, him. Joker just came up here. The first thing Joker and they said was giving praises to his wife. That's the thing. Yeah. And even me, I I love my wife desperately, but I told her, yeah, if you had a kid, ain't no way heck I would have married you. That's the thing. So we just got our certain men got a certain point of view. And like in Joker Nutty, Joker Nutty, they said, we can't tell men how we see things and how we label things. And th I think this is a display of femininity and that equality. Women are like, wait a minute. Well, you know, we don't, we make enough to, how y'all gonna say what a simp is? Because we can't. <laughs> well, I mean, the simp only exists. My, my thing exists. The simp only exists if the girl isn't giving them any cooch. Right. So if the girl is not even part of the problem, then he can't be a simp. So right. the women do have some voice in it because Simps she's going to tell Simp get guts. They pain. They simps ain't out here in cells. No, we got y'all don't. That's why I said simp is not. <laughs> he losing. Listen here, Russell Wilson. Sat there while Sierra looked at him and said, I don't need you. I don't know how we missing this. We don't think we don't think that Sierra need Russell. Wilson. I haven't seen that interview, but I believe you if she, she can do. That. Yeah, I wouldn't make it. I promise you I wouldn't make it. Yeah, no, no. I believe you when do you we, say that. Do we think she could do better? We think she could do better. I don't what? know about doing better, but I know that if she said, I, I mean, I would. I don't know why she would say that on the interview. Like I said, I don't know. Like the and there we go. That's why he's a simp because she finds it okay to sit there and say that. She proving he's a simp because one no room man let he won't move it. But why are you saying? I mean, but let's man? let's take emotions out. Let's take right. emotions out. And let's just be real. <clears throat> Do you need anybody other than <laughs> your your body? You know, like context for me because a lot of well, times let me ask y'all this what would be the problem if he truly was a simp let's say it's true what's the problem now i just don't think i think we put a stamp of a simp on any stepfather and i can't agree no, with that. it has nothing no. to do with sierra he is a simp now he got you if he, okay if sierra was still with future future would be a real n-word but he she is with russell wilson so Russell, but Russell Wilson is a simp. Russell Wilson is a simp, and Future is a you know a rapper, uh, whatever. But Future's not a simp. Sierra, I mean Russell Wilson is a simp. Well, uh, Future was simping all on them records for her, crying for her, making songs about her. Why is it all right? So my <laughs> thing is my, to y'all ladies, why is simp? And we got to move off this point. I got to get these super yeah. chats because that's <laughs> okay, a way off the show. But yeah. to close it out, why is, to y'all ladies, why is a simp such a bad thing? Why is it derogatory to y'all? I think it's the same reason why if I am called, if I go on TikTok, mopping my floor or sweeping my floor, some women will call me a pick me. And men that's wouldn't it. look at that as bad, though. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's that's my whole point. So it's silly. We 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 put a woman cleaning her house. Go, in the what's the problem with simp, though? Where, where's the problem with simp? Where's so that's what I'm saying in the male perspective. They put a male. No, the me, I'm asking y'all perspective. What's, why do y'all look at it as a Because problem? I think problem? it's disrespectful. And I don't think it's it's okay to disrespect a man who's being a man. I don't there's so wait. many men who aren't. Yo, see, wait. Wait. Here's the thing. That man got it. Wait, yeah, man, can't he, can nobody save him? As men, we got to we gotta defend ourselves. So yes, that's where they ain't he no don't want to be saved. Huh? He don't want to be saved. Like, no, Y'all said, you just said like we he, we jumping on him or something or picking on him. Well, no. Yeah. It's just, this is, this is how men talk. Like, here's the thing. This be the problem. Men let y'all women be women, but it be like y'all women be trying to turn the man. Like we want y'all. It's like the women try to make the man feel it from their side. And it's like, no, 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 no. Russell Wilson is a simp. And then you say, well, no, that's disrespectful. Of course it's going to be disrespectful for you because you are a woman. That's the thing. Women got to understand a man is speaking and saying that another man is a simp. And just the woman be like, okay, well, he's a simp, but he's a good guy. Of course. But he is a simp. A horse is a horse. A cat is a cat. Dog is a dog. It is what it is. So we're not being disrespectful to Russ, but he is a simp. No I, matter got, who I got you. He's the queen. No matter I who got, we 
I got you. He's the queen. So you saying like, how can he be? How can he? Why are we call him a simp, which men deem a bad thing, whenever he over here paying bills and stuff, right? How's he bad? No. Our definition of a simp means we are not giving him the. We're not reciprocating the uh, the the resources that he is giving. So therefore, no. we call him a simp. That is, women are not reciprocating well, the with a is, simp. You no, all are I'm saying you. that a simp is being reciprocated. You're saying that because a man acquiesces to a woman's will, or the man takes on the burden of a woman who's not worthy, or Listen, you're, 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 you're taking into consideration a female's feelings, that he's a simp. That's my understanding. Of what you call us? You all call no, us simps. Here's where I'm confused at. Y'all don't value nothing else men say. Why are y'all putting so much stock in this? Y'all don't value nothing else men say. All of a sudden, men start saying, uh, calling other men simps. Y'all put so much stock Wait, in it. Wait, who said that we don't value women? I mean, I value women. We ain't talking about you personally. We're talking about women in general. They don't take value to these talking points that men talk about, losing weight and all this good stuff. Why all of a sudden men get talk about simps and women are at the forefront? It's the same the reason why men get irritated when they when women start calling other women a pick me because they the feel like, no, like, like that. That. my girlfriend like that. A pick me ain't detrimental to anything. We don't have a problem but, with that. So you say, so you say, but there are a group of women who say the same thing. So, so what are pick me's detriment? What? How do that? How do pick me's hurt the group with their behavior? Pick, pick me's hurt the group. First off, there are, like I said, we we real confused on definition. Some people would say I'm a pick me, which I don't think I am. But a pick me is detrimental to the group because she's a woman who lacks self awareness and self value. A lot of times, she merges herself within her man instead of being interdependent. Right. And so what happens is she lets a lot of things slide. A lot of right. pick are in the hood dealing with the nug nugs, right. accepting anything, just to have love, right. just to have some D, right. just to pick me. It's right. like, relax, girl. You know, you're, you're making it harder for us women who aren't sleeping with other people's man right. or who aren't trying to convince men to do things that they don't naturally feel to do by trying to pay your way or screw them into some type of submission. So right. Pick me's are very slick, and a lot of times they're single most of the times because they're trying to they're trying too hard. And men want to be in a position to feel like they have a prize, not a piece of meat, just laying out for them to get. So I thought pick me's were looking to get married, not just sleep with random men. No, they, pick me's are looking to marriage. be picked. They're you looking to be picked. pick me for marriage. It's like I said, it's different type of people. Some people would call me a pick me, but in general, a pick me is detrimental to the group because she's sitting here hella masculine, low key, hating oh. other women. Most of the time, she's sitting, sitting here hella masculine, fake femininity, right? But acting like this. Right. I think my wife is a pick me. I think my wife is a pick me. She's so your, your white, your white wife is a pick me. Why? Because she wanted to be picked to be to be married. That's not a pick me. If a, a woman me. desires a certain listen, man, listen, 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 listen. That's not a pick me. A pick right, me is when she has no discernment. Crystal, right. Here's the thing, Crystal. So pick me have no discernment. Okay. A lot of times. They're but the just pandering. Is, they're on the pandering side of side <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> the Here we go. Y'all, I mean, that's the only way I can be it. You know what? Uh, I'm no, gonna tell you what I'm getting from the goal this. Line around. Moving the goal line all around. What I'm getting from this, the struggle to submit. So we saying men say picnics are good. Why? Because these are women that at the very least, Crystal, come off as being submissive to men. And pandering. women say no. Wait, and then women say no. Whatever uh panderers or simps are good because they submit into women. Ain't no, ain't no man good for the group that's submitting to no No, one. we're not saying submitting. I'm not saying that when it comes to Crystal, submitting. real quick. That's not what I'm saying. Crystal, real quick. You ask Walker. You say, uh, is your wife pick me? He said his wife is a pick me. Now, here's the thing. He said it. So she is. Whatever she, he say she is. That's fine. I just asked him why he said it. I said, why yeah. did you say that? It don't matter why he said it. <laughs> now, now, Joker, yeah. real quick, Joker. I, I love that. Now, will he you, will, will you, ever, ahead, will you ever hear a woman sit here and say, my husband is a simp? Yeah. Women say that. And the women, and see, the oh, other, what? Other women will be like, yeah, nope. girl, yeah. But it ain't no happening. Man. Ain't no woman calling her husband no simp. Yeah, okay, women, but, but I thought simps were good. Women, they do. No, we just said they're not. Me and me I'm either. Uh-uh. Women have women talk. And right, so, listen, talk. listen, so real quick, 
Like, like Mr. Walker said, he thought simps were good. If men are saying simps are bad, y'all can't also say simps are bad. They can't be bad, bad. They have to be good to somebody. I said that if they're, I said to the woman who they simping to or tricking off to, she well, might well, say it's women good. in general. Let's just stop the cap. That's what we said. Stop the cap. Simps are bad. We are saying simps are bad, which means they are good for women. They can't be bad for everybody. No, we said that simps in general. I mean, if we're speaking in general, they wouldn't be productive, I guess, for the group or for men in general. But I mean, everybody has this different de definition of a simp. So, um, so ladies behind the scenes, when y'all talking to each other, I'm sure they probably, my husband is a simp for me. Oh, yeah. No, no. Like, y'all no. just don't use that language. Y'all talk about how he do whatever y'all tell him to do. And y'all, the, the link is between the lines. That's what we're saying. Yeah. We're right. saying that you all think because a man does the things that a woman wants him to do in a relationship that he's a simp. And right. he's getting nothing in return. He's hard. He's getting nothing barely in no, return. No, that's not. The, that's in not a man. In a relationship and a man. Why would he be there if he wasn't getting anything? Oh, in hell! That's a million dollar question. Men will ride it out. We got we men. It's something there. We we'll ride it out even when they ain't happy. But that's not a simp. A simp is not a person. A simp well, does no, not. No, we said that was. doesn't occur. Crystal asked the question. Simp, that women, we don't consider simps. Men that we are married to and, and we in have a relationship. a relationship with. Simps are men we don't have relationship with that we look at and say, he's giving her money. He's giving her and time doing opinion. this without giving anything in return. That's a sucker. In your opinion, because we are, some of these married men people are saying are simps like Russell Wilson and Steve Harvey and these guys. They yeah. saying they're simps. Men, men are saying it. that. Because men are saying that, not women. Yeah, and but you for men, have men have to, you have the final say though. We love y'all. Listen, listen, ladies. We love y'all. Mm, finger licking good. But men have the last say. On what? On the what? Men have the last say. So if a man see another man, he'd be like, that boy's simp. He's a simp. It don't matter what the women say. It don't matter. Hey, Chris, he's, he's, he's low key haters for the men. Chris, he said, he said, y'all low key haters for the men that love women. For the, the men that love women and see the beauty in women, who want and to men, and men can woman. say the same thing. We can say same thing. Y'all hate the women that love men. Y'all hate the no, so we don't. No, we don't. No, no, we don't. No, this is a circular it's argument. It's not because we don't hate women who love men. Yes, y'all do. Y'all don't like the pick me's. The pick me no, is a pick, pick me is a pandering female <laughs> who knows. How can a woman? How can a woman pick you? Me? That's to y'all, but y'all saying that men ain't saying that. Well, Joker just said, y'all mind y'all business with the men, and we mind our business with the women. So he said, we, <laughs> say, we get the final say. And, and we, we do. Say. Yeah, we do when it comes out to men. Right, so we get the final say when it comes to women. Right, let me get these super chats real quick. Let me get these super chats, because we wait. Maybe, behind. if we let you, maybe. I'm just saying, <laughs> maybe. Jihanda says, we honestly having a combo both, he says, about the definition of a simp. Crystal just said Michael B. Jordan, not her type, and would not pay the players. This camera on me. Shout out to Jihanda. Uh, who's the master? Says, good evening, panel and chat. This fella is a simp. Talking about probably uh, Ace Metaphor. He capitalizing off of the B-dubs dating struggles like so many others. Huh. That ain't good for him. <laughs> For child media, he says a simp is someone who does way too much for a person they like and not getting anything in return. That's a simp. That's no, a we can't say anything, it got to be greater than. Yeah, if you put you, a dollar on the table, you're gonna win something. I mean, affection, <laughs> sex, those are the only two things that he would be looking to get from a woman. Who? And he so doesn't. Why so why y'all like this guy? Why y'all like this guy? Y'all abusing. That's why I'm lost. Ain't no. Why do you, you say he's good? He, Walker, somebody got to take the bullet. Walk. <laughs> you didn't say he, he wasn't mean, a good you, man. Got to take the you bullet. Mean, why do you? Yeah. Like put him in the room. So, so you say he is good. Y'all yeah, know. So you far, Go we ahead. just don't want to have a romantic relationship with him. But, but you he's say he's good. good. He's we good. just don't want to. We just don't want a relationship with him. Using him. Right, hey, we got to move off of this, y'all, because this is. I told y'all, circular. It truly is. Men and women can't have this conversation because it really hell. <laughs> and Redfield Ranger, he says a person could be a panderer, simp, and a trick all at the same time. He says, mm -hmm. can y'all ladies stop with the semantics? Can be a combination of all three. 
So that part. Mm -hmm. uh, Rashina says, so being overweight makes it okay to, to take poor treatment or verbal abuse? Right, Rashina. No, I would say if you're overweight, you shouldn't even be dating. If you choose to date at your worst, you're going to get what you get. It was just but a man you, on you Kendra. You shouldn't even be dating. And you, should, you should put yourself in a better position. It was just yes. a man on Kendra who said he wouldn't date a woman under 170. So some men yeah. like them big -er girls. So Rashina ain't supposed to have a man because she got a little weight on her. She's well, find like, the guy that wants that, that, though. You got to find a man that wants that. Right, you, but she you, shouldn't have to take poor treatment. Like it's No, sexual. not from the man who desires that, no. Nobody no. should be taking poor treatment. Right. Man, oh, here we go, here we go. Shout out to Project Leroy. He says, Russell Wilson doesn't get respect from his team. There you go. <laughs> That's terrible. Afros and Hookah says Derek Jackson was a simp. He did the opposite of what he preached. He's a panderer. That's what I said. He's a panderer. He's not and a simp. simp. And a simp. All it's not three. a simp. All, that. all right. All right. Shout out to the beast. Like I said, a circular. I don't know why y'all arguing about that. Shout out to the beast. He says, appearance within your physique is, he says, de dependent upon the individual. He says, let's stop asking questions we already know the answer to. Shout out to the beast. Shout out to Divine Photos come through with the $10. He says, there's a video when Rush tried to surprise Sierra on her girl's trip. And when he tried to kiss her, she turned her face away. Guarantee me, oh. Rush wasn't Sierra's first like choice. Man, that's, like, that's yeah, I like to see that video. She said she didn't want to get her lip gloss on him. <laughs> she was doing a photo shoot. I have literally oh, okay. had moments where, like, I want to give you a kiss, but I don't want to get red lipstick all over your face. So I might just do a little side. You, you know what? She yeah, but she turned that. away. She did yeah, same thing. Bitch, she yes. did not. I saw that video. It was like a. She went like this. She w did one of those. Yeah, Russ, stop the cat. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Virginia. Give me some of that Virginia. Let's stop. Let's stop. All right. Shout out to Divine Photos. The dude is wild. <laughs> Red Pill Ranger come back. He says, having money and choosing her makes him even more if he a simp. If a simp. He I says agree. he hasn't, he has an abundance of options and chooses a lesser one. He's a simp and weak. Why? 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 He did not have to take a woman with a kid. No, That's no correct. Kid. That's correct. Yeah. Right there. That part. Right there. That's, now, here's the thing. Now, let's, that, that, here's the thing. That we talked about this often and glory to all of the stepfathers out there getting treated the way they should. But we talk about this. Today's stepfathers ain't getting treated with respect. And that's why we don't recommend it. That's Who said all. that? Not all stepfathers. Well, yeah, how can you say you're stepfathers and you're not, yeah. you're not even a stepfather? Like, how can you say that? We see the Vince, it's all on social media. These these dudes come here like I didn't pay for this kid's whole existence. Then they graduate from high school and they say I ain't their daddy. Then it they was get a daddy. freaking skit. The, okay, so that they doesn't all, happen I, in I, I, that I, doesn't I, happen in every I think back when I said they all skits, they don't happen. I made it all up. I mean, it's some happen. very rare. I've heard more people say my stepdad was more of a dad than my real right. dad. I hear more right. of that than I do if the stepdad he ain't did nothing. Yeah, maybe when they're 13 in the middle of a hormonal rage, right? And then by the time they step and, and there you go. See 17. that you said, and that don't make you said because you said maybe whenever they're 13 in the middle of a hormonal rage. That don't take away that strike on that man. It heart. doesn't, but it still don't take away from when people say it to their biological parents at their age. Right. The kids are stupid. And well, listen, two, two things is true, Crystal. That's why we say being a stepfather is a bad deal because if you sign up for that, you are going to be doing more than the than the biological father. You sign you in the house. That's why we say it's a bad deal because once you take the deal, you're going to be doing more than him. That's a fact. And he still runs a strong chance of still being having more control over that kid because he did because he did biological pap. But ain't the, isn't that that man's yeah. business? Like, yes, it is. Business? Yeah, yes, it, yeah, there you go. Yes, it is, Crystal. At the same time, we advocate for men and we don't Some want men to literally love they make. want a family. Some men want a family. Some men don't like a quiet house. Right. Some men want to build a Some family. Some men don't like a quiet house. Hmm. 
You said some men don't like a quiet house. I mean, like you know, like nobody's here, like a lonely house. Okay. Why? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Why is it that Russell didn't have? The, why is it that he's a simp and he made a choice? You had all the options in the world, yes. and you chose a single mother. Yes, that he did. says something about your strength of character. <laughs> and you had all. <laughs> I, did, I got the whole buffet. Nobody had to be thrown in the pit. It was just uh. Russ. Somebody, I, had, I had this whole buffet of women that I could have chose from, but yeah. I knew I was strong enough to go over there and get some. I, 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 I love it. I love it. He's the queen. What that is, that, that's a reverse shaming tactic. Yes, so, what you is. are saying, I'm not trying to, I'm not no, trying to shame no, anybody. No, what you are saying, indirectly, any man that don't want to take on a stepfather role is weak. No, Russell was strong. That. These men are strong. That's I'm not saying that. No, but you, but you did. Okay, but you're saying he is weak because he made that choice. You all say, Nobody's they good. always say that you have to have strength and determination and fortitude to take on a single mother. So why isn't that he, why is it that he don't have the strength, the fortitude to take on that single mother? Oh, he does. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. This is, you got to be a strong is, man to be taking listen, on somebody else's no. baby. Russell ain't got to be. This is a bad faith argument because Sierra's a millionaire. We got to move off this top. Yeah. Like I said, we we acting like Kendra up here. We can't even keep talking about. Like we gotta. You can use them as an example. Then you gotta like bridge that off into real life, though. We can't. What are we doing? Real quick, shout out to Sal Bill. He says we need others. Is how we get strong communities. All right. Skinny boy, he says, having a child by a man who's loose with his seed is low value, especially out of wedlock. Overlook that as a man makes us look at him with a side eye. That's all. There you go. And Sean Wick, he says, sucker idolize and mediocre puss. Yes. <laughs> Sal Bill says, women only see the redemption. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the redemption provided by Russ. She says Sierra was a known 304. Now she's a wife. She's elevated and is what they all want. It's a fantasy. Why is she elevated and why is she a 304? And who said she was a 304? I didn't know if right. Sierra was why is she a 304. Well, we got a call. Uh, we 304. Listen, listen, we got to understand that 304 just don't, they don't walk the Sunset Strip after 12 midnight. They'll so make the only 304. 304s. So, Thrill. She was listen. She was dating Fifty Cent, Lil Bow Wow. That was and, it. And, uh, all these other Amari uh, Stoudemire and all these other guys. So oh gosh, in the course of what fifteen years? Future fifteen no, years. Sierra's oh. been out since forever. Right. She's been out well, like I said, this some of these conversations y'all can't speak on because it's through the eyes of men. We we, we yes, we that's my point. Fans, so. And that's why we don't believe Sierra was a 304. You don't have to. Y'all can't make that rule up. Yeah, just like y'all think Russell ain't no. Y'all gonna say Sierra the 304, Russell ain't no simp. Y'all make all the rules, right? And don't think about it. Just think, yeah, yeah, like we can't, I'm just we saying, can't, you can't say a woman who had a baby is a 304. We can't say nothing. We can't, can't, can't say a woman is a, I had a discussion today but with somebody and I said, you mean to tell me you guys lump all women who have a baby into the 304 category? Listen, listen. Hey, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Birds of a feather. They flock together. This goddamn way. All right. That's all, man. Real she quick. had a post, she is a baby mama. She was a baby mama. She was a baby there mama. Go. There you go. And the Red Pill Ranger says, when we call men since women mind, he says, women mind y'all damn business. All right. Is not for y'all to understand why y'all always insert y'all thinking. So yeah, that part. <laughs> My ass don't stink. And also, too, any stepfathers in the chat, y'all need to stand up for yourself. I we don't do wait. It. No, I don't. Look, look, somebody, somebody, somebody gonna be the pappy, and somebody gonna be the step pappy. It's just, it is what it is. And y'all need to stop capping because there's too many men that subscribe to this channel to not have some stepchildren. Y'all sit there and took her. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What did they take? What What did they take? Hold on, everybody. These are they could be dealing with respectful women. Everybody, yes. they ain't, so these men, if they here, they ain't dating Bone Quisha. They in a good situation. Lord, yeah. they some of these men in here are stepfathers and they quiet. 
and they need to stand up and no, say, yeah, I'm going to raise their child. What the they went to college, with, and that child took care of me when I was dying or sick. Crystal, we are not we are not shaming our stepfather. We shaming the stepfathers who go into bad situations. Yes. And they don't no, no you are saying every single no, thing. They not getting respect. It's when, the, it's when they get no respect. That's when we talking. But okay, they don't well, have to know you meant when they're not getting no respect. I thought that's what we said. Them. We don't we don't demonize all stepfathers. What are y'all talking about? We got shout out to a real Leo. Real Leo come here and speak his truth every time. We have the utmost respect for real Leo. Real Leo is in a great situation. He talks about it. You can yeah. see it shines through him. At the same time, real Leo said, I would not tell too many men to try to do this. So we can't even take, that's the why, step right why, there. Why did because, you say? Because of the potential horror, the probability of When men don't move in fear. Just like- it, no. Probability, not fear, probability. I didn't so see why does he say what does he say to how is it the probability if he if because he's he looking at the women he's looking at these baby mamas that we bring up on the show and he's saying y'all oh, probably ain't gonna her. y'all ain't gonna yes, make her, out right. like I did y'all ain't gonna make out so why not just vet her like y'all say vet y'all like that word why and not they are the vet process is done they are they look at the men are like we ain't doing it you don't have to do much to vet these women nowadays why she do, got why three kids by three men it's why done why do men be stepfathers why do they become stepfathers why do men come become stepfathers why that's a whole different conversation. Hold on. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, I see a lot of women calling women. I see a lot of women calling women who agree with men's talking points or pick me. It's used as a shaming tactic. It's exactly. not. No, it's not. It's a fact. It's not. <laughs> it's a fact, man. All right. All it's, right. Not. It's, it's definitely not. And the thing All right. that's crazy. Chris, All you're right. sad. You're Real quick. Shout, shout out to the beast. He says, no, nah, pick me. Who got two different definitions? Right, HQ. Yeah, they all. Oh, yeah, we had no. That's with that one, last one was the correct definition. A pick me is trying to pander to the men to say I want to be picked. I want. I want to look. You. Want, I want you to look at me because I agree. I with agree everything with everything you say. You say. I agree everything with everything. You say. I'm never going to question. Yeah, I'm never going to give you any other perspective. My, my wife, does, my wife does not agree with. Did not agree with everything. Then she's not said. a pick me, which is yes. what I was trying to say. Yes, she she is. Yes, she is. 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 So like that, even when we first started dating, like that's what I'm like. She didn't agree, but she still a pick me. Like she, y'all would think my wife is crazy how nice she is to me. I guarantee. I tell her like they. Would that's not a pick that's me. Weird. That's why I'm saying men would call. They would call me a pick. A pick me is not a woman who treats her husband like a king or who loves her husband or adores him. That's not a pick me, and that's what we're trying to say. That's not a pick me. But Crystal, so, so what's the difference? So a pick me believes. Uh, you said a pick me believes everything a man says. A pick no. me, a pick me is exactly what I said earlier. It is a woman who is dangerous most times to the group because she doesn't value herself the way that she could. And it's not a woman who is adoring her husband and loves him and takes care of him and you know is agreeable. An agreeable woman isn't even a pick me. Um, you know, it's it's a woman who just whatever men say, she say whatever right. they want her to do, she gonna do. She right. doesn't even have a target most times of what type of man she wants. She just right. open for whoever gonna accept her. Right. She wanna be one of the guys so bad. She's like, right. pick me. that's what a pick me is. Right. All right. All right. So, shout out to JLB. Come through the ten dollars. He says the women see no problem with the simp because the simp ignores a woman's past mistakes, endures talking points that. <laughs> goes against men as well he says well all for box he says a simply values himself and men to get a woman yeah so red pill ranger come back he says how's a pick me a bad how's being a pick me bad when all wives were a pick me for their husbands he says that's why they got picked all wives are pick me's but all husbands don't pander now well, they like all wives are pick me's Exactly, and like Joker said, let the women just handle the pick me term. And Keep cooking, man. Keep cooking. Term. Keep cooking. All right, Keep shout out to Richa Bounty Bounty. Here we go, Richa. Uh, be Wyatt. He says, Most simps are in sexless marriages. There, right. there we go, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and the B says, HQ uh, dialogue. We said dialogues are contradictory. Stop the cap. I don't get All it. Right. <laughs> Southfield Schwarzenegger. 
He says the man, the man HQ talking about is a sap sucker. Holy hell! Sap. Shout out to William. He says we'll find out the real deal when Russell leaves football. Ooh. I wonder will Sierra stay? Listen, I love it. Time, ladies. That's why this is beautiful. We're gonna find out who right or wrong up here. Just stay healthy, stay alive. And in the upcoming years, it's all gonna come to it. How can you say that when it's marriages have, with people didn't who have didn't even have children? I, have a question. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, like y'all two, uh, the women, do y'all think <laughs> if, if Russell Wilson didn't marry Sierra, would she have stayed with him? I don't know. I don't she wouldn't. Okay. She wouldn't. Have. There you go. But I'm and, saying, uh, Red Pill Ranger, he says, Simps be effing, he just overpaid. Stop the cap. So y'all say Simps don't get no buns. Yes, <laughs> we said that's our definition of a simp. You also, you that that's not a definition. That's not simp. Simp is getting some benefit from what he's doing. That That's a pan. You all think a simp is a simp getting buns and doing all that. We say a simp does not get any bonds. A simp is giving us stuff for affection. He wants affection. He wants love. He wants sex. But we're not giving it to him. That's terrible. Oh, think- There's only one dictionary, Heathen Queen. There's only one dictionary. Now. You all seem to have wrong dictionary then. And words like, well, thing is, well, here we go. I'm no English major. But once you get into words like simp and pandering, they can be, you know, verbs and nouns. Because you can be a panderer. And pandering can be an action, just like simping can be an action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, so it's a whole deal, y'all. Y'all, it's it's a circular argument. I promise y'all. Pander and simp. <laughs> there you go. And El Paulino says Derry Jackson was a con man that picked the right hustle. That part. <laughs> Southfield says being a three hundred four equals strong. Thanks. Sarah <laughs> <laughs> Ranger says, "Are these women this stupid or just playing dumb?" Shout out. To Richard Media says, Good night, chat. I had it. I had enough of Crystal and Heath the Queen. He says, Continue to move the goalposts and not making stuff <laughs> with bad faith arguments. Have fun, Crystal. I saved my money. So here we go. Um, and shout out to Afro, Afros and Hookah. Come back through. How you feeling? Says, I used to be a stepfather until my ex wife cheated and got pregnant. By oh her baby my dad. gosh! Yeah. But you know what happened? You had a two. No, that's that's that not true. Anyway. No Afro who could take that down. That stuff don't happen. Yo, yo, existence. He had a. He didn't have a grasp on his marriage from day one. Oh, that yeah, was his problem. He didn't. He didn't. What about the woman? They oh. never. He didn't Afro have a grasp on that woman from day one. What if he no did? Way if he, he there did. was no way if they had a solid marriage. The key word is stepfather. And that's what we heard is 304. And and that's why that's why it's a bad deal. No, that's why we say it's a bad deal. It's women with no children that cheat on their husbands and have babies. Like, what are y'all saying? Like a 304 is a stepfather. Right. But he's just saying he just kind of got effed over and he was a stepfather. That's all he's saying. It has nothing to do with stepfather. You gotta choose better, right? Then y'all gonna stop. <laughs> y'all saw that. He didn't choose better. He, he, he didn't right. choose correctly. He didn't but he was he a didn't choose better. Though. But he was a stepdad. Possibly. Yes. Possibly. The bre- Yeah, obviously the proof is in the pudding. He right. did choose incorrectly. But even him, he coming out and saying, look, I did it. I took look at what happened. And but that's he, still got, like, step but he still got married. She still was marriage minded. Obviously, she wasn't no pick me. She wasn't agreeing with everything he said. She didn't even agree that the Kuda Cat was his. So she wasn't no pick. We don't know that. Actually, she probably was. She probably was fake femininity lying right. the whole time. There you go. <laughs> probably was pick me. Right. So she could get married. And once she got married, she turned back into what she really was. Which was a hoe. There you go. All right. So here we go. I'm going to let this play for a minute. Here we go, man. Here we go. Let me get these last couple of super chats. Shout out to Tony. How you feeling tonight? He says, there's always exceptions that proves the rule, but most millennials, especially older Gen Z men, want childless women. I'm all, all right. for him. I'm all for whoever you want to find to love you and you love back, whether she's childish or whether she has children. 
I'm all for that's what you women. saying. You don't date women. These are the men speaking, heathen queen. So y'all gotta understand. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Come through the twenty dollars. Says he, the queen. You are horrible. Immediately <laughs> defending these three hundred fours and shitting on Afro. Is his camera on me? Add this to the bounty. Holy hell! So here we go. All right. Speaking of bounty, we gonna roll him out. Twenty dollars equal five minutes. So he, the queen, gonna take a break for five. I'm gonna pull this video up. All right. In the meantime, now we to the meat of it. Pay to play. This is the Gale. We about to talk about it. Here we go. My chest hurt. Africa. Passed on <laughs> an offer from Oprah yeah. uh, years ago, I think in the 90s. Yeah. And how have you, because you've become such a huge star yeah. and you obviously have a close relationship, you know, with your kids, your grandmother mm -hmm. as well now. How difficult was it to balance being a mother and also your career after being divorced? Well, you know, they were four and five at the time. I have never been a, oh, woe is me person. I say you can have a brief period of bereavement when bad stuff happens, have a brief period of bereavement, but then you just have to carry on. And I learned, you know, I remember calling Maya Angelou years ago. She was, you know, may she rest in peace. She's like liquid uh, poetry. And I was complaining about something on the job and I said, and Maya, and then Bubba, she says, stop it, stop it now. I go, but I'm not, I'm not done telling you the story. I'm not done telling you the story. She goes, it doesn't matter. What you need to do in this moment is say thank you. I said, what am I saying thank you for? Just say thank you. And I went, thank you. What am I saying thank you for? And she goes, because whining is so unbecoming. It lets them know there's a victim in the neighborhood. Mm. I've never forgotten that. And so whenever stuff happens or doesn't go my way, I just figure out how can I fix it? Now, back then I hadn't met Maya Angelou, so I didn't have these pearls of wisdom. So I'm gonna stop it real quick. I didn't know Gail had two kids. I didn't know she had any I, kids. Yeah, me either. Definitely news to me. And yeah, shout out to Gail. And again, I, I know Gail did pay to play because Gail is a handsome boy. <laughs> right. If you don't think Gail paying to play, I mean, come on now. She talks like a man. Have a moment of bereavement and then move on with life. That's a right. stoic man. That's that's a beautiful uh, characteristic on a man. But a woman, shout out to the sister. Shout out to uh, to Lamb. You know, women are supposed to cry when they, you know, have things that's feminine. That brings a man into like, hey, sister, to comfort. But whenever these sisters up here with their chest out and their shoulders all up tight, use the, use the man. You are you are a bucko. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let her go. She gonna get into this story about her dating. And real yeah. quick, we got a cash app. My God, Leon King sent over one dollar in the cash app. <laughs> hey, he Leon. Said, <laughs> I love Leon. Him. Sent over one dollar. All right. I like Leon. And he said, he said, my, he said, my last two dollars, I'm not gonna lose. He sent over one. Look, come on. He said he rock and roll every day. Well, he says it's for Crystal. I want my change. It's Leon. Ooh. Oh, so you trying to he talking? Ish. How much you want? <laughs> so here we go, man. Hit the like button. Okay. Stop playing. I'm running behind over here. Is but what I did know is that um, as badly as Oprah was offering me a job to go to Chicago where she would make the transition, because she said, I'm done with the talk show. I want to go into acting. I can incorporate you in the show, and then I could you know, pass the baton to you, which I thought was, wow, that's a great opportunity. I was ready to pick up the kids and move. My ex at the time was very opposed to it. And I thought, you have to balance as much as I wanted that job. It was very important to me that they have a good relationship with him. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he was a great husband. He had a problem with monogamy. Never good in a marriage, infidelity. Just throwing it out there. Never good. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eaters, never good. So he wasn't a good husband, but I thought it was important for them to have a relationship with their dad. And he, of course, wanted a relationship. So I said, no, I can't. And I'd said, yes, I'm coming. And then I went, er, it didn't occur to me 
that that would be an issue. Mm -hmm. But once it was an issue, you have to balance what's most important to you. And guys, I don't care how successful you are, if your kids aren't happy and healthy and adjusted, it, all the success means nothing. It means nothing. So I, I wanted them, you know, and they were, they were little. It was important to me that they have a relationship with him. Is it as successful as you are and, and focused on being one of the best at your field and being a successful, strong black woman? Let's be honest, you're rich. Is it, is it tough? We were just joking about pickup lines and, and do I have a brother? Like, is Am it, I rich, Danny? You rich as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I got the internet. I know net worth. <laughs> yeah, but you can't believe all that stuff you see. I just say this. I'm doing all right. You're doing all right. I'm doing all right. It, I don't it, think I'm rich. If I was rich, rich to me means, I mean, you know, back in the day when people would say, what's your definition of success? My definition of success at the time when I was first starting out was to be able to fly first class to anywhere you wanted, when you wanted. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that was my definition. And uh, you're right, I can do that now. Anywhere I wanna go, I can fly first class, that's true. And now my definition of success is owning your own plane. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's when I think you're rich. When you, that, I'm serious, when you can own your own friggin' plane, yes. where you can go and come wherever you wanna go. But I'm- So real quick, like I said, Gail got break. For, for context, Gail is uh, 69 years old. We're just going to call her 70. Whoa. Yeah, she don't look good, huh? This woman's 70 years old. This woman's 70. She, yeah, for 70, she looks good for 70. Yeah, I give her that. And, and here she go. I could dig it. I love ambition. She said, She said. Uh, I don't think I'm rich. You know, she's talking about owning planes. She like, I'm best friends with Oprah. I'm broke. I, <laughs> I feel it was that. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to say something real quick. Uh, so I didn't necessarily, uh, she said, do y'all think that Beyonce is masculine? I don't think. Mm, you know, I don't think so either. Don't know her. Don't know her. Never really seen her. Anymore. Well, what I'm saying is that Beyonce has said the same thing that she gives herself one day to be depressed, cry, scream over whatever is going on, and then she gets up. Well, she so, definitely, she definitely got. Um, you know, I think Jay Z talk about in this song. She, she's an entertainer. She is a boss. She is a real life boss, and and a whole mogul. So she's gonna have masculine characteristics. But it's the overall. Yeah, she's by nature. What, what, she's, I was gonna say, what was your whole point with that? My point is, I don't think any man wants to be with a woman who's just crying all it all day, every day. So I mean, that's why I said we can't. Uh, here we go. We can't just start comparing everybody's relationship to Jay Z and Beyonce. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> well, I thought I, I would think. I, I would think. I don't know y'all are men, but I would think that men would like it if their wife can kind of still be emotionally intact and cry yeah. and feel things yeah. and then find a solution or look to her husband for a solution i thought that was like a good thing but that's the thing like you talking behind that's a she had a whole ecosystem that's a different kind of name so back to gail what, what what's the word uh gav what you was what was the yeah, question she, that part? well she about to get into it so she's okay. 70 and she about to talk about her date in life now mm -hmm. all right and we talk about paying the play. She about talking about some of her paid play stories. Here we go. My stream yard is stream yarding tonight. Doing all right. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh no, I'm struggling. I'm not going to. I'm not that. I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I'm doing okay. It, but it, what was your question? I was going to say, that, is it does it? <laughs> <laughs> is, it difficult, is it difficult to date like what she remind me of my aunts um intimidating not at all room am i at least am i intimidating no the answer. we'll find out what, well you, you know are? what's difficult is that people say oh you're so intimidating now you've met me am i intimidating not at all room am i at least am i intimidating no the answer i'll go first no i'm not <laughs> But somebody said to me once, they said, well, Gail, look at your shoes. And I looked at my shoes. What's wrong with my shoes? Look at your bag. Look at your coat. Look at your, uh, your friends with Oprah. You know, a guy looks at that and goes, I can't compete with that. But my thing, it's not a matter of competing. It's not, I'm not looking for somebody to compete. You want somebody who 
has a sense of humor, who's very secure, who's not well, intimidated by whatever all of this is, that just sees you for you. You know, I went on a date and I was really excited, very- So she won a statement. Very cash, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh God. We had gone out maybe two months and then he said he really needed to talk to me. Uh, he wanted to have a private conversation. Okay, sure, what is it? Do you think you could lend me $4,000? <laughs> Mm. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> he jumped out with 4,000 out the gate? Though? I know. It's so he funny. didn't test oh, the water? You, you know what Oprah said? Oprah said, God, I would have felt better if he had said $40,000. <laughs> <laughs> just went in your purse. Here you go. Here you go. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't carry cash. Yet, but... <laughs> he just asked you to cash app him now. Huh? You just could have cash tapped him now. I know, guys, but I was so crushed because he, he was somebody who was making, you know, six figures, successful. And when I said, you mm. know, could I ask what it's for? He said, yeah, it was for uh, a, a child support issue and to pay uh, a payment on some furniture. And Oprah goes, oh, God, this is just getting worse. <laughs> and I said, OK. <laughs> yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Nug Nug is everywhere. Y'all yeah. understand? Yeah. Hey, hey. Nug Level. Nug Nug said, I need, I need the... Uh, get current on my rent center my errands bill see that nothing right. did not to play right. and there you go there you go so there you go brothers we give a nug nug some playbook here if you land you a gail don't be asking for small change so they're like why you need small change why are you so hard up you only need four racks like say ask for fifty thousand like hey let me borrow fifty thousand i gotta make a payment on my yacht well i understand <laughs> so she, so she said that she thinks man thinks she's intimidated but Real talk, like Gail, just her whole lifestyle. I don't think she should have got married. I don't think she should have got kids. I think she should have just stayed focused with her career. It seemed like she was trying to do both. And one of them, she should have stayed. One lane, she should have stayed in. The other lane, she shouldn't have went in. And she's not attractive, but like maybe back in her heyday, she probably was good to have fun with. She's but 70. but but it's like the lane she wants to get in, she got no business in. That's the problem. People don't know how to stay in their lanes and she want to be in a relationship and she want a husband and she want, no, nah, that's not your lane, Gail. Is this camera on me? That's not <laughs> your, that's not your lane. Like, and here's my question. I wanted to ask the ladies. We was talking about the whole pay to play thing. Right. I mean, is Gail out of pocket? $4,000. She, she <laughs> gave that man that money. She's 70. I wouldn't give him a penny. I wouldn't give him a penny. I wouldn't give him a penny. <laughs> Um, okay. and then the thing is, if you like, hold on, Crystal, set the content. If you like this guy, he's romantic, y'all companionship, all that good stuff. No, he's some bum on the street. No, she said two months. Right. She said this wasn't yeah, her husband. That's long. This two was months? not. This was not her husband. This probably wasn't oh, even her boyfriend. God. Oh, and then on top of that, it's like you are already got the target on your back with being rich, Gail King. People can be dating you just for your money. Yeah. So granted, so, understood. Yeah. That's yeah. understood. That's called pay to play. Well, that's, that's the thing. Some women rather have a cat and die alone than pay to play because they don't want that. She wanted real love. She wanted but, Anita Baker. She didn't right. want well, just yeah. D. So that's, if she wanted just D, she could have paid two hundred. So, so let, let, let's play devil's advocate. Let's say real love is off the table at this point. Let's just say that. I mean, and, and because of her status um, and her age, it could be. I'm not arguing that. Um, but at the same time, I'm not paying for nothing. Right. I wouldn't pay for nothing. Right. No, not, so, no, so. That's should how you, should that's she not how you be paying that old in? What in her position? Should she, we talk about this, give up, get out the market. No, she can do whatever she wants to do. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants to do, but she should expect Whatever she did. Right. She, that's what I'm saying. She, she, she has to expect that. Everybody has to have standards. You're making it seem like she shouldn't have standards when she's an older woman. They she doesn't want to pay for. She doesn't want to pay for the young man. She doesn't have to pay for the man. We don't know whether that man was older than her or younger than her. We don't know anything about it. Do it matter? It. Do it matter? <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, if you're the same age as Gail King, you shouldn't be asking her for four thousand no, dollars. Well, it's a different true. story. If he was fifty or forty, then I would look at him and say, "Oh, okay. Well, he don't make as much as me," and blah blah blah. But if a dude that's uh, seventy-five. He shouldn't be asking her for four grand. But Gail King. Why not? She's the breadwinner. I'll let you get in here, Joe. She's the breadwinner of the relationship. 
but we didn't know whether he had money or not. Didn't she say pan? No. Listen, 10 times out of 10, if Gail was meeting a guy at this point in her life, she is the breadwinner. Yes. Period. Yeah, that's, but we that's don't know. Like, but you don't know that he could be her age. Yeah, I do. Money. I'm telling you, it's five big facts. But here's the thing: she well, we got no business. It's the lane she should be in, and she don't want to be in it. But her lifestyle and her career forced her into that lane, and she don't want to be in it. But it's like Gail, you Gail King, you can't be talking to no dude for two months and think he ain't gonna ask for a rat. Like but then they have to, they have to have that established. They she has, she has to go to the and go home, go interview somebody and go out, have a drink with some dude, do your thing, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and go on. But she want to have a relationship. But and let's be honest, Joker. Let's they be have honest. to have an understanding. They have let's to have be an honest, understanding. Real quick. An Listen, understanding. Real, real quick, understand real quick, Easy Queen. This is Gail King. She got a, she's 70 and all. Look at her. She still look youngish, but she still got to bring this man around Oprah and them. So he still got to be hitting on something. This man was hitting on something. And I thought Oprah said, well, why didn't he ask for 40000 Joker, Oprah seen this man. He done passed everybody's test. So she she was, it was what it was. I think that, uh, well, Gail, first off, she, I mean, she should expect that the older you get, the harder it is to find a partner because most people are married. But also, too, the older you get, their partners could have possibly died. So I've seen, uh, my cousin got married. I know, um, they were complaining in the comments about me using uh, celebrities, but I do that because we all know them. But my cousin got remarried at 50 some years old and she looked damn good. Married a man who was 50 to 60 years old too. They're still married. Some people get married early and the wife or husband dies and they get married again. It's harder for her because she's a celebrity. But I've seen people get married later on in life again. Go ahead, Walt. No, I was gonna say you said you said you get know someone that uh got married at 50. Here's the thing, we're not my saying cousin. That, we'll say that again. My cousin, my, my other cousin. cousin. Again, we're not saying these things can't happen. From what we observe on single by choices, is that these women that are 50, you know, divorced, whatever, or widowed, they don't seem to want a man that really matches their position on the single person sexual marketplace. They always want something greater to their detriment. But if these sisters would come out here and, you know, find their actual match and not consider their match to be settling, then you can have more cases like that. But it's the software that's stopping it. They keep outpricing themselves. But we ain't saying it don't happen. So I'm going to let her land the rest of her plane. Um, let me get these super chats first. Uh, see, Heathen Queen got put back in time out by Damon for five minutes. He says, I don't have 4K tonight, but I got 20 by Heathen Queen. So <laughs> there you go. Um, where we at? Where we at? Shout out to the Beast. These two women or Buddy Row come through. Shout out to Buddy Row. Um, skinny boy. All right, fellas. Gail King, Ebony K or Oprah? <laughs> Oprah! <laughs> Oprah got too much bread. Papa who, Papa, who this woman? <laughs> I say Ebony K. Ebony K, the only one who buns is still glazable. Nah, Oprah I, and Gail, they both north of 70. It's I agree. Yeah. Oprah, you're going to have fun with Oprah, though. That's true. That's true. That's a hard. You're going to have fun with Oprah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. Oprah. Oprah I mean, like I said, it depends on the stipulations. If you can't, if you have to be monogamous, if that's part of this equation, right, 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 right. then but, like say well, Oprah, it's over. It's over for that box. So <laughs> it's all Nick. That's all got got. So all right. Here we go. Shout out to Cole Sound. He comes through the five dollars. He says, I guess we need Monique to give us all dating advice, like she did with Club Shay Shay on his show. It was a wild, it was wild, man. Y'all check it out. A lot of cat. Yeah, she was talking to. We maybe we'll cue it up later on. All right, I'm gonna get back to this. We'll get Heathen Queen back up here. Here we go. And he said, You know, this was Sunday, and he said, I promise I'll pay you back by Thursday. I promise I'll pay you Thursday, okay. But I wrote it, I wrote it because I thought mm -hmm. it, had, it had to be very difficult for him to ask me, and so I wrote it, and I just figured that would be that. That would be that. And he did pay me back on Thursday. But I didn't feel the same. I, I didn't yeah. feel the same. I didn't feel the same. 
but he did, you know, to his credit, pay me back on Thursday. But it just, it just changed the relationship for me. And you see, and that just changed this all for me. This man paid you back. Why are you up here throwing this man under the bus? Hey. And it appears to be a good man, but for you, you 70. You got to understand. Nug Nug ain't paying you back. Yeah, I, if, I don't think that's Nug Nug. Nug Nug ain't paying nothing back. He done lost that on a crap game or he got held up and it's gone now. But he paid her back. That ain't Nug Nug. Some brother, he, hey, he said, look, like she's 70 years old. He's like, I know what I'm what I'm providing for. Like, like Joker Nutty and they say, I know the energy. I know what I'm providing to this woman. Listen, sister, let me hold four racks. Uh, it's in your best interest if you want to keep this cool. And But she said he paid him back like he promised. She wrote the check. She said, but even after he paid me back like he promised, he no, held she, his word. I looked at him different. <laughs> she wrote it. Like she, but look, though, Crystal, before you, she wrote the check, she gave the man the money. So just remember that. She gave him the money hey. okay but then he gave it back to her and that's a problem because the thing about the thing that you're missing for her you know only she can speak for herself is that women want a man not that has money but that is responsible with his money we have seen a lot of men have a lot of money and it be gone overnight because they don't budget correctly save correctly invest correctly right. he's got child support he damn near well, I guess, well, I guess y'all right. He would have to be younger than her, right? If he was still paying on child support. So maybe y'all own to something, right? right? But the point is, the point is a woman like her wants a responsible man. And sometimes when a man is asking for money two months in, to you a can woman always family, get what you want. And you can always get what you want. And, 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 and but see, and the fact is, you have to wonder, you have to figure out what that relationship is about. Did she go into that relationship thinking she was going to have a romantic partner? Or did she go into that relationship paying to play? No, she went, in there. she went in there because she knew she was going to get masculine energy. Yeah, but the whole point is, if she, she was going to have a romantic partner. She wrote that check because of his energy. Yeah, but, she if, she wrote, wrote but if she went into that relationship thinking she was going to have a romantic partner, no, she should be upset. Is, no, she, she should no. be upset. She wanted that energy. That's why she wrote that check. But and we don't know. We don't know why she went into that relationship. She from if she got upset because that man asked her for money, then she was not doing pay for play. She yeah, was she doing wasn't. a romantic thing, which she should have got upset about. She was but if she knew she was going to have to pay all throughout the relationship, then she had no reason to be angry. And that's she, what happened with Sherry Shepard. How much was the check? How much Four grand. It? Four grand. She wrote it and they gave it to him. Right, she but you got to play. Two right. months, she was. She knew but what she it was. Wasn't paying for play. No, that's why she cut him off. Yeah, she she what what off. Off. Yo, the bigger the bigger question is: Should she? I hear what y'all saying. Y'all missing the whole point. If you know that in the beginning, not in the well, middle no, of a relationship, you don't need to look at herself in the mirror and say, "I'm 70 years old." Any man that I meet, she she know what her net worth is. That's she know ain't no man. Works. She she know ain't no man worth more than her walking through the door. So she should already know she should have to pay the play. Some women rather pay. die alone or be by themselves. Yes, than, than pay for. She a don't man. Know, well, she, she need to come to them terms. There's no way. There's no way she went into that relationship thinking that he was gonna ask her for four grand and she was gonna pay for a relationship and she come out being hurt. Or she gonna go get her a toy, but she can't come out here in the market and try to play and don't think she ain't gonna pay. She got no business. So in why it. do you why is it that she thinks she she gotta pay? Why is it okay for her to think that she should be in the market paying? But men that are 40 want to date a 22-year-old and don't think they got to pay. She wrote the check. They don't. First of all, they don't. What do you mean they, they don't? don't. They, they do oh, not pay. You know, ain't no forty-year-old man. That's a lie. That was a flat-out lie. So. But, but hold on, real quick. She didn't this have is, to give the man the money. She this is to, she could have replaced it. The man. What's she giving the money for? Because she wanted that. Because she, she probably that. well, she didn't want it because she got rid of him, right? She sometimes you do things and then you yeah, think later like. like I don't want to do this. But this is the problem when women do this. You can turn into a Sherry Shepherd who's 
I hate to say this. She comes off like a pick me. Um, right. Did y'all see the Cat Williams interview? That's what I, that's what a pick me is. You right. desperate for me, and she because you never called me back, girl. What is you talking about on this yeah. on this couch right now? Like that's the problem. And then they 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 argue for everything that you got. Sherry Shepard is the reason why older women don't need to pay to play, and definitely don't play to pay and marry. And she was married to a man that was looked like he was older than her. Right. So some of these women don't belong in that lane. A lot of women ain't wives. These women go out here and try to get something that they ain't got no business even having. Gail King should have just paid to play and went on by her business. She wanted no, to Sherry Shepard paid to play and she won a husband. She won a husband. Gail King, she won a relationship. No. But what's wrong with That's wanting that? Pay to play and just go about your way. Pay to play. Be happy about that because you, she's not going to get it. Come on. She, Gail King is going to get a husband or like a serious relationship at this situation at 70. Can Gail get that? I'm asking the ladies. I don't even think yeah. she's 70 when she's telling this story, first mm -hmm. off. But All right. I don't know what she can get. Of course, you can't say what they can't get. You can uh, you can always yeah. get something. Why There's no, 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 nobody says you can't play. get it. If she get it, she going to pay the play, though. It's either you stay in the house or you come out. But you come out, you're going to have to play this game called life. Right. Or if not, stay in the house. But if yeah. Gail going to go and date, she going to spend some bread. She going to pay. No, she not, not if she dates a man who's her age. Not if no, because he could get a younger her. woman. He don't want but her. But that don't necessarily mean he's going to a younger woman. Her whole her whole live reality is saying he don't want her. So but this is my thing. We also we saying the facts of the matter is this. Well, the facts are her. that we had normal men like you who come up here and said they will not date a woman younger than them like that. So we see. I know we you ain't seventy. You ain't seventy. You ain't seventy. We had, no age. We, ain't 70. we had we had Mr. Wilson up here. Mr. Wilson said differently. He said so. He said he was gonna pay guys, the play. No, these guys that are over 65, 70, they are not talking about dating seventy year old. He women. said he was gonna pay to play. Mr. Wilson said no. But regardless, regardless, the point is because you're trying to bring Q into it. Q ain't seventy. No he's one not, but he said, but I'm saying it's older, it's men of a particular age that no, don't want a man. younger person. Gail, 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 Gail was in a particular situation by herself. You understand? So are we saying, so are you saying that older women have to pay to play? No, we saying Gail King is going to pay to play. Pay to play in the chats. Well, if they want a the younger man, absolutely. I would say yeah, if they want they a man that's older than them or they want a man they say man. I'm, I'm saying as a woman who is 55, I don't have, 70, I have plenty of options of who I want listen, to be. I <laughs> my DM all the time. Look, she I said get, I, get, that DM. I, get, I get five DM. I had a dude the other day, two days ago, said he's in Queen. Do you have a man? I'm a provider. That's what he said to me. Hey, no, okay, no. stop, say, hey, stop, uh, please, stop, stop, so stop, there you go, I love it, there you go, there you go, let's please, I love it, I'm here for it, I love it, so this guy said he's the queen, I'm a yes. provider, yes. and what, what was your response, he's the queen? I told him I lived in a foreign country and I couldn't do that. Why yes. you lied to the, was he, was he in a foreign country? I don't know, but I, I'm ignorant <laughs> like that, so. I'm going to play the play. Gail is gonna pay to play. She come outside and she thinks she's gonna pay in the play in the market. <laughs> Gail King. She Gail I was King. trying to I was trying to get him up off me. You know what I'm saying? Just get him up off. Uh, well, look, time out. Why are you Listen. trying to get a provider, man? Did he say he's the queen? Or are you married? No, That's a responsible man. He checking. He said, "If not, I'm a provider male." You, you got to be so ready. I you got to be ready for that type thing. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that email. I did uh super chat. Super chat boom on one of my videos. I'm reading the video and he's like, Heathen Queen, uh, do you have a man? I'm a provider. I was like, oh, what? Uh, what? You what you mean? Say no, I'm not you scared. You're moving in scarcity. You scared. Yeah, right. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm I'm just saying to say there are <laughs> options out there that a woman can take and she doesn't have to pay for those kind of things. I'll say this. Only I'll say this. Right. I, well, no, hold on. Hold on. I want to answer one of your questions. You okay. said, what should a 70-year-old woman do if she want to date? Should no woman over the age of 65 be out her dating? I'm sorry. Good. Like, you just shouldn't. 
And it's just that simple. We're gonna leave it at that. That's my yeah. that's my public service announcement. So you ask what should they do? They should be at the church, they should be baking bread, pies, playing with the grandkids. She can find her a man at church. She can Grandma find her a man at church. Grandma they, needs yeah. to go on the they church. Man. Man. Oh, they great. come here every time. We say that on the, on our uh, single by choice. We say, hey, they say, Why don't you find a man at church? They say they don't want them. They don't want them. Y'all don't want the men that y'all that y'all match y'all consider settling. That's why y'all say I'm single by choice because some right. well, I said, in my inbox and I freaked out and said, "Oh, I'm dead." <laughs> when you get a certain age, you gotta just hang it up. I was like, I live in Denmark. I said something crazy like that. Get what you All can right. get. So here we go. I'm gonna let this video keep going. We'll drop the link here for a minute for y'all to come up before we get out of here. Here we go. It changed the relationship like for me. Well. So in answer to your question, is it difficult to date? Yes, I think so, because I really am attracted to uh, men of color. I just am. I love how a black man says mother baby. <laughs> Nobody like, says it like y'all. Like, like, and not, I know you'll beep it out. I know you'll beep really, it out. No. I don't really say it well, huh? <laughs> so, you know, he doesn't cuss good at all, Gail. I, every time he cusses, I'll be like, you making us look better. No, no, <laughs> no, it's just the way that it's said. I don't even know how to explain it to you. Like, how, they, just, how, how do they say it? I can't, I can't do it. I like, can't do that's it. my motherfucking baby. No, no, no. When they call like, you baby, like, oh, hey, baby. Like, hey, baby. Yeah, I love how they say, hey, baby. Tame, it's what's, two, your, it's, what's your hey, baby? It's no. two separate things. Ooh, it's he's not, coming for her. He's it. Two separate things. God. I love how they say, hey, baby, how you doing? Uh, it's different. It is different. And then how they just say, mother, oh, yeah, it could be a term of endearment. <laughs> it could Thank be you. A, it could be a term of endearment, yeah. or it could be, I'm really pissed. Yeah. But there's something about the black, a black man says it. I'm just... I'm attracted to that. They got to have something else too, though. Yeah, I'm about to say it. <laughs> no, you don't want somebody with a potty mouth chanting. It's not that. Mm -hmm. It's not that. But sometimes a well-delivered uh, curse word is is very intelligent to me. You might want to go to Channing's uh, stand-up. He just started stand-up. And he has this one skit about terms of endearment. Yeah. yeah. Every cuss word, you could be said nice or mean. Uh -huh. Even bitch is a bad word. Like you know, nobody wants to be called it a bitch. It is a bad word, yes. But if you say it certain, hey man, this bitch over here, ha ha ha! <laughs> I don't you like raggedy that. bitch. I don't, there's two different things. I, two different things. No, I don't like this bitch over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you lost me with that. It ain't so just just motherfuckers the one that runs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I throw motherfuckers. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we we we. No, um, that's good. You're you're not what intimidating. What are you laughing at? <laughs> see, <laughs> see? Girl, there's not... just something about the way they say it i don't know but but what really is most attractive to me is a sense of humor kindness you always get me with kindness i like to see how they interact with other people mm -hmm. somebody you can take to the white house and the backyard barbecue who who fits in with both and is comfortable in their own skin intelligence really matters to me proper grammar really matters to me and somebody that can make you laugh i got set up on another date you'll like this the guy said oh man I, i'm a really good cook you know i want to cook dinner for you i'm gonna make i make a mean scrimp scampi <laughs> i said oh you mean shrimp scampi no girl i mean scrimp scampi <laughs> <laughs> and I called my friend and said, are you mad at me about something? He didn't even say, he can't even say shrimp scampi. <laughs> so that was it. The, the scampi might have been running into the shrimp. <laughs> yeah. And it just made one word. It was <laughs> scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scrimp scampi. That is crazy. But yeah, what we, were you going to say? We, no, I was going to say, when we met you. Uh... So it's nug nug after nug nug. Yeah. This, well, Mr. Walker, are we what we attract or what? What's going on? Damn. That's hey, she and her. That's her lane. That's her lane, brother. Out here, so why is she some getting nug nugs? Yeah, and she's she seventy. She's seventy. Yeah, it is what it is. is. At yeah, 70, she's 70 with resources. Nug -nugs. She hold on. She's seventy. She got resources. She ain't blowed out. It's, it's, what do you that's mean? It. But why is she running in the nug nugs at that that's level? Because she's a gold mine. What do you mean? Yeah. There shouldn't be nug nugs at her level. It well, should, should that's what be. I'm trying to say. Nug Maybe. nugs don't mean nug nugs. It, uh, real quick, don't, that ain't your economics. Like we just sat here and said, future it was a nug nug. So it's not necessarily you could be a millionaire. It's how you operate your software, how you think, how you go right. about moving, and your life decisions. Sort of so, like, okay, okay. 
Okay. I the high you. value men aren't checking for her no more. So the nug nugs is banging at the door now. Like she's not value man, she's not finna all that. Shit she talking about taking somebody to the White House and all that. Them dudes ain't messing with her. They don't want to yeah. be with her in that White House. You can take so nug nugs. Saying her only choices is nug nugs. Listen here. Listen ain't here. Nobody else checking <laughs> for her. In the alternate universe, and and, I, and I'm a lonely single man, and I'm messing with Gail. Gail buying me a, a freaking Austin Martin. Right. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> now, she didn't. She didn't pass all the high man up. She, she she's done. She can't get them men no more. So that's yeah, why her, her best oh, friend is Oprah. Y'all right. know the kind of parties they going to. Right. 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 So she can't bring this man around. That ain't of a certain stature, and that man ain't coming. So she just single. It's over. Right. right. Come on. We got Gail and Oprah. They can't wait to sit there and poke fun and berate and emasculate a man they think less than. Let you go in their company talking about scrimp. Gail and Oprah going to laugh and talk so bad to you. And here's the thing, too. Let Gail go ahead and bring a desirable brother in. She Oprah going to be like, you got to share him, Gail. <laughs> So I think the net net of it, Gail absolutely has to pay to play. Y'all got to agree to that. Yes. Or she, I mean, and, what, and what, it, what, 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 Crystal? <laughs> and that's the thing, though. You see, no. how she, how she was trying to sound hip around them young dudes, like because she know, like that's uh-huh. her pool kind of them the yeah. type dudes she got to deal with. So she trying to sound hip to try to seem, you know, like she don't even sound right. How she talking? Like how she was yeah. trying to talk. It's like, no, nah, Gail, that ain't you. She tried, but that's not you, Gail. She was trying to sound hip and hop to the other random young dudes. Like, sh- come on, Gail. Come I'm on. not arguing that she's waited a very long time to push this off. I'm not arguing that. And I'm not arguing that it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult for her to find a partner. I'm not arguing that. What I'm saying is that she does not have to pay to play. She can Why decide. Why not, though? Why not? Because she can decide, like I said earlier, to not deal with anybody. That's what she can well, do. What if she does? So that's you. That you. You add your caveat. She absolutely right. does want a man. So now what? So she we needs don't... to be realistic and understand that most of them, she has a target on her back. She's just like a doctor or a lawyer. That's a woman. Like you got a target on your back, whether you like it or not. So she's just in a rough situation to where it's probably not going to come. Um, and the only way that I see it coming is if Jesus himself, you know, comes and puts her in the right part place with uh, Rev. What's his name? Reverend Al Sharpton or some shit. So like companionship. That. You don't advocate for companionship at all. No, like, I do. I, I, I advocate for companionship, but not if it's going to be to the detriment of that person. How is it, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. Not to the person, to the woman. Cause no, to the person. Because you know, if that man had resources, he would be expected to pay to play. Only a woman is not. Well, That's well no, the he's thing specific. is, I, he's specific. No, no, I always stand on my same thing. You can rewind me. I always say a man should mostly stay in his masculine, and a woman should mostly stay in her feminine. So, yeah, you're right to a certain degree. I would never. So, so, so should women not earn money then? Should they no, they should earn money? money, but it is. What did she say? She gave him the four thousand dollars. The truth is right there, and she and he paid it back, and it turned her off because naturally, most women and majority are going to be turned off from a man who cannot provide, be responsible, and what seems to be protect. That's most women. So if that's the case, you have some older women, especially over 60, who feel like, forget that. Either, like Gavin said, I'm going to pay to play a younger guy so he can go home, get the hell out of my house, or either I'm going to be single. I'm going to be single until God, Jesus himself, comes and put this person in my life because nobody nobody wants to be a Sherry Shepherd. You know, all respect to her. She actually seems really cool, but just silly, like... You can't let somebody come in there as a woman and just completely flip the roles of uh, masculinity and femininity. Most times it never works. Well, here's the thing. Like, some women don't understand because you said, like, maybe she'll get her man if Jesus sent her a good man or whatever. What if he already did that and she passed him by? She didn't. Get in her femininity. She didn't submit. She right, didn't we already submit. answered that. So she you said that she that nothing. she waited to she waited a late late in life to to figure that out. I just said that. Right. Yeah. 
Ethan Queen? I'm saying she, it, it's not a matter of, it, it's a matter of whether you want to pay, <clears throat> want to pay for play. Most women don't want to pay to play. So therefore you'd rather be alone and not even deal with it and just let it pass by. However we want to pass by. See, we're not, uh, uh, we're not saying that we don't want it. What we're saying is we're not going out and chase. Men are the ones who have to chase. Men have to chase women. And then we are only as good. We're only as good as the options that come towards us because women mostly don't chase men. Men mostly chase women. She, her pool of men are <clears throat> 75, 70 to 80. That would be her pool. That would, if you're looking for men like young, oh, men, what's bro, it, what's it, what's you, right? you got to go to the damn cemetery to find them. <laughs> But yeah. he gotta head up to the local cemetery to get them. Guys. Well, I mean, See she that? may. I mean, you never know. She may run into, or, or you know, she may uh, run into. The what was she, 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 it's over for Gail. It's over for Gail. So I'm over. saying, she over. says, "Okay, I'm not gonna find the man that I want, who's where I want him to be in life. So therefore, I'm just gonna do what I need to do, and and then I'm not even gonna pay attention to men. So there's a lot of women who pay for play, like I said. Chris Jenner pays for play. She's 70. And that young dude she has, she got she got her little nung nung. And she know what time it is. He know what time it is. Okay, you never know. But some women are not going to pay to play. Like Gail doesn't want to pay to play. Period. But should she? Should she? Should she? No. No. She, no. No. I would no. never suggest the older woman. But all the mother women, but all the mother women should. What about the mother women you was No, I'm not saying no women should. No, no woman, woman should pay, pay to play. play. No woman should pay to play unless okay. she chooses to. Unless right. she chooses to, I, right. I can't tell her or what to do. She has to or has to. Like she if she to has to. No, if she has to, if she, if she, if she is not attracting a man, she's old and wrinkly or whatever is going on. No offense to my older sisters. Right. And she wants that young buck, then she gotta pay for what she wanna pay unless she find a dude who has a fetish for something like that. But for the most part, that's a choice. But most women are not going to pay to play. Most women will just not have SEX, go to an old ex who things still working, or get a rose. The women don't want to pay to play. They don't. Most women don't. You don't think they, in 2024, you don't think they should? No. I don't think a woman should ever pay to play. Nope. That's not my advice I would ever give a woman. Don't pay to play. You can't get it. Do something else. But I mean, but Chris. That he made, he created y'all for us. I mean, it's, 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 they I'm never, I, I put this on record right now. I will never, <laughs> ever, ever pay to play. I don't care if I'm 70. I'm going to be like, Angela happen. Bassett. Right. I'm not yeah, paying you though, Crystal. A lot, everybody ain't the same, Crystal. Right. You're, I know. So nice. you're so nice. I mean, I love you. I want to squeeze your cheeks, but I'm just saying, like, you, you're so nice, but it's not a thing. Somebody, somebody going to have to pay to play. Women Somebody paying to play is not a thing. Men paying to play, that's a thing. But women paying to play is not a major thing when you're that age. They just they just say, forget it. All right, don't stop expecting men to, you know, cook and clean, all that good stuff. They ain't doing it. So, man, y'all heard the ladies? They ain't paying, they ain't doing none of that. I'm just telling you, it's not, a big, it's not a big thing. It's not a big thing when, that's not a big thing for women to pay to play. Some women do it because they have money. If you have money, you may pay to play. But poor women are not out here, and there's more poor women than there is rich. Well, women. the fact of the matter is, more poor women are paying to play than rich women. Rich they women don't pay to play. play. You, they, poor they, women, they, absolutely. They yeah. Yes, they pay no money. Have the, right. Absolutely. Let me explain. Exactly. Let me explain. They got they got the the section eight house. They move nug nug in. They got the food stamps that nug. They feed his belly. Nug nug drive her car while she at work. She is absolutely paying to play. But that's not pay to play. Like yes, it play. is. No, it's not. It is. That's an option. She can get other options. Pay to no, play. Is every pay man come in. Be the no options. It's going to be the same thing. Same situation. No. Women who are young that are 30 who are helping Nug Nug and she's got a Section 8 house is not pay to play. Uh -huh. That's a romantic entanglement. That's something <laughs> no. she's she has a romantic Godless. thing going on. No, you missed yeah. the point. If this man living in there, he ain't paying no bills. She she filling up the refrigerator. She putting gas in the car. She paid for everything. Yeah, she's paying the play. If that was the case, why then why do they always leave? That's real. Why do they, 
Why do they always leave? That's not pain. So, okay. Why so do who leave? leave? Why do who leave? Listen to me. Just like how y'all said, oh, women can't tell us what we do. Well, men can't tell us what our intentions are. Most right. women I know, in majority, who do this silly, I'm going to hold them down and knowing all of that, most times they are they are in hopes that he will quit the street life and let go of the nug nug behavior and go and get a trade and get a real job. Right. That's what she's thinking. And then eventually he like, look, I can't let go of the streets. And then either she stays, he gets locked up, he dies, or you know, she just decides to be with somebody else. Right. Unless she's just a hood street girl who dates drug dealers. So they're not paying to play. They they are in hopes that he's going to change and do something better with his life. 90% of the time. Now, pay, like now explain super, pay to play to them. Explain the difference. Pay to play means that I know what I'm walking into. I don't expect him we to get a better job. I don't expect him to do better. I don't care if he does or not. Just lay the pipe right. and come over when I need you. Go on a date, right. do my arm candy, and right. so I can cackle to my girls on my cruise and right. go home. That's right. pay to play. Right. If not, no, no, that's your whole yeah. show. That's, that's, that's a gigolo. That's a gigolo. Y'all need to stop. Y'all can't make that's what a jiggle. That's what pay to play means. No, y'all can't make your own definitions up. To but that's what a pay to play means. Yo, pay to play is y'all. Y'all are a couple. Y'all live together. There is no. Oh, that's not a pay to play. And she paying. She paying. She paying all the bills. Yeah. She either way. Either like you said, Mister Walker. Either way. Go ahead. Either way. It's not pay to play. If if yeah, whether y'all live together or not, even if y'all ain't a couple, y'all don't have to be a couple. I'll take. Yeah, she's paying to play either way. Yeah. So let me get these super chats. I'm gonna pull this video up. Shout yeah. out to Buddy Rowe. I'm sorry, shout out to Damon. He says she would have gave him 10k if he was nasty. If he was nasty, <laughs> <All right. laughs> and Buddy Rowe, he says women just overcomplicate things. He paid her back that part. And Buddy Rowe, he says, Gail should not have told Oprah anything. Seriously, y'all women talk too much. Man. Let, if, she, if she really wanted man, she need to keep Oprah out her ish. I'll say that. No, single women keep women single. <laughs> and Sal Bill hey. says, Gail can't get it? Question mark. Gail can get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She got to pay you, though. Tell him, Sal Bill. She he ain't saying nothing about pay. He says she can get it, which means she don't have she to pay. Get what? Get what? Get stroked down? Get her buns glazed? What are we talking about? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and accused of Aston Martin. Ah, <laughs> she don't pay. Right. Ain't nobody yeah. sleeping with Gail for free. Man, come on. Yeah. And Sal. What? It's Sal. Yeah. And some young men who are into that. I keep telling y'all, some people have no. like, oh, okay, wait, wait a minute. Sal. 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 They are insidious. Oh, they got ulterior motive. They are insidious. I promise you. Sal. Put a one in the chat if you are looking to extract some resources from her with clapping cheeks. Just put a one yes to no. Let's see. There are some ashamed men who I know they are into older women. I know it. And I know y'all ashamed. Yeah, but Gail, know. ain't no man knowing who she is. He's trying to extract resources. Right, right. Of right. course. No, I'm not arguing with the Gail, but I think it is some men who are into older women. Perhaps. We men get Gail. what they can get. Men get what they can get. All right. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. He says, women pay to play way more than y'all think. It's millions of dudes with no jobs or cars clapping cheeks daily. It's called homosexuals. They get box. All right. Sal Bill, he says, richer women pay to play. Are y'all aware of the ex-tourism industry around b Dub? He says those trips to Jamaica and Africa, they catch they catch him wood. They catch him mm -hmm. wood. All right. And and Buddy Rowe, he says women pay to play only for the guy she is wet for. That part. Yes. So I'm pulling this up. Women are in dire straits right now. I want to share this video real quick. Shout out to my girl Danica Marie. Make sure y'all subscribe. Also, shout out to um O'Shea, Duke Jackson, Anton Daniels, um, the Pivot Podcast, Fair Use, you know, all the clips we've been using. Shout out to all those guys. My girl Danica been cooking. Check this out. This woman, winter is here. Winter is here. I want to be a strong. She pretty much talks about like coming to the realization that she no longer wants to be a strong, independent black woman. I will have to say that it's just now hitting me. I just turned 33 and I will say, I think it's this year that it's really hit me 
that I do not want the title of a strong, independent Black woman, okay? I am a single divorced mom. I have been divorced now for four years, going on five years. So I have been doing this whole thing by myself, literally doing everything, right, for me and my daughter for the past five years. And I will say that although I am very happy with my life, I pray for a soft life, a life where the financial weight and the financial burden doesn't fall on me. Actually, I don't want a financial burden in our household period, but I really do not want to carry the weights in that capacity at all. I want to be able to live a life of leisure, a soft life, a slow life. Like I <laughs> am so tired. And although I do feel like I carry it well, like, yes, you probably can't even tell that I'm tired because I do feel like I carry it well. That's not a good thing in itself. Like, I, it shouldn't be a badge of honor for me having to go through all these different struggles to be, you know, great, right? Like, I look forward to the day where I marry someone <laughs> that kind of relieves me of the stress of like day to day life. And to be honest, I feel softer, I feel more feminine whenever I'm able to rest a lot more. And right now, I'm not able to do so as much because again, I'm doing this by myself. I am a single mom, but I know, and God knows, there will come a day, <laughs> there will come a day where I can really truly tap into my soft <clears throat> girl era where I do not have to be this strong woman that's always carrying every single thing, like that I can rest, where I can trust somebody to lead all right so shout out to ace metaphors we're all the sympathetic men we're these sympathetic men well, to come go, well, right here you're gonna want me me i got it i got it she right she should have stayed in that relationship we don't we don't know what it why she got divorced she didn't say but we can assume he probably wasn't no good he probably wasn't no good he probably won monogamous he probably was cheating on her probably done you know, through uh, lunch meet at her while she was sleeping, just all terrible, abusive in all kinds of ways. So, no, she's going to find her man. She's gorgeous. She's a perfect 10. And she's going to find her the man that she desires because she, because she's smart. And she's this, a queen. Can I, I want to jump in real quick. Um, I halfway kind of agree with your sarcasm because I think this <laughs> is a, Well, no, I'm saying that because um, I think that a lot of this is why I harp on women who get married too early on. And it bothers me, us us as women and mothers and daughters and grandparents and how we don't get our young ladies hip. We want to keep our little mouth shut and everything's fine and God will provide instead of getting your women hip for the reality of marriage and the reality of a long term commitment. Right. And so many young girls, you could tell she was naive and kind of went into it thinking, oh, look at my wedding pictures and all of that, which is beautiful. But what happens is you don't understand that that man is still growing, that that young man is still growing so that he's going to make mistakes most times. And I'm not trying to bash men. But I think it's very silly as women how we post our pictures on Instagram. We 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 make try to make other women jealous instead of just being a sister to her or at least a woman and being honest and just saying sometimes it's not always going to be good. Sometimes it's not always going to be perfect. And you better know if he's under 45, most times at some point in the course of a 50 year marriage, 40 year, 30 year marriage, he's going to make a mistake. So that's my that's my first thing. Um, I'm not saying that the mistakes should just constantly happen, but I think it's stupid when women go into it thinking he would never hurt me. And then we go into it. And we've all been young and dumb, including myself, where we go into situations thinking that a man is going to operate like a woman and that doesn't happen. And we find out too late. Um, so that's my first point I wanted to make with that. Um, the other thing is that um, women are learning femininity too late. And that's why heathen queen and me and whether they think we're masculine or not, um, whatever. But that's why we are advocating for femininity and, you know, learning yourself as a woman, because when you don't, you think, oh, let me com sometimes let me compete with him or I can work just as hard or whatever the case may be. And that's not what is going to give you the soft life that 90 percent of women want. Um, and just last but not least, I would suggest that she changes her hair 
A lot of times women wear these whack hairstyles sometimes that is a turnoff and makes them look older. Uh, it was a pop the balloon session. This girl had a whack ass curl. You know, I like natural, but just do it right. Like her hair is fine. But if she is out here with two kids, she did it the right way. She was married. Maybe he did cheat. OK. And now well, well, here's my question. Because listen, can she find other men? Perhaps all that good stuff. I think after a woman, you've been married, you got kids. I think you have forfeited the soft girl era. Not right? necessarily. That's why I said she needs to change her style. Yeah, for the vast majority. Change? Obviously, there could be some exceptions, but the vast majority, they have forfeited. I don't I don't know if I agree with that. But if she want a soft life, she gonna want she want a soft life, she's gonna have to submit, you know, she's gonna have to stay in her lane, she gotta know her role. Like, you know, I mean, you can't want something and not want to give. You it's just give it's a get in the give. So well, uh, well I say I say this joker, she can do all that, but a man gotta go in there wanna be a stepdaddy and provide and all that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole here's deal. a question. Here's right. a question. Do you do, uh, do does anyone believe there's a disrespectful cheating and respectful cheating? They ain't, they quiet. I'm asking. <laughs> you, I'm asking. I'm only asking this because like the, you like to answer your own questions sometimes. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the thing. Like these, that's the thing. Like the, the the questions require no answer. It's just like wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm asking because you all are always saying. Have you ever heard a man? You heard we heard talking about this woman. But you say a man can cheat. And you don't necessarily, you, women is always leaving. 80% of the women are leaving. Well, look. If a woman if, just cheated on, are you saying that she shouldn't leave? Well, here's the thing. If Nug Nug, okay, we was talking about pay to play. If if Bon Keisha had a Nug Nug and he she was paying to play, if Nug Nug would just keep his thing in his pants, she would pay to play. Y'all don't want to hear what as I long, said. For, like, as long as, for as long as he wanted her to. But Nug Nug just don't know how to stay still. He all over the place with it. But if Nug Nug would just stay with his woman and not cheat, if Nug Nug didn't cheat, pay to play would be at an all time high. But they're doing it. But the thing about it is they don't be wanting to do it because they get they cheated on cheat, and they get. If men didn't cheat, that an eighty percent wouldn't be as high as it would That's be. That's crazy. Let's see. Then, then here come my answer. Since we're here. going on this, so hit a period. The women always worry about the men cheating. That's it's like it's right. like men. What do you mean? Her, what, wait, wait, what? No, Queen the Queen did her thing, and we was yeah, all because it's it a goofy question. We always worried about the man cheating. Oh, he cheated. Like some dude just one day was like, "Hey, honey, I'm going to work," and just cheated. There's that's what we talk about accountability on both ends. If you are with a logical man, why would this man do this if it wasn't in his best interest? There's never a moment where the woman's like, you know what? Was what, am I doing something wrong that caused my man to step I out? I can agree with that. I can agree with that, but I think like, I'm, I'm just because my thing. I'm tired of this evil dude who he just cheat. He just no, no, no. I cheat. Can, if y'all wouldn't cheat, like I can agree. A, a cause and effect. Men I, are not just like I'm going to cheat today. <laughs> I can agree. I can agree with that, but I think that's that's some men. That's a maybe a large amount of married men who wouldn't just want willingly. Or want to cheat? I agree with that. I think that women have a hard time reflecting when did the cheating start. Um, but I think also too, it's never an excuse to cheat on them in a marriage. Right. It's never and, stand up to her, get a therapist, you know, leave her, do something. But cheating to me is never an option right. in a marriage. And right. if you if she ain't giving you puss, let her know. You stop. You keep holding out on it. You're gonna be mad with somebody else bouncing on it. And I guarantee she's gonna give you some more. Because guess what? She gonna hear what you said, and she gonna oh, see he ain't cheating. Go through my phone. You ain't no. Nah, you can't guarantee that. You can't. You talk about a guarantee. She go. What about the millions of men who telling you, Crystal? She didn't hear what I said. What are you talking about? So well, why are y'all with her? Let's, here we go. Let's talk about this. We talking about cheating. Let's look right. at some data and statistics. Everybody like it. So here we go. According to research, men. According to research, what we got? 20, 2019, 2020. Men cheat more than men. 20% to 13%. And what put like, is it that big of a gap? So, so 20% to 13%. So how are we getting this 80% divorce rate if the cheating percentage is so daggone close? 
You can't justify it. Well, no, we said, no, the number one reason why people get divorced is communication. That's right. what it is. It's communication. Right. It's not cheating. We're talking about cheating, though. We, the the biggest the topic is cheating, not communication. But I didn't say cheating. that. And he's the queen said divorces are happening because of cheating. But 80% is cheating, not 80% all you can be there. But men are cheating, supposed to at a 20% clip, and women at 13. Explain this 80% now. Go ahead. But they're, but they're not cheating. 80% is not all cheating. 80% encompasses. But that was the, whole the point you made. That was the point you made. You said it. But no, no, I'm saying it wouldn't be. High. I said it wouldn't be so high. <laughs> but it, exactly, and that's my point. 20% to 13% is is uh, justifying 80% divorce rate, right? Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. It would probably wouldn't be eighty percent. No, it wouldn't be eighty. It'd be it'd be seventy five. Granted, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Let me get these super chats real quick. Um, shout out to buddy. Uh, we get your buddy Rofe. Women pay to play. Only forgot I got that one. Skinny boy. Prison Bay is getting plenty of coins from B Dubs. That part. Uh, Red Pill Ranger. He says soft girl era equals don't want to work anymore. Man. <clears throat> And South Bill, soft girl equals um past my 304 phase. I'm getting older and can't compete with younger women. I need a sucker to come in and rescue me. Huh. No, no, but younger women, but older women are not saying that kind of thing. We've hear, we've heard that from younger women mostly. All in right. Years, life. In a soft girl, a soft girl era. It, it, it's getting bigger because of Instagram and things like that. And people are showing their different lifestyles, but ultimately, you no know, women are realizing that we, we throw the baby out with the bathwater since they like it. When I say that <laughs> with the, with the, with the feminist movement, like me, a lot of men say we forgot about the feminine aspect mm. when we needed our rights. Cause the feminist movement still needed to happen. I repeat that. But <laughs> we did Damn. not need to Wait, throw what? out the baby with the bath water. We didn't right. need to just forget our children and forget the home. And we, it went too far. So the thing is, this soft girl era is only what women naturally are supposed to really do. Be mothers, be in the home, have a passion. Like, I'm not saying we can't be doctors, lawyers, whatever the case may be. Right. But understand that takes a lot of masculinity. And at some point, like you mm -hmm. said, you're going to get tired. It's only so long you can keep that up. I got a quick question. We, quick we quick question feminism. on feminism. Quick question, Crystal. Movement now, when feminism took place, it was the, the Caucasian sister started the whole uh feminist movement, right? It wasn't the it was not melanated women that started, it was the Caucasian sister, right? Mm -hmm. Caucasian women started. All right. Now, it is my understanding that melanated women were not experiencing the griefs that this Caucasian woman was, was experiencing. However, that they came into the melanated woman's house. Wait, I gotta pause you real quick. I gotta pause you real quick. <clears throat> Why are you saying it? I'm I'm speaking in terms of like because that feminism had to happen. My point of saying that is, I, feminism was not a, a issue for the melanated woman. Says says, says, that. says people who yes, don't, it who, was. says people who are just saying that as constant talking points. But no, I'm mean, saying it. I'm I'm sitting here saying I believe that well, to be true. Feminism, I, I don't I don't <laughs> I, I don't agree I don't agree with that. And for the simple fact, yes, do black women have different issues with their black man than Caucasian women might have had with they mean? Okay, I can give you that. But right. the point is. It had to happen. I shouldn't have to say, uh, babe, can you uh open up me a bank account for my business? Right. And and everything. Why not? Why, not? why, why no. not? No. Because why should you go because to your man? Why should you go to your husband, your leader, your guidance, and say, babe, can you help me open up a bank account? No, I said no. Nothing is wrong right. with He's having him help you. But the point is, what about the women who are the majority of people on this earth? Women outnumber men, right? right? What about the women who don't have a man? The right. ones who ain't gonna get a man, the Gail Kings in y'all defense. So well, we well, hold on, two things is true. That's why there was an 80% marriage rate back then. We were more dependent on each other. That's why Mr. Walking on this that allowed y'all to go rogue and become mercenary. No, but you, you don't right. want people to be your slave. Right. You want your wife to be It was the order. It was the order. It was a order. It was a lane. You a don't lane. want okay. So my thing That's is this. Right, no, lane. I would if somebody said put in a vote, if you always have to ask your husband, can you open up a bank account? 
before you open up a bank account, I'm going to vote for, I want the option to open up my bank account, whether I am married or not. You keep saying ass, you got a co-op. It's more of a co-op. Quit looking at it like you got an ass. It's not that type. So why do you keep saying lead then? See, but see, this is the feminist movement. What it did is separated man from woman. Amen. No, it didn't. Do you all know what a feminist movement was about? Separated us. The what feminist I'm, movement meant that we could open bank accounts on our own. We could get a women, job but, on our own. We could be. We y'all could, could be, have got that, but through us. No. Yeah. No, we're not. Yeah. That, yeah y'all, you're not the government. You you're not the government. You can't legally say what is and what isn't. Right. So that's how it was. That's how it was. I, I mean, we can beg to differ, but no, I don't. I would never. What if? Women what if, women what about the woman who? Man, they understood. What if? Nobody is saying we don't need men, but the thing is, what about the woman who's not cute? What about the woman who can't get a man? Right. What about her? She 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 be man. What about the woman who doesn't have everybody? everybody. everybody. What about the woman have who doesn't have family? Family. What they want? It's well, not who doesn't have a husband or a brother or a dad. I like that point, Crystal. So okay, I'm. So Crystal, you saying that without feminism? I could. I don't know. I'm really asking. Women couldn't get jobs without the fem. They were- women could get under the table cleaning jobs, right. Uh, right. maid jobs, right. seamstress jobs, and things right. like that. But they could not start a business. They right. could not open up a bank account. Right. They could not do- vote. They couldn't they vote. Why? You know why? Because because they was at home raising the kids, and there was no such thing as sexy reds and sukianas in the community. But then they were no, the Hold on, hold on. So these wonderful women, they weren't so focused on starting uh, businesses and being oh, CEOs. Man. They were worried about raising the kids. Well, the tell that to the and that's why the, that's why the community was not destroyed. So what happened then. to the widows? What were the widows supposed to do? They would get what, what were they supposed to do if they didn't she have a husband, husband and help them open a bank account? Do this, do that. Get they a would job. Get How is she going to take care of herself? We had they to would. become, and you had to have the feminist movement so, in order for the women who didn't have men of the, to provide for them to be under their protection. What about single, ugly women, widowed women, women it's who got right. left by their husband? All of these got and left by their this? And women who just maybe are with a man who says no. This is my thing. I'm not I'm not ever going to agree. Yes. Did they go overboard with it? Of course. Did they take it and run with it and make it even worse? Of course. But the thing about it is nobody. First off, look at how expensive things are right now. Most men do not want tradition. Most men do not want to pay 100 percent of the bills and their wife just be a stay at home wife with the babies. Most men cannot or some most men do not want that. So for the feminist movement, especially for the 50-50 man, he needs to be happy because she can help him with the bills. And it doesn't mean that we should have lost our femininity or ability to take care of our children or put home and family first. That's where it went wrong. But to say it just shouldn't have happened at all because she needed to be under his thumb to right. make sure she could get slapped when she got out of place. If he all was right, abusive, all, right, all right, let me get these cash out real quick. Real quick. Man, do- Man, do what's worth doing. So if it would have been, I don't worth even know what that it, means. If it was if worth, it, worth it, if it's worth it, they will do it. A worth man ain't slap. Ain't worth it. No, not slap. Ah, ah, hold on, let me get this. Shout, shout out to Mister Mister. He come through the ten dollars. He says too many women oh. will stop effing their man, talking crazy to him, and refuse to take care of him. If the <laughs> refuse to take care of the house, if the if the wine, then wine. No, he said then wine about me. And, and then wine about me. Okay, get that out of here. So yeah, they do all that being abusive, quote but unquote. Why? Women, why women being woman abusive to men. But so, why would a woman do all that? Why? Because she she's evil. Up? She's evil. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out the skinny boy. He got through the five dollars. He says when poll seventy percent of women admitted to having a backup plan. Now, what can we not admit that some women are evil? They just got no good intentions. Can no, a lot of women are evil. Yeah, a lot of men evil. are evil. <laughs> yeah. evil. Yeah. We got a world of just some evil people on both sides. It's you know, this, this is what's amazing. This is, this is evil. That's why we this, in this mess. Of course, this, they're evil. This this is what's mean, amazing. It, you didn't even have to say, you know, men, men, especially melanated men, are portrayed evil on TV every day. But that's, that's why I asked, are, can we can we fathom any women being evil? But we can't yeah. say it and just say yes and not say, but men no, is portrayed on you... TV. It's a 
Eric, but you, what you're implying know. it, what it's implying is women are leaving their men. Women are not having sex with their men. That's not what women I are bucking up to men just for no reason. Out of the clear blue sky. It's in the food. It's in the food. They're getting all that testosterone, extra, you know what I mean? There's reasons. I, you you yeah. said there's reasons for men who cheat. Then there's reasons for women who do the things they do. You can't just blame, say men get to cheat because she ain't doing what she's doing. And then yet and still, she get to do what she want to do, but there ain't no reason for her to do that. You know, that's There's fine. always a reason for why she didn't have sex with him. She didn't do this. She bucked up to him. There's always reasons for why she did it. Just like <laughs> men. There's always reasons. Yeah. All right. So shout out to Damon. He put Crystal in timeout for five minutes with the $20. Off. He says, didn't Crystal B slap that Christian sister on single choice two weeks ago? Take a time out, Chris. Shout out to Crystal. Uh, shout out to Sal Bill. He says, a, a B-dub calling marriage slavery while married. Oh, yeah. well, I, I would never call marriage slavery. I love marriage. I want to. I want marriages all around the table. If we could get married and we could become productive black couples. I you, don't, want that. you don't want that. You, oh, you, heck you, yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, only, only if the women, only if it's advantageous for the woman. Yep. Right. Only if it's, right. you know, no, there, there's there's right. advantages for the men get married too. There's advantages for all of us to be married. We we gain wealth right. when we get married. We become, Ooh. we become Ooh, less sick more. when we only get married. Only if it's worth it. Only if it's worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. He says, let logic flow for a while, heathen queen. Yeah. Boom, All right. Shout out to Mr. Mister. He says, Madam CJ Walker stated, Ooh. started a business and became the first B dub millionaire before feminism. Mm. It's Black History Month. Stop the cap. Oh, thank you. Right quick. That's my point. The point I was trying to make. And <clears throat> sisters. It was a ruse. It was it was a ludicrous mockery. Y'all got had by the feminist movement. That fight wasn't y'all's. That's my point. Yes, and here we right. are today. Y'all can say what y'all want, but look at the result now. Amen. I'm pull this video back up. Um, uh, we'll wait for them. I'm gonna let my girl Danica uh cook real quick. Um, shout out to Big John. He says, men don't cheat. We exercise options. Yeah. Boom, Don't cheat. Don't you cheat. Ah! <laughs> so, so my girl, Danica, this woman here, she says she want to live a soft girl life. She was married. She got a kid. Danica got a word for her. Cheater. This, this woman, she's so out of the damn loop. She thinks she going to get married again. Lord have mercy. She thinks she's going to get married again. And not only is she, is she thinking she's going to get married again, but she's thinking that she's going to get married to a high value man that is going to take care of not just her, but also her child that, you know, is not his. And, and, and also she she's so out of the loop and she's so just delusional that she really feels like, yeah, you know, I, I'll I'll be able to to live this soft life and this that like she so she so Paula Tinting Paula Tinting like lady what you had and it's no shade I, but we gotta be real what you had was clearly and obviously the best that you could have done and all that you will be presented with it's been four years ma'am four. Four. If you have not found a replacement for the husband that you already had by now, you won't. That's the harsh reality that a lot of you females will have to accept. And we hit on that sometime. How how women y'all born with y'all value, and then the clock is ticking, right? And a lot of women just don't acknowledge it. Even if they do know, they won't acknowledge it. And they'll be for like Gail. We'll have women up here like Gail, 70 years old, still talking about 666. Yeah, it's because they they handsome boys. They equality. My 
I'm not born with my with the women now say I'm not born with my value. I'm gonna gain my value like a man. So when I'm 50 years old and I got a PhD, a G Wagon outside, and all that, and all these assets, now I'm a big handsome boy. But now, but now I'm ready for my soft girl life. So I'm not gonna pay like men. You're gonna still come pay for me. The sick hoodoo. Except at all women. And I was gonna say she hit on something we hit on a lot is. You know, she said, you gave your husband the best of you. So you gave that man, you were single, young, with no kids. You married that man and gave him a kid. That was probably the best you could have. That was, there wasn't no question about it when you're speaking on women. That's the best you could have done. And sometimes, Yeah, so you ain't going to get no better than that. That was my thing. So where's she? Right. Soft girl life. Sometimes you got to know when to tap out. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. And you just got to know, like, when you cooked, you cooked. Some some of them be still thinking they can get this and get that when you didn't pass him by or you already had it. And like, no, you don't no, you don't, you don't just keep getting to play this game, especially when you're a woman, because there's certain values and certain lanes and certain ways you have to move through life. They gotta understand it. You gotta know when to tap out. Like, I, I can't get this. I'm gonna have to try to, you know, get cooperate and get in line with this. Like. Yeah, I agree. And they got a longer life expectancy than men. It's hard to tell a woman 28, 32 years old and she got to spend the next 50, 60 years on this planet that she can't get what she want. Right. So, Man. That's a tough pill to swallow. What you got, Crystal? I didn't say that marriage was slavery, by the way. Why would I say that? If it was the case, I wouldn't be married. I said that a woman being forced to be in a marriage due to survival tactics or reasons can feel like slavery. That's what I was saying. Cause some of y'all just can't wait to try to twist my words. And I did not say that, nor do I mean that. Right. But Crystal, do you agree? Sometimes you got, you got, you got to know, you get one, you got to know when to tap out. Like it's just, you're not going to get it. I think you got to know when to be realistic. I think right. that like y'all were like uh, Gavin and, you know, y'all were saying it's just if you are seriously set on that, I think what's weird to me with a lot of women is they'll say they're dead set on Mr. Six Figures or a six foot man, don't matter how much money he makes and whatever, but they refuse to be what that man wants. And that's what I think is super weird. And at that point, I feel like just be real with yourself. You're not going to get that. You, you can save your time. And possibly even find somebody who will love you um, if you just be a bit more realistic, especially if you're not going to put in the work. Right. I think I think the, the smartest thing that a Kevin Samuel said, and maybe one of the only things that I took from him and his, what he was saying was, you can want what you want, but the man you want has to want you. Amen. You have to become what that man wants. Amen. The man you want you have to be what that man wants. Amen. So you have to become what that man wants, right? And and people uh, people I used to talk to, they used to say, I used to tell them, the man I want is this man. And this man doesn't like a fat woman. This man doesn't like a masculine woman. This is the man that I want. The man I want doesn't want a masculine woman, a fat woman, or this woman or that woman. So I have to, if I want that man, I have to change all of these things to be, what that man wants if i want that man that's what i took away from kevin samuels that's the only thing i probably took away from him but that's what i took away from him and stop, and, the, cap. stop the cap and when you settle people keep saying settle we don't we all settle my dream man is denzel washington i ain't gonna get him right so therefore i have to settle for whoever's here in wherever i'm at you like I don't know Halle Berry. That's not true. That's not you, true. You like no, Halle Berry, you gotta, but you, you, but you, you said that. Now, the Queen Denzel. But you know what I'm saying. You you know what I'm saying. You 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 pick who you uh, dream about. Yeah, I think yeah. she's saying it's no, real quick, real quick. No, no, he's the Queen. Yeah, you can't. You cannot. You cannot. That's called delusion. And truly, <laughs> respectfully, that's called delusion. You cannot say, you cannot say the thing. Holy hell. Rest in peace to God. Long live the Godfather. No, you can't do that. 
I don't think it's, I think it's, I think it's what I agree with is compromising. I think that it's compromising. I meet so many women, uh, even single, non children having women. And I wish the guys in the chat would chill out so I can like bring them up here and show them they're in shape, they're under 30, they're successful, feminine, and beautiful. And what the problem that I find with these women, where I get frustrated, is that uh, doing matchmaking, they don't want to compromise. They don't want to. Com a lot of them don't want to compromise, and I, I felt that's what Heathen Queen was trying to say. Listen, I hear you, Crystal. I hear both of y'all. Shout out to Sal Bill. He says twinsies. And yes, Crystal, you said what you said on it. Empire victims, you are by so. <laughs> And shout out to EJ Uno. EJ Uno came through with the $20. Hi, Heathen Queen. Bye, Heathen Queen. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> but no, Heathen, Heathen Queen, Queen, I'll say this, like you said, Mr. Walker, you can't say, if I don't get Denzel Washington, then I'm settling. <laughs> nah, yeah, you, you got yeah, to let that boat go ahead on and float. Gotta let that Man. boat go ahead on and go. See that? Heathen Queen. Like, <laughs> They don't know when to hold them, when to fold them, Nettie. Yeah, they, they don't know. <laughs> How old is he, Queen? Denzel? Come on. Hey, here's the thing. Like, observe. He's the queen. <laughs> Shout out to He's the queen, man. He's the queen. Yeah. Been up here a couple times that she talked about she wanted Denzel. Yeah, she wanted she Denzel. Let Denzel go. She still, let to, that go. still to this day. He, the sister that is He's the world, queen though. still talking about she wanted yeah. this 666. They all yeah. want them. And then man. she said, what she took from Kev was Kev said, you got to be the man, the woman that that man wants. And if they grasp that concept and say, okay, I know what I want, but do he want me? We'd be in a much better place. But they don't say that. Why? Because they all tens. They all beautiful. You know, they all, they only flaws that they too nice. So they don't know why they can't get to Mr. 666. Right. <laughs> Muted. Yeah, I'm pulling this video. I want to share my screen again. And I'm going to show we were checking this out last night, Mr. Walker, but let's we'll show this to the audience. And this is what men got to choose from nowadays. You know what I mean? The culture. Let me show y'all. Oh my right. God. I forgot about this. We got oh. Sexy Red. She up in this hospital. All right. Ah. Y'all see that? Look at that. Y'all see that line? That's from that's uh traction alopecia starting. Hmm. I'm turning no, it to it. We turned to damn doctors all of a sudden. See what I'm saying? <laughs> we we the traction alopecia Ooh. specialists up here. <laughs> so I'll let us go. That's her. Hmm. Oh, Your baby. hairline pushed back, traction alopecia. <laughs> And she got Javier in there whipping it up. Look at yeah. this. What is she spraying on her head? That bottle back here. That's an aerosol can. That's freaking 3D industrial adhesive. That's what it is. That's the stuff you spray when you got that old school and the headliner falling down. And you spray it to tack the headliner back up on that old you school. <laughs> yeah. That part. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Look at that. Alopecia, huh? That's a handsome boy, man. Look at that hair tattoo. Y'all see that? Y'all tracing your hair. Look. But, and I feel you joking, and then glory to my wife. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. I would be. I my chest would be tight if I was out here because I'm a marriage by the man. I, right. My chest would be tight if I was out here trying to figure something out. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I don't want to do it. Could do it. They don't think this is this ain't gonna pay to play. Oh, like she gonna either have to pay to play. She gonna have to pay to play. She is the man right. that got her pregnant. She is currently paying to play with Pookie. Right, right, so, right, right. That's what we said. He's the queen. So when he's the queen, come back up here. You gonna have to address right. that because right. even sexy red. She's her her boyfriend. He got the ankle monitor on. He in and out of jail. He don't got nearly what she got. She's paying to play with that man. Mm hmm. Absolutely, and she young. So it's like yeah. Gail, Gail ain't gonna do it. Come on now, but Gail ain't gonna do it, and Gail got more money than her. Huh. Like, come on, Mel gonna Gail gonna pay to play. 
Look at all that glue. That can't smell good. Here's my thing. These sisters love to hunch. And, 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 and quality hunching may include some sweating. And sweat going to make smells and stuff. I'm trying to tell you something. That glue, that Ooh. got to be so foul. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't no way. Ain't no mm. way, dog. Mm -mm -mm. Stankin'. Talk That's about, scary. Talk about Transformer. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, look at that. Playing and joking, joking. Look, look. shooting at the. Oh. oh, oh, my lord. Since we're here. So sassy. So, so, so sassy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So sassy. So, that's sexy red. That's what these women, listen, she ain't no one off. That's what it looked like up under them wigs, fellas. Yeah. Uh, look at that. That if, voodoo. That, that voodoo. voodoo. Yeah. If she roll over, you wake up and you look over and see her. That's how she's going to look fresh out the shower. All that. You love to roll over and accidentally physically accost her. Look at that. That's a handsome boy. But see, something like that, they not you're not going to stick around that too long because you know what's up under it. Some dudes, <laughs> that's the bro. Some that's dudes ain't gonna even, you know, they're gonna do their thing, get on up from behind it because just because they know what that is. Oh, so yeah, he's right. she gonna pay to play, right? He's the queen, she not paying to play, <laughs> he's not paying to play. She is in a romantic relationship with that young man. Just because she makes more money does not mean she's paying for playing. Oh, huh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> This camera on me. <laughs> no, I don't agree. He's the queen. I don't. I don't know what part of that is confusing you. Seriously, you know right. Crystal, <laughs> Crystal, what you think? I already said what I thought. I said that you know that naive, dumb, and young. Yeah, I want to call it play to play, pay to play. I don't care. But it's it is a difference. I do agree with Heathen Queen. It's a difference. Those older women are going in. Um, with a hopes of just kind of having a, a sugar bo a sugar baby versus sh sexy red is just young and dumb um, and ratchet and actually making a horrible example for black women right now. Yes. Um, so this is pure ignorance um, and it's just, it's, it's at its height. Um, but this is what the media puts out, like how the black man image, they always make y'all look bad. And Kevin Samuels used to talk about that a lot. This is what they're doing for black women right now as well. And this ain't one of those moments of they doing it too. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying this is sick that it's multiple different types of black women that you could use. And they th this is an implant. They purposely put the bone quisha to the max. Is she paying the play? But with that being play? said, all that could be true at the same time. She is her own person. She has the free will that God gave her. She don't have to do any of this. She can say, "Hey, I understand y'all can keep that bag. I'm not. I'm not gonna sell out like this." Exactly. But she's she doing it wholeheartedly. Of what Kate was talking about was men being put, black men being portrayed in the bad light, and they had nothing to do with it. But this here, this is self inflicted, and we'll what? even get on the rappers, the male rappers that's up here acting goofy. They all are detrimental. But the right. thing is, the sister code would never say that this sister's detrimental. She's she's this is artful expression. No, you know? we have plenty, of, and that's why I get so irritated sometimes when they're like the sisterhood, the sisterhood. Look, there are different sisterhoods. <laughs> there are different people. There are Christians. There are Muslims. There are you know college educated women. There are not. So my thing is this: it's not. It's a you got a huge group of black women. Some of them probably in the comments right now who are irritated with the fact that Sexy Red is the um, poster child of black woman. And it's really, it really sucks because in different countries, this is what they see. So when we see our women from our black sisters from the Barbados or the, our black sisters from Africa or Jamaica or Brazil, and they come over here and they think all black women act like that, this is why. They think that, our, that all of us are just, a, you know, like sexy red. Um, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not with it at all. I don't know. Is she paying to play? No. <laughs> she's stupid. She's being stupid right now. And she's holding them. She's the, 
she's the holding down the, the guy in jail type, you know, I'm real, I'm down, steal from the hood. She's that. That's what she is. It's just, I get what y'all saying. And I think we're getting like, like I say, splitting hairs, call it what you want, call it pay to play if you want. But what I'm just saying is that it's, it's a different energy. It's a different vibe and it's a different intent behind it. Um, when they're, when they're young like that, it's, it's not smart for sure. Okay. I think, yeah, I think it's like you said, Chris, however you want to word it at the, at the end of the day, the end result going to be the same. If you ask me, it ain't going to end in no kind of fulfillment or happily ever after they're going to split ways. Nug nug going to go on, but Christian will go on and the cry that all men ain't ish because like you said, they continue to, you know, indulge in these ignorant, you know, uh, relationships. It's going to keep playing out. Yeah, and they, they, they ain't going nowhere. This is this is how it is yeah. right here, folks. Uh, this man. is how it ends. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just letting my baby cry, and I Sometimes you need to cry. I'm tired of keeping up with the prophets who approach you. Jericho saw him. They said, "He was the spirit I was of the Lord." You feel me? My baby's all right. And they came to meet him. Oh, here thinking y'all can carry me to the fucking home before. That's weird. So she mad. People be getting on her baby. Look at little blue face. They be getting on that poor baby. You know what? This is. I, I really. I just. I, I really. I, I can't say too much on this because I. I'm very sensitive, and it kind of makes me emotional. That. Oh, I don't mean to be with Woods, but like this is straight up sad. This is really sad. Yeah, Chris, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, the, the situation with Chris Sean, yeah, shout out to Crystal. Crystal, you know, she's very sentimental about stuff like this. Yeah, Chris yeah. Sean Rock, this ain't going to end well. I feel here, yeah, and that's, that's why we saying this. That situation with Chris Sean, it is so nuclear. This don't, this ends with, this ends in a devastating way with these couples. This don't end well. It does. I'm talking about catastrophes, deletions. Y'all know how this gonna go. So you feel you, Crystal. It's terrible. But that's why we that's why we bringing this out. We gotta somebody gotta say, hey, this is wrong. That's why we come up here week after week, sounding the alarm until something changes. This is the burden of the real men. You guys claim y'all won't. We're gonna keep sounding this alarm until somebody get tired of it and change. So what you got, Heathen Queen? You know, huh? No, I'm saying I'm. Uh, that's a sad situation. I I don't keep up with uh, uh, whatever her. I don't keep up with her, so I don't know exactly what what her situation is. But as far as her, as far as sexy red, most women are not like sexy red. Sexy red is an anomaly that they pulled straight out of the hood ghetto ratchet. They pulled the worst of the worst. That is on the end. That is on the extreme end of black women. Sexy red is on the extreme end of black women. There's women all the way on this end of good women. <clears throat> and most of us fall in between. Most of us don't fall on the end of sexy red. Sexy red is an extreme form of the black woman. Okay. Think so so I think yes, I think so. Really? Most women don't most women don't do what sexy red does. Most I women think, have nothing to do with sexy red. I think it's supposed to be televised. I tell you what, not proud of it. But I could go, I could go back into my hometown on one street and find at least five of them. I can't. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I'm not saying there's no on one block. I'm, I can I'm find. Not saying there's no sexy reds. reds. I'm saying the bulk of us are not sexy reds. Oh, yeah. That's well, what I'm saying. The bulk of us are not sexy red. It's more of us good women or women that are average or in the middle than there is sexy red. Sexy red is an extreme form of black women. I'm going to let this play for another second here. In blue, we're going to give it another try. We realize we is not our happiest with anybody else. So all that shit he was doing was fake, faking, faking for some money. And then me, I was just trying. It just never worked. So, you know, back with my BD. Yeah, he has TV on the phone. He stays on the phone with me. And he loves talking to his bitch. So that being said, um, 
Y'all could just eat a dick, for real. It's not fake. So, I don't know why I keep saying it's fake. I just got it professionally done at a place where they do, like, some real good shit. Man, Blue, we're going to get... So, this <laughs> is what it is. And a lot of people, a lot of... They're trying to emulate this, a lot of these young folks. They want this. These is relationship goals. So... Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is why, too, like uh, people will make fun of me. And what man will let his wife be up this late at night? I've been working on the Internet late at night since 2017. I've been a social media influencer since 2017. Um, and because I have children, my children are in bed at night. For those of you who are so confused. And my, and my husband knows how passionate I am about women doing better, our society doing better as a whole. So he supports me through that because he's a strong, paid up. Black man, might you see I know you they pull you see how men pull bad women, bad with the mark, the, the umbrella of bad women over women that are just regular everyday women. Crystal is an everyday woman, modern woman who has a husband, a family that she cares for very much, but she has other interests outside the home. That doesn't make her a bad woman because all her interests is not in her home. That doesn't make her a bad woman, that makes her a very good woman passionate woman about the things she believes and wants to do and make the world a better place. I would consider her a good woman. I appreciate I'm consider, you. I'm considered a good woman. I don't, I don't drink, smoke, hang out. I don't do any of those things. I do the things that I won't want to do because I'm single. What? I don't think that's good. Clubs. I don't do any of those things. I'm considered a good woman. I yeah. consider myself a good woman, but I'm considered like sexy red or crystal is considered like sexy red. No, so it's not true. no, no, it's no. So no, look, never in a million years. Look, with the Christian, <laughs> with the Christian on rock thing, the Christian on rock thing is, is 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 horrible. But see, the thing about it is, okay, you know, whatever they is, who they is, it is what it is. But I rather them two deal with each other than to come out here and you know deal with other people like just it is what it is you feel me like i say it's lane so i'd rather christian rock know her lane and stay over there with blue face and if she can accept blue face for blue face then it'd be cool but see christian rock trying to change blue face and trying to all this you know she masculine and you know christian rock need to chill she needs a therapist she needs a straight up all that all that therapist yeah. She needs a yeah. therapist and quick because um, it's so much mental illness running rampant in our society. Yes. And that is not a cop out. That is not an excuse, but that is an evaluation. That's true. And I ain't even a doctor that needs to be under wraps. You have a lot of uh, women who just feel like ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I ain't got no flaw, you know? And so because of that, um, you know, they get to this place of thinking that, you know, I, I can do what I want. I'm She's young and dumb. Um, and it's, you know, I, I really wish nothing but the best for her for the simple fact that she has that child. Um, and that's what really hurts me that that child didn't ask to be here through their stupidity. But the yep. other part of it is that she has to want to do better. She has to see a problem with her behavior. Um, and so that's where I think the we have to be the example. So that way these things don't happen. Even if you have a child young, it doesn't give you the right to continue to ratchet behavior that you had uh, previously. So it's just it's really messed up. Right. 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 OK, yeah. so here we go. Um, can you all hear me? My screen's messing up. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull this up. I'm glad you said that, Crystal. I want to pull this up. StreamYard, StreamYard tonight. Man, yeah, that's a, there, there you go, uh, Trey. Yeah, that's that's the thing for you. Uh, those of you that don't know, this channel all started with one, one goal, and that was to do what's best for the children. And that's why we so hard on these uh, Bonquishas and Nug Nugs, because they out here clashing meats selfishly, and then they bring kids into this, like, like you're saying, little blue face. And y'all can see that baby. Y'all see he's an baby. They said that he's an alcohol baby. Come on, Crystal. Look at you. See it. That baby. And if they don't care, I got my baby. He fine. After seeing, observing my wife raise our kids, man, I, 
I, I could not imagine. Yeah, it's crazy. I, mean, I could not imagine. I simply could. Yeah, like what makes you not snap the hell out of it and realize, you know what, maybe mental you illness. Know. You called it, and we that's what we th- mental. That's why we talked about the supply chain kids, mental illness, it's and crazy. it's going on the dress, Crystal. It is. It's not an excuse, and that's why I love it. A lot of these things, I'm gonna say is what tab. A lot of these things are not our fault, but it is our responsibility. Right, so, and that's know, all but, allegedly. That's all allegedly, by the way. Is. But yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all that we don't know. But a lot of these situations ain't some of our faults, but it is our responsibility. And if you want more yeah, life, yeah. you got it. You got to do better. That's all. Yeah. So I'm going to sure. let this video play. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Hey, I'm I forgot to straight off the bone. Hold her head straight off the bone. All throat. No teeth in the light of the I'm just saying, So she running a mobile gok gok business. She well, said all teeth. I mean, no teeth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, she know her lane. She running a mobile. I'm going to zoom in on this. That, she that's know her lane. Head, head on delivery. Head so, on the de- Okay. Huh? Man. Oh. She, 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 have you been, she, she, <laughs> she, 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 have you ever been swallowed up? Yeah. Hey. There you go. Yeah. What about you TD? Yeah, you write no point with that joke. Yeah. Yeah. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Time's out. Yeah. I just had a sick time. You know how the ice cream truck drive by with that, playing that little racist jingle? She gonna be ran by playing that, that TD Jakes. Have you ever been just on loudspeaker? Have you ever been swallowed? Nah, <laughs> I ain't mad at her, but she she better not be out here talking about dudes ain't this and this and this. You want to go out there and do that? Go ahead on, but know your lane. Know your know your lane. Damn. You see why? Uh, <laughs> why? Uh, why? Uh, huh? Trying to get her face dirty. Huh? She, that's wild. That's a made up. That's a made up video. Wild. Hold on, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go one more time. That's wild. What I think? Hey, that motherfucker. What? Hey, that motherfucker. Hold up. I forgot to straight off the bone. Hold her head straight off the bone. All throat. No teeth in the light refresh. I'm just saying, there ain't no wrong with a little head on the go. With some rotator on the thing. Hey, man. 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 Hey,
I would rather have her have her. That's like a scarlet letter. I would rather have that so I could see it. So then I'd be like, okay, you know, it could be a good thing and a bad thing. You feel me? Like, cause she doing it and she just letting you know, okay, you know, I'm cool on that. Cause she, yeah. she got it on her. Sometimes you don't know. She letting you know. Yeah. But we have to, we have to understand. We all have to take our, we all have to take the L on this behavior that these, these kids have. We yeah, all have to take our L men and women alike. Got to take the L. It's just, it's just an L. Now we got to figure out how we got to get out of this gutter. Cause that right there is wild. Ain't no way. That's wild. How you pull up. You have no shame. You have no, you have no kind of morality to you in order to have that particular thing. That's wild to me. Can I, can I, can I ask you something or make a statement too? It seems like to me, and, and um, I'm definitely playing devil's advocate here. It seems like to me that melanated women, whenever they are celebrating a, a win, you know, they like, hey, look what we did. But whenever something like this happened that's detrimental, like you just had Heathen Queen, now it's a we problem. Do you think that? Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I believe it's a we problem because. But but when y'all celebrating wins, it's just it's just the women. Hey, look Man, what we wins, did. Wins but, like, but now that women acting crazy, now it's a we problem. Well, see, it depends on it depends on the win. Sexuality has been promoted by men and women. That's a we problem. Sexy red would not exist unless men allow that to happen, as well as women. That's a we problem. Okay. It has nothing to do with just women. It has to do with the fact that men promote it and accept it and deal with it and want it and enjoy it. It's a we problem. That's a we problem. Okay. Uh, don't that's push sexy rag on, on us. I'm cool. Yeah, that part. I think that's a woman problem. Sexy no, rag. That's that a man. Or, that's a man <laughs> and a woman problem. That's sexy amazing. I found that amazing. Yeah, y'all amazing. Y'all gotta handle sexy red. I mean, it, it, she. She That's wouldn't be out team. here promoting. She wouldn't be out here being te- if we if she was ostracized from day one. If we ostracized women from day one who got on OnlyFans, who got on TV naked, who got on TV twerking in front of the in front of the castle. If those people were ostracized from day one, by the women, by the women, you can't put down the men. Men have we got men nature. have men they have got the nature. That. No, you can't put that on men. You can't. Men you got, can't just put sexuality, the sexuality, the blatant sexuality on women. You just okay, can't do it's, that. It's like, it's like uh, it's, Chris a, it's a man like, and a woman problem. But here's the thing: like Chris Rock and Blueface, the man need to deal with Blueface. The women need to deal with Chris That's what I'm saying. So, sexy red need to be dealt with the women because man. Okay, are, so you don't have men out there wilding. You don't have black men out there wilding. What about saying, Dick Cannon? What about Dick Cannon? What about Future? What about what about uh what the hell is that dude that was on the internet a couple of times months ago had eight kids, eight different baby mama? You y'all don't control your side of the fence either. So you can't say it's all the women. It's okay. a man and a woman problem. Really quick, what what we came up with a solution for this? Do you remember what it is? We had this conversation at least twice. Do you remember? Right. What? Well, what was it? What did we say? Well, did we we came to a conclusion. What you what all was, said was kill, kill, kill Nick, all the uh, kill, what is Nick kill Cannon doing? all the couples that are made now. What is Nick Cannon doing? You don't to say that. <laughs> what we need to tell Nick Cannon? <laughs> I never say delete nobody. He the queen said we should just start delete. I never say that. Go ahead, old guy. Go, ahead, guy. <laughs> this is wild. So we got some super chats here, Mister Walker. Let's get caught up and where we at. Appreciate your room to grow, says. Uh, but Heathen Queen only listens to KS as deception to catch a man. She doesn't understand it has to be a heart attitude. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. you, Damon. Come through the twenty ball. Says who said Heathen Queen could come back in? Nah, she ain't ready yet. Yeah, cool. Damon. Yeah, Damon, who is now a show sponsor? He didn't time out. He been on one. All right. <laughs> Shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. Says Sexy Red is the majority for B Dubs 18 to 30. Y'all aged out. That that's that's accurate. If you talk about 51% as far as the software, how they think, how they're not talking about all women, yes, but that the majority at that age group, not all the they don't see a problem with her. They don't see a problem with her. There you go. So 
Money, 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 money. Appreciate you, Mr. Mister. Says these dating shows like Kendrick don't screen their calls yet. The average B dub that calls in resembles sexy red more than the opposite direction. Explain that if the bulk of B dubs are not like that. That part. Observable reality. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill, supporting his interest all day. Appreciate you. Says, twin time, single mothers produce the most dysfunction. b does don't like hearing this because of how many of them are single mothers. There you go. The hit dog will holler, but it's okay. It's all love. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the notorious, the notorious Kevin Brooks. Come through. He says, so she has a mobile STD lab. Uh -huh. Somebody please notify the CDC. This it's sickening. <laughs> yeah. Mobile head. <laughs> to Sal Bill. Says, what was the number on that van? Asking for a friend. Y'all yeah. <laughs> out of pocket. Y'all out of pocket. Oh, <laughs> Appreciate you. Who's the master? He says, sexy red ain't pretty or sexy. So don't put this on men. Hey. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to EJ Uno. Come through with the 20 bucks. Appreciate you. Says he and the queen has reached her work limit. <laughs> Appreciate you again, EJ Uno. Says the difference is that that's one irresponsible man with 10 irresponsible women. Mm. Just numbers. Appreciate you, EJ Uno. Appreciate you, brother Q. Come through. How you doing, brother? Says, why did the panel Beetlejuice me tonight? Huh? What? what we do, Q? <laughs> Talk about Q. <laughs> Appreciate the divine photos. Says, let's play this game. Nick Cannon and Future did what they did by having multiple baby moms, but they agreed to it. So it's not all on the men. Yeah. They, I would say, yeah, Nick Cannon and Future, <laughs> they are they like borderline victims. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would look at future Nick Cannon almost like victims. Ooh, man, I like it. I, like I see you back there, Crystal. I know you got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh -oh. Man, appreciate your room to grow. It says spider legs, BBLs, weave. Men say they do not want it. And yeah, it's fun to play with, but don't nobody want it to sleep next to it. Sorry to tell you. And also, we got a cash out. Shout out to Scrooge McDuckerton. Come through with $25. Says, what in the what in the jump off? You talking about the sister with the mobile neck? Yeah. Look, I, I said something a little hypocritical. I used the word fair. And we know the world ain't we know the world ain't fair. Nevertheless, I find it amusing, and I'm 100 percent correct. Whenever our lovely melanated sisters are celebrating a win, they say, look at what those amazing women did. Look at us. But whenever it's an L, right. look, guys, we all in this. Right, right. Now, now they speak French right. all of a sudden. And, right. and it ain't going to stop. And I can dig it, though. I can dig it. Man. <laughs> That's me, Bob. Where was we at here? So pay to play. Where was we at? Um. Man, we about to drop bad. the link. We about to drop the link for y'all to come up. We're on yeah, the back end bad. of the show. I know y'all want to come up for a minute, so we'll allow that. And yeah, it was pain. <laughs> yeah, pain. Oh, yeah. It's our best interest. It could work out. We yeah. talk, we talk about this stuff right. in, in vivid detail. If somebody like Gail, like you know what? I, I know some things I have forfeited in life. I'm gonna use my common sense because I'm a very intelligent woman, and I'm gonna, you know. Pay to play, help some young whippersnapper out, get him on his feet, and also get me some good meat to meat clashing in the process. Don't nobody get hurt. She don't get hurt. That young man don't get hurt. Everybody win. You see? But but they look at it with such a frown. You don't have to be that way. Humble yeah. thine self. <laughs> yeah, she know she it's either that or stay in the house. Stay I'm gonna pull house. my girl up right now. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I got a word for y'all. We're about to bring Crystal and HQ back up. Heathen Queen. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
If a woman pays 50% of anything in her home, she runs the place, okay? It's not both. It's not equal because she does way more work. And so she's going to pull rank if she pays any type of, you know, 50-50 roommate situation. The man will never pull rank in a 50-50 situation ever. The woman will always rule that house and always second guess him and always correct him and always make sure he's doing correct. He will never feel like a man in his own home ever. He will have to run everything past her. And if he doesn't, she's going to yell at him. So that's why I don't believe in 50-50 marriages or, you know, um, relationships because the man ends up being like the woman. Y'all might as well be in a lesbian a relationship. Okay. <laughs> and I know guys don't want to hear that. Men do not want to hear that. You cannot have any type of respect if you're going 50-50. And men do know this. So if a man asks you as a woman to go 50-50, you're not the one. Because he don't need your respect because you're a placeholder. You're a placeholder because he would never, if you were the one, he would never ask you to pay anything because he would never get your respect or you would never value him as a man. So he already plans to leave you if he's asking you for 50-50. He don't even care what you think of him. He don't even care if you respect him because you're holding a place for the other woman that he's able to save for since you're paying 50% of all the bills. Okay, so don't, don't do it. It's never worth it. So, man paying 50 50, you will never have all to say so. What y'all got? Y'all disagreeing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I got a 50 50 marriage. So, I mean, and it's, it's perfect. So, I mean, I don't know what she's talking about. She, you can believe that if you want. She, she trying to, she trying to catch somebody. She trying to, yeah. That's that black pill, ain't it? Ain't that that yeah, black yeah. pill? Yeah. Brainwash. <laughs> what you got, pill. Crystal? Oh, I don't agree. I mean, I, I I agree that people should do what they just, you know, choose to do. Um, I'm not doing a 50-50 relationship, period, if I were single. So at this age, hell no. If I was a little bit younger, you know, we're both, you know, super, we're both young. We're both building. We're both like, I think it's, 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 you have to have the context around the situation. Um, you know, I think when you're younger, both in college, you know, come on now, you know, that's obvious. Um, but no, I'm not. That's just my personal opinion. So I I don't buy into the 50-50 deal. It, it sounds crazy to me. I like I said, I mean my talk, but you know, everybody putting everything in a pot. 50-50 sounds like you withholding 50% from the hundred and is and it sounds transactional. And it sounds like it has an end date. I'm not buying into it. I don't know what I don't know whether it works or not. I don't, I don't know how that works. I know when me and my husband got married, uh, my husband gave me a set budget. He gave me, for example, the bills were like fifteen bills were like fifty five hundred or five thousand dollars, and my husband gave me four thousand dollars, and because I worked, we worked. He worked, I worked, and he would give me $4,000 and the other $1,000 I had to come up with or any extra or whatever, but he just gave me a set amount of money and that's how it worked, okay? That wasn't a 50-50, it just was what it was, and I didn't mind coming up with my, my money or my portion of the money. It just worked easier for us to do it that way, okay? And, and I don't believe in the 50-50. I mean, why would you... I mean, I understand 50-50 when you're both young and you're building and you're doing what you have to do. But if a man is on his hustle and a woman is on their hustle, they it shouldn't be a matter of 50-50. It should be we put a pot together. We put a pot in the middle. Mm -hmm. We put money in the pot. I put money in the pot. And it just, we just make it work like that. There okay. you go. And that's and I'm yeah. sure that's what Joker Nutty Nate got. And I, I just... I, um, you know, probably splitting hairs, but 50 50 sounds derogatory to me as far as in a relationship, right? It sounds right. so just hey, 50 50, you get your 50, I put my 50. Right. That sounds so transactional. 100 100 ain't as catchy, yeah. Like, yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. Is, no, that's yeah. what I mean. You know, 50 50, 100 100, yeah, yeah. like it ain't as we catchy. Both in. We both put in, we build it, like we, yeah, we both exactly, in. right? It ain't as catchy, but yeah, 50 50. Yeah, it's the whole talking point is trash. Well, here we go. We got the uh the older gentleman in, Mr. Wilson, Leon. What's y'all take? What's your take, Mr. Wilson? You what you're hearing up here? Um, first off, as always, I want to say thank you guys for allowing the old man to come out and just say a few words. Um, guys, let's be honest. 
All right, the ladies say that they don't pay to play. Um, Al Pacino, can anybody tell me how old he is? Ooh, 80 yeah, something? 80. I think and he just had a baby, right? Yeah. yeah, he just had a kid. Yeah, <laughs> now did he uh, have a kid with a 70 year old gal? No, he, he had a 20 some year old woman. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, Robert De Niro, didn't he just have a baby? Yeah, he got about five or six kids. His oldest yeah. uh, in his fifties. Well, he just had another baby. Robert De Niro just had another he had baby. A, yeah. Just had another yeah. kid. Yeah. That's what. Did, that's did he? Did he pick a seventy-year-old woman? No, because I mean these guys are eighty and seventies with money, etc. The issue is that has never happened. And, and I know women can put on the makeup and they can make their breasts look good. Don't get me wrong, Gail look good at 70, but she's still 70. And let's be honest, no man with money says, I want a 70 year old. It, that just doesn't happen, you know, in any time. And it has nothing to do with uh, the internet or whatever. It's just, this is human nature. We just like when women get excited about a about a guy who's six foot five, men get excited about a younger woman who is still healthy or whatever. That's just uh, human nature. And so, we're not arguing that point. Well, no, the ladies. No, after a while, you do age out. After a while, let's be honest. You want to meet uh, whomever. Let's say you meet a guy, he's six foot two, look good, whatever, smell good, whatever you like. Uh, he got the penis you like and all of that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to put some money out to keep that guy around. If we Because want remember, now see, here's what you guys, here's what you guys have lost. Or, or at least this is what, this is what some of the old folks used to say. Or you want to play. Whole thing. If I have to cheat to beat you, I'm still going to teach you. You let this knowledge I spit at you reach you. So now when you dealing with a player, yeah, he's telling you in and everything you need to know or whatever. But yeah, you're going you're gonna to give him his car. You're going to give up those car keys and let him ride down the street. And, uh, you know, he's going to put some gas in it and, you know, fuck around with his boys and drink. Come on. I, I you know, I know. You probably say you haven't done it, and if you haven't, that's good. But uh, yeah, a lot of women who are poor, these are the men they run across. They don't run across um, the rich guys. And so I'll land my plane there. So what age do you think, uh, Mr. Wilson, that men will not date a woman their age? I don't know. It depends on how much food stamps I got. No. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm just saying because no, like let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I, okay, and I'm gonna keep it 100. Whenever that time come and I'm gonna pay for it, I don't uh, want no woman over 35. Right. So um, we'll say 35. So you think at 35 men? Won't they no, I'm saying a woman at about the time she get 35 or so. No, no, I was asking know. for the men because like there's examples like Jeff Bezos, who's one of the richest men in the world. His mm -hmm. wife is his age. I think some mm -hmm. men, I'm not saying it happens in large amounts. You know, I know we talk mm -hmm. in majorities, but I meet a lot of older men who do not want to date younger women just because of children or, you know, whatever. So yeah. I don't know, or just their mentality. They might just be too immature and not be able to keep up. So um, I find they like the youthful, older women that are their age sometimes. And that's all I was saying. I'm not necessarily speaking on Gail King. Wait, is it Gail King? Is it Gail King? Mm -hmm. Gail King. Yeah. Well, yeah. see, okay, we Gail don't have anybody. Vivica Fox don't have anybody. Uh, we can go down the line with all the uh, rich uh, women who had money in the yeah. 90s, today, year old pay. women by themselves. But they don't have to pay. What, what we're, right. what Crystal and I are saying is, 
We don't, don't have to pay for a man. We, if we don't want one, we just won't pay for it. We just won't have a man. We don't but they have to have a man. That's the whole thing. You don't have to have a man. You just said what? that an older woman who's got money, if she's not paying, that she ain't going to have somebody. You just said that. She ain't gonna, she's not going to pay for it. If she ain't going to pay for it, she's so not going to have a man. She's going to have to die alone. There ain't nothing wrong with dying alone. What, what do you mean? Every like we need to like that's one thing from Kevin Samuels. We need it's to get out of order. Everybody's gonna die alone. Everybody no, is gonna die alone. No, no, no. Hold on, it's not a literal thing. It's it's, it's meaning you. No, there, there's you a little there, a, there's a little something to it, but yeah. Yeah, you're speaking what? on the fact that somebody's gonna have an unfulfilled life. Obviously, everybody ain't gonna die at the same second. Not right? everybody so, has an I'm unfulfilled life. That. The fact is, you're never gonna have that partner. You're never gonna build no legacy and all that good stuff. Gail right. had a partner. Gail had a partner when she was younger. She, 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 she said nothing but bad things about the man. She that wasn't no partner. But she yeah, still had a plan. partner. She still had a father for her children. And we talking about she, fulfillment. But see, we're talking about in the new. This all right? Gail had a partner in the 1980s. And right. she's had men. She's had men. Okay. Just because she's not married to him doesn't mean she didn't have a fulfilling relationship with the men that she she's was not man, married she's to. She's telling us about these men. She telling. She me. don't. She people die alone all the time. Why is this such Granted, a deal? Granted, you you don't make that's not a desire. So we that I just so no, that we gotta no, have stop, a man. Stop, stop, be the queen, because you're making it seem like women like, like that's a preference. There's never a preference for a woman. She don't desire that. There, there ain't nothing sad. There's nothing sadder than seeing. A uh, old woman living in the house by herself. Now, right. and never had a man. She want. like, oh, hey, no one to talk to. We gotta get more context. We, we gotta get more context. Cause yeah, yes, please. My, my grandfather. Hold on. My grandfather died 16 years before my grandma. Right. We speaking about women who are 70 years old and ain't been in relationships since they were 30 and mm -hmm. never had a man for decades. Y'all know what we talking about. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. You're trying to say that women need men before they die. Yes. No, we don't. Yes. We no, we don't. Okay. We do not do. So. No, we don't. Okay, if they don't, that's cool. But why are they complaining about it? Why are they complaining about it? Gail, they don't need, Gail's they not complaining about it. Yes, she that's not a complaint. She's just telling you about her dating experience. That's <laughs> No, I love it. She's right, real quick, let me get it. Let me get here real quick, Joker. Hold on, Leon. Leon, real quick. Leon, hold on. Hold on, Leon. Hold on. Because I see Sal Bill sent the super chat. Sal Bill, we will acknowledge this one. All right. Heathen Queen, y'all got five minutes. But the, the skip rule has changed. So make sure y'all reading the ticker down there. There's new skip rules. We'll give them a couple minutes. We will acknowledge your super chat, though, brother. But read the read the read the ticker down here. But um here we are. Here we are. What you got, Q? Let's get Q in here real quick. Oh yeah. So um, what my Beetlejuice reference in the uh, in the uh, super chat was that I was at Texas Wild, uh, Texas Roadhouse getting ribs, and I hear people keep on saying Q. I'm like, what did I do? I wasn't even gonna come on the show tonight. You guys kept on referencing me, and it made me laugh. I was like, oh, maybe I need to go on and, and talk with these fellas. <laughs> But I want to say shout out to you guys. I want to say shout out to uh, Joker Nutty Nate. I good good to put, put a face to the name. You know what? You guys were talking about something earlier, and I and I have been I I thought about it, and we need to come up with a new name for who Russell Wilson is. Okay, he's a hybrid. He's a hybrid. He's not necessary. He's not a full simp. He's not a full trick. He's not a full. He's something else. Because he believes he can actually, he he went in with the purpose of saving her. Because remember, if I'm not mistaken, they did they didn't mess around, right? Before they got married. True. Is that true? No. Yeah. He no. made it be like celibate for like a year or something. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 what he is, whatever name we're gonna give to him, what he is, he's it's worse. Yeah. Because and, and not because he meant to be, he's giving women hope who shouldn't have hope. Right, because if any yeah, woman, but... if any woman puts herself on the same plateau as Sierra, she's setting herself up for failure. There you go. Yeah, and, and so 
like I said, he he didn't intentionally do it, but that's what he did. So that's why I say he's a hybrid because he wasn't he wasn't preach he wasn't saying the sweet nothings to be able to sleep with her. No, no, no. He re he really wanted to quote unquote save her. Yeah, yeah. But what he did is that he inadvertently created a a a scenario where women will galvanize around saying that that could be me one day. Right. And that, and that will forever be a problem. And then also too. I was one other thing too. So they were talking about the, you know the pay to play and stuff. And you guys not always know that. I always say I advocate for marriages. I advocate for doing the stuff the right way. But I, I think they're refusing to understand the dating market. If they agree, if we all agree that there exists a dating market, and the primary purpose of the dating mar market is to garner attention from the opposite sex, we're going we're gonna to keep it on the heterosexual realm for simplicity. You, you're trying to garner attention from the opposite sex. How did we do that as men? We either got the look, we either got the bread, or we got, or we can tell a sweet lie, right? And that's how we get the attention. Now women, it t they, they place themselves in a, in, a, in a new dating paradigm where they're gonna, they're gonna have to do the same things that we do. <laughs> right. Right. And, and 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 for much as uh HQ um as, as much as HQ want to argue that point is not true. Women who argue about the the state of the dating market are arguing because they're not getting what they want. Because they because they don't want to accept reality. And reality is I got forty dollars. <laughs> But at 60, if you're nasty. Let me get yeah. these super chats real quick and we'll bring the ladies back up. Nice. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. He says, Nick is not the problem. It's the women that's hunching him. That Nick that was crazy. Appreciate the sound. Bill come through all day. Says, Sprinkle Chick has a hubby. Do you want the link? Oh, we know she got a husband. Some uh, older African brother. We've seen them. Appreciate your red pill ranger coming through like you do. Says for people who make so much money, women sure pocket watch a lot. The math ain't math. It. It's giving broke. FYI, it's not 50-50. It's a hundo a hundo. I appreciate Amen. you. My thoughts. Amen. Appreciate your Sal Bill come through the 40 ball. Much love and respect. Says this, <laughs> ladies, this is about family, community, collective strength. Single mothers are not good for any of those things. It's an unfortunate reality. Double twin them. <laughs> we are at the point of arguing about old women being alone. Same. <laughs> Appreciate you, Damon. He says, Joker Nutty Nate, just give me the word and he the queen takes a breather. I got that 20 on standby for her. <laughs> Yeah, make sure y'all read the new uh, bounty rules down there. Appreciate you, Sal Bill. He says he's not a hybrid. He's just a simp. You think Future waited? She give it up to Future within minutes, but Russell waited a year. Don't be yeah. Russell. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and my, my only pushback, uh, Sal Bill, and I get what you're saying, is that he typically with, uh, with true simps, they know they have no chance with women. And so they will they will pander to them to, to a certain extent. I don't think he actually did that. I think he really wanted her. Yeah, and and uh, he ultimately got her. But I think like I said, what he did is worse though, because now he created a scenario for women thinking that that they can uh get the same outcomes that Sierra got, which we all know that's that's false. Uh, and then also too, my last thing is that uh, we created <laughs> I do I do agree with one part of feminism where if, if you're going to work, you should get you should get compensated for what you do. The problem is, is that feminism, feminism didn't prepare women to be providers. If you're going to take a cut out of the workforce for yourself, you got to see it as as at some point you maybe um, put yourself in a position to be a provider. But mm. from what we're hearing on these social media streets, they don't want to be providers. In mass, in mass. Okay, so I don't want the all police to come at me. In mass, they don't want to be providers. So they they believe that the money that they are now uh, gaining, however they do it, they that qualifies qualifies them for 
a different stratosphere of men and it's never going to work because the dating market doesn't work that way. It, okay. It's never going to work that way. So I, I can't see it in our, in our lifetime. I can't see it working that way. Wanting to have, dreaming to have is not the same thing as getting. So you can but, dream all you want, but that doesn't mean you're going to get it. So what, I, don't see what, I don't see what the difference was with us wanting the best for Sierra and us hoping that we can get the same scenario. Well, but here's, and, and, I'll, I'll, and here's the problem with that heathen queen. When you're talking about relationship. If I have a dream of being a, a 49 year old rapper, that only, that only hurts me ultimately. Right. And it, it, it only requires me to put in the work. Right. When we're talking about relationships. So there's a person on the other end of that ask that you guys are, are, are refusing to accept. And if you're constantly going for that person, you never get it. And, then, and you bring somebody else into the into that space while you're still waiting for that person. You are a selfish person. Well, the whole point is all of us settle, period. Because we don't all get what we want. You want 10 things from a woman and you don't get all 10 things out of that woman. So therefore you're settling. That's no, what we want. You, you're conflating two things. You're conflating two things. If, if you're having in your mind that you deserve a certain type of person, but in the meanwhile, you're dealing with the other person, you're not giving them 100% of yourself. And that's a selfish person. Because you're not getting the person you want, you mean but you still, but you still, but nature is still telling you to get something. So men you go out to the market, people. you find a person who is willing to take you, and then you move forward with that person with the expectation that you want your what you really want in the future. And but so that's why I feel a lot of relationships way? are failing because people aren't they, they aren't accepting what reality is showing them. You're not men are not the same way. When you look at a when you think of a woman, don't you have a dream woman in your head? No, you, no, oh, no, no, if, wait, we, if we're talking about, if I picked a woman for it to be a wife, I picked her to be a wife. I okay. didn't pick her. For, you I didn't pick her inside of your head. Right? No, you don't. You don't have a person that you think of that would be your ideal candidate for your wife or be the perfect wife for you. You don't have no, no. no vision. I don't know. I don't know. I personally don't know men who dream that way. If I picked a woman to be a wife, I wanted her to be a wife. I'm not thinking about a future wife. So every if I may, little thing that you want from a wife, you got out of that. What every little thing you thought to have as a what for a wife, you got out of that one. But that does, little thing. No, no, but that doesn't mean I can I can find it in another person though. So you don't just so you you're telling me that you don't have fantasies of something else other than what you get. No, no, no. You you're conflating two different things. No, she's asking you. Do you have like a Denzel? You know, like may, may I say help. something I if I may? Like, that's what she asked. Who's I'm not that. I'm not that delusional. I'm not that delusional. May, right. if, may I say something? Uh, yeah, what did you in here, Mr. Wilson? I want to get Leon in after oh, you. Go ahead. Okay, I just want to say, Miss Miss Queen, Miss Queen, what I want to say with guys. Let's say we might have a fantasy. Let's say it might be Holly Berry or whomever, right. but we know that's just a fantasy in our mind, and we would never meet her. And then at the same time, if we were to meet her, we're not sure if we would even be compatible. We just see her as a, a quick one or two minute fantasy or whatever, but we don't see, you know, as she's the life dream. You know what I'm saying? Because just because a woman look good don't mean her vagina's any good. You know, and that's another part women got to realize a lot of time they don't get callbacks. They got some really deep oh, vaginas. Callbacks sound like a hoe. Well, no, you you. <laughs> yeah, I know what you want. No, you know what you want. Like I know what no, you want. So, why what you I'm going way over there? We right here. You went way over there. You said a callback. I know what's going on. I know the answer. No, no, no. Chris, no, what I'm trying to say. You'll see. You'll hear women, and they'll say, "Hey." I went out on a date with a guy and it was a good date and he didn't call me back. Well, your vagina could have been real deep. You know, you could have had a real deep, loose vagina and uh, you probably need to work on it. And see, nobody tell women that, you know, but that's that's another thing. Okay. Is the problem is the problem here. I keep hearing this on different panels. Why is it that you're worried about what we fantasize about? Why is we don't, men are concerned about what we fantasize about? We want this man who does this, 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 and this. And when we don't get it, we get shamed for wanting this, 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 and this. Why are you worried about what we dream about? We don't get the dream man, do we? 
We get a, a regular, dream, ordinary yeah, man, yeah. right? It's a dream, then it's reality. There's what? reality. We deal with reality. reality. Well, the, the the problem for me, the problem, I don't care. You can work, you can want what you want, but I'm I'm, I'm explaining to you what's go, what's ultimate what ultimately happens when you place yourself in a position to settle for a man who's not you quote unquote selling for a man that you really don't want because that's all that's there. I, so I don't care what you want. You can want whatever you want to. You can. I, exactly I have no problem with that. Everyone. My point is, if you want to know why things are are awry and falling apart. Is because you're not accepting reality. So you you can take that for what you want. I I, I don't care what you want. You can want you can want Denzel. You, I mean um, he's married and happy, but you can want him all you want. I don't care about that. What I'm saying is ultimately, if you place yourself in a position to not be happy with the person that you that you married, and then later said, and this and then later said, well I really didn't want him. Now I'm going to leave him because I want somebody else. I think that's unfair to, to do that to people. I'm, that's just my point of view. I can I, I reserve the right to be incorrect. It just doesn't make sense to me logically to proceed in a dating market with that mindset. That's all I'm saying. I you can want what you want. I'm not telling you what to want. I'm not telling you what to want. Oh, Crystal, by the way, awesome awesome show on Wednesday. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Oh, and Heaven Queen, you messed up, you messed up my daughter's performance. She had a she had a she had a solo. And, and guess what song she said she had to sing? What? He's on down the freaking road. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, no, it wasn't. It wasn't cute. It wasn't cute. She messed it up. Look, this I want to get, get, get Leon in here. Leon been patiently waiting. All right, Leon, you, you smoking mm. your dude. Leon, uh, why don't these women, why don't they want to spread their resources and pay to play? <laughs> well, the Bible says that uh, the day will come when yeah. seven women will grab hold of one man and say, we got our stuff. Just give us your name. Oh! That's, the <laughs> That's in the Bible? That's in the Bible. Woo! I'm talking about the real Bible, the King James. Hey, that's what I'm talking that's about. It. What's the future, but guys, if I may, if I may, that's a future event that's going to no, happen, but that's going to be a while from now. Written, that was written over. Uh, that was written before Christ. Right and in the back, one more time, Leon, yeah. for the people in the back, for the people in the back. What did it say? The Bible says that the time will come when seven women will grab hold of one man. And say we got our stuff. Just give us your name. And uh, that was written before Christ. So uh, how long do you think it's going to take, Mister Wilson, for that to come? Go down to Atlanta and grab yourself about seven of them. Shout out to Nick You could be homeless. You could be homeless in ATL, Rock, Charlotte. You can be in prison and have two free girlfriends. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, that's happening right now in the United States and all over the world. And let me tell you another thing that the Bible says. The Bible says that in 1,000 women, there's one wise man. In the same, I mean, in the 1,000 men, there's a wise man. In the same number of women, there's zero. And the Bible also says that uh, false prophets come in and deceive these women. And if you look all over the place at these mega churches, there's mostly women. You go to a black church. That's why I don't go to a black church. Because mm -hmm. if I go to a black church, they're going to be all over me like uh, stink on you know what I'm talking about. Mm. So that, you know, but uh, a white woman, 40 years old, that's got three children, got a better chance at getting married than a 25-year-old black woman with three children. A 40-year-old white woman. Because she know how to play the game. You don't hear. And you spoke about uh, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos got divorced from the woman that helped him build Amazon. And now he with a 40-year-old woman. Yeah. So that's why he was he was of age with his woman. 
you know, uh, him and his woman was the same age, his wife. But once he divorced her and cut her that check, that's when he got with the younger woman. Ain't no 70-year-old man looking for no 70-year-old woman. He ain't going to have one. We didn't say that. What we said well, was he's no, gonna opt no, out. No, speaking Fair about, it. I was backing up what Mister Wilson said. An uh, older Mr. man, okay, Joseph Mary's husband was about forty years old, and she was a, uh, a teenager. So that's that's just the way it is. Uh, Abraham was ten. Hey, years hold on, repeat that again. Uh, what you just say? Ten years <laughs> older than Sarah. Abraham was 10 years older than Sarah. All right, hold on. I'm going to let you go, Crystal. Real quick, I see my girl backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Anarchy. Uh, 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 that's my baby. Uh, 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 she came up here just to try to Get him, girl. Get him, girl. <laughs> no, tyranny, tyranny is submissive when she comes to me. How you doing, Pick Me Tyranny? How's it going this evening? Pick Me Tyranny. Man, definitely not a. Y'all hear me? Not too good. You break it up. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all breaking up. It's all bad, yeah. Tyranny. So if we bad. was, like, stop moving. Oh, go okay, ahead. Let's I'll, go. Let's go. Can I say something to joke at Nutty Nate? What's good, boss? Okay. Uh, look, I hear your tunes, right? Look, I got Billy Holiday. I've got Nina Simone. I've got music that black people don't listen to or don't know how to come in and uh, take that piece of music that they don't listen to, never heard of, right? And, and, and put it and put that twist to it, right? I got Billy Holiday's look, uh, Robert Johnson, the, the father of the blues. Have you ever heard of him? No. Robert, without Robert Johnson, we would have none of we wouldn't have rock and roll. Wait, we, oh, so who's Robert Johnson? Is this is this a melanated brother? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, just make sure. You, you heard that story <laughs> about the guy going to the crossroads and selling his soul. Leon, you going down the rabbit hole, Leon, respectfully. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. No, the one on. thing I want to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Go ahead, Mr. Wilson. Let's get Mr. Yeah. Wilson here. Well, the only one, another one thing I want to say, like where the women to me seem to get it wrong is when, um, yeah, you can have fantasies, you can have whatever you want, et cetera, et cetera. But when we come to the real life, uh, we see so many people that go on Kendra's show and these other dating shows. And it's not like we, those ladies don't have a chance. Those ladies don't even have a chance with homeless men. And uh, much less talk about, I'm going to get a guy who's a hundred thousand dollars. I, you know, seriously, some of those ladies we see on Kendra's show, it makes you want to go back to church and well, you just, well, real, anyway, so that's what the ladies really Mr. gotta Wilson. talk to them. So why is it There's a lady you gotta talk to because their delusion is worse than drugs. I used to be a drug addict and my and I wasn't that fucked up in the head. You know? So why is it a so, delusion to want so why is it a delusion for a woman who makes hundred K to find a man that makes hundred K? Why is that a delusion? You're a woman with six kids and you weigh 300 pounds with a fake hair on your head and you look like God knows what. And you think a man with money is going to come? I wouldn't even buy your pussy if I had. I just oh. want to say that's not <laughs> attractive. But that's not attractive. It's not attractive. Real quick, real quick. <clears throat> All right, I want to get Tierney in here. Tierney, let's see how your mic working. What you got, Tierney? <laughs> I was saying, up. what has the world come to when niggas fuck with my stuff to say like that? You can't. How dare you judge women and you ain't even on those women's uh bar? First off, hi Crystal. Hey girl, how you doing? Okay. Sorry if y'all can't hear me, but my internet's messed up. But Mr. Wilson, mm -hmm. I think you need a reality check, bro. I'm just saying. No, you sound good now. You oh. sound good. You good, you good. You Mr. Sound good. Wilson on point. Mr. Wilson on point. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. But my whole point is not all the women who get on there are 100,000 men. Aaron His hair is on point. Camera on point. Y'all not about to come up here and talk about black women and you look like Uncle Ruckus. Stop the cap. Okay? Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay, you're right. All right. But all I want to say to Tyranny, can you comb your hair like that? Tyranny, can you comb your hair like that? Can you comb your hair like that? <laughs> can I comb my hair like that? I got more hair yeah, than that. Know, so yes, I can no, comb no, my hair my like real that. Hair. This is my real hair. God gave me this. Sound See, I was born with this. See, I can comb my hair like this. Can you take a natural like comb and do your hair? Do your hair like that right now. Do your hair like that right now. Let your mama can you comb your hair like that? Yeah, you <laughs> a day no man with all that hair that is unattractive. Let, let, let me do the Pantera thing. <laughs> this is wild. I'm just saying, y'all need to be out. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you all. I love you. I love you. Thank you guys. I love you. This is wild. <laughs> You know what? We gotta bring Big Diamond. We gotta break the ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need an icebreaker. We need an icebreaker, Tyranny. Oh, yeah. Damn, you playing basketball? You love that basketball? Ball, you get it? You are playing basketball? We love that basket. Ball back there. Yeah. You don't talk about here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do what you do well too. You ain't fooling goddamn me. I know it. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, we back. We back. That was wild. That was wild. Wild. That was wild, he's the queen. That was wild. Oh, well, what I'm saying is back to the pay for play. The women that are Gail, uh, Gail King's age and older say it's not worth the trouble to deal with a man, period. So therefore, they're just going to not engage with men. So they don't have to pay for play. They can pay for play if they want to indulge in that activity, but they don't have to. OK, women don't rage about having sex every hour, every minute or whatever, like men do. We can go years or whatever without doing that. OK, the bulk of us can. We don't have to. We don't have to deal with men. So I'm assuming that Kiel King will decide that she doesn't want to deal with men. OK, there's a lot of women who don't want to deal with men. Haven't you run across young women these days saying they don't want to be bothered with a man? They don't want to have the trouble of a man because they will opt out if they don't want to be bothered. OK, and there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of men say they want to opt out and don't want to be bothered. OK, so why is it that men can say they want to opt out and don't want a relationship and don't want a woman? But when we say it, oh, no, you can't be alone. You can't opt out of that. you got to have a man. We don't have to have a man. We can go years without having a man. And be perfectly happy without uh, that. stop the cap. Uh, Am I right or wrong, Crystal? Tyranny? Stop the cap. I mean, you do. You meet a lot of women who are older who either the husband <laughs> has passed away. I'm not saying I'm advocating for women who don't need a man. That's not what she's I'm saying. Not, she's I'm not either. But what we're saying is that it's just biologically true that women like X E X with S E X with men. But it's just, I mean, come on, y'all. I know y'all got grandmas, aunties who have said time and time again that they really don't have to be with a man. I'm not saying that I'm pushing for that, that I want that, but it's just an observative truth, if that's if that's the way to say it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that you see that a lot. You see women say, and, I'm saying that, and what I'm saying is that I'm not going to get to a point in my life where I have to pay for it. Thank you. If I have to pay for it. I don't need it as a woman. Right. And that yeah. doesn't mean I don't need a man. That doesn't mean I don't love him. It just means that I'm not going to pay for Correct. sex. I'm just not going to do that. 
Correct. If now, that happens, if for whatever reason I'm single. Here's my thing. Now, our aunties and them, and you're right, Krista, we've heard all of our aunties and say they don't need a man. Now, observing my aunties <laughs> say that, can we agree as mature adults that a lot of them is capped? They say they don't want a man, but we looking at them and observing and see that they pretty much saying, you can't fire me, I quit. Mm. Like, ain't, no, ain't no man coming. So they're like, I don't need a man. And that's that makes my ego feel good because I know I ain't one coming. And he if one do come, of it. and if one do come, like he the queen said, the guy reached out to her, told me, "Hey, I'm a provider." Oh, you know, I, I know I don't want you. <laughs> so I mean, I this think, is true. I think I think it is a degree of cognitive dissonance where these sisters just lying to themselves, and they gotta live out this reality. Like I'm not going to accept the fact there ain't no man coming. You want to know what? I don't want a man. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think a, I think a part of that. I think a part of that is true. Um, and I think that it is uh, for a lot of women, that's the case. The man that they want isn't coming. So because the man that they want isn't mm-hmm. coming, they mm-hmm. like, I'll just be by myself. So that's where you definitely, um, that's you have cool. that point. Um, and unfortunately some women have had bad experiences with men to where they have not had the luxury of dating a man that was great uh which i think is another big part of the problem that's why unfortunately a lot of men get thrown into the category of ain't none of y'all nothing and this and that oh that's a whole nother story but this is my thing uh uh uncle leon said something uh he said there are zero and there are zero wise women zero wise women hey look i'm just repeating what the bible says no, you just was you was just the messenger. I know, I know. And also, too, I want us to think about this. I also want us to think about this. Um, you I, and we don't we don't want to go down rabbit holes, right? But we do understand that as people of color, we have had an interesting history with stepchildren and men stepping up. And back in the old days, it was not a bad thing for a man to step up. Like we could sure. see it's totally, totally to be okay back in slave days when, when when men were getting ripped away from their wife and that buck stepped up and said, you know what? Come on, children. Come on, kids. Now, in their defense, that was not an option of constantly having babies out of wedlock. So I'm not trying to play that game like, you know, it's not okay to have children out of wedlock. It's not okay, period. Um, but I think also we have to admit that I just, I cannot say that, um, you know, that if a woman has a child, it's over. It's nothing. I don't think that's the case. And yes, I do have children. Um, but even still, I think that I would still be saying that if I didn't have children. So, yeah, that's 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 all I had to uh, add. Do you believe I think, in numbers? Of, of course, I believe in numbers. Okay, the stats say, right, that black women today, the chances of them getting married is only twenty four percent. It's so what does that mean? Caucasian women. So that means that if you, as a black woman, have children outside of wedlock, that means that your chances of getting married are slimmer. They're already slim because black a lot of black men are not proposing. Twenty four percent is slim. So that means that. You, you, your chances of getting married. I agree. I already or, said or, that. Leon, I already said that. I don't. I don't advocate for women having children out of wedlock. I don't think that is smart at all. Right. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that we already aren't getting proposed to. So it's then, we have an issue within our community with commitment right. in general. And, and there's always you can always hope for these things. There's nothing wrong with hoping that you get a, per, a good union between a man. As yeah. I explained to a lot of people, I had yeah. two children. Yeah. I had two yeah. children before I got met my husband. And, and I think my it's weird that, and also too, years. I think it's weird that Q, who I definitely like, I feel like, you know, is a you know, acquaintance, a friend of mine. I feel like it's so weird to me when Christians are so pessimistic and it's not being a realist. It's like just complete like you were married at one point and now divorced. And so now your ex-wife doesn't deserve. So I'm sure she was a great woman because he's a great man. It's like, I just don't get this. Like I always say, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And I know he's speaking in majorities, but I just think it's crazy for us as Christian people 
not to give people an example to look to. And I thought it was Russell also that asked Tierra to wait. I thought it was Russell that, that yeah, told he her did. to wait. He was the one who asked her to wait. Yeah. He was the one who asked him to wait. He asked her. Yes. All right. So real quick. Okay. Real quick, I was going to say, I want to get AD in. Let's get these super chats real quick, AD. I'll get you in here, brother. Um, where was we at? I think we here. Oh, we got that one. There we go. Uh, we got that one too. Yeah, 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 I got that. Yeah. Shout out to Bobby Vegas. Been a member for two months. Appreciate you. He says, "Dang, just got here." Uh-huh. Appreciate you, Sal Bill. He says, "The question is, does Christianity create simps?" No. Perhaps. Nope. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, yeah, money, 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 it's money. Possible. money. <laughs> it's possible, but I, I, I really don't look. The Bible says it says, "Quit you like men," meaning act like men. All right, that's what it says. It doesn't say that there ain't simps out here. Yeah, the Bible. You gotta separate the literature in the Bible from the church itself. So. Yeah, I, I would say the church. You you're, make sure. you're, you're right about that because the church itself does not always uh, do what the Bible says. Just like we have women preachers, ain't no such thing. Ain't no yeah. such thing as a woman preacher. There you go. You hear that, Crystal? She woman out Your here. Mouth. Your mouth. She's a pastor. She lying. Well, she up there. She up there. I, I got a question. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Guess what? But you know, uh, I can make a turd pie and eat it, but it don't mean that I'm supposed to. And that's why, and that's I hope y'all see grade A reasons as to why all the Christian sisters in the chat, why you up in church smiling in everybody's face. I hope you understand the, the software that's in some of these men who think you just just need to suck some balls and go to sleep. <laughs> so keep on going to church every Sunday with your hat. Actually, most women ain't getting their face dirty like that. No way. Well, you know you are, Leon. That's how you say you lost your tooth. Hold on. Uh, look, I had this tooth pulled because it was giving me a problem. You just, said it was from eating puss. Just, just like I, no, just like if a woman is giving me problem, I pull her. I had a tooth pulled the other uh, the week. It was giving me issues. I told the dentist, pull it. I got well, a, I got a question for the audience. I don't, I, don't mess with, I don't mess with problems. Just like I don't deal with uh, hey. arrogant women, I don't deal with arrogant teeth. I got a question. Go ahead, real quick, real quick, Heathy Queen. Go ahead. A question. Just a question. If the landscape of women and men is in the current state that it's in today, who is the most delusional out here? The women. Men or women? The women. You know why I say it's men? Because you want to change what can't be changed. Okay. We understand what we are. We understand what we are. We understand what we are. We understand what we bring to the table. And we know this can't change. And we know that it can't change. You men are the ones who want us to change into something that we're not. I want to say I disagree. I want to say. Uh-oh. Let her cook. She said, no. there you, you, go. Y'all, y'all, you said women, y'all said y'all ain't going to be trying to change and y'all not going to change. So men are more delusional than men than women? Men are more delusional than women? What I'm saying is the current state of relation, the current state of the men and women today, between the ages of 20 and 40, that, that's not going to change. So are you saying that you men are just going to opt out on women? And you're not just going to deal with any other women or you're going to wait till the the 15 year olds are going to become 20 and then you're going to be 45 and 50 before you even make a commitment or or are you going to deal with reality but you can't you can't throw in that cap you can't throw in that section the cap talking about wait till the 15 year olds turn 20. every day (laughs) it's 21 years and real quick hold on he's the queen hold on to answer your question we done had my man Jordan up here. He's a whole incel. They are deciding. And then these brothers, they're getting their passports. They decide yeah. not to deal with women. You are correct. You are correct. In America. In America. 
It's some delusion. It's some delusion definitely in some of these men, especially in some of these places. But I think that the delusion at the height is women. I have to put it on women because I think men at some point will realize that, damn, this is what it is. And I think women will sometimes, and it's not hope like I was kind of bagging on Q for doing. It's not hope. Um, and hope is only good, you know, faith without works, right? But I think where women come in in the running of delusion right now is because they've forgotten who they are. Period. At least men are in a space of just getting a sex doll, which is still uh logical because women they are too now. They got the, the teddy bear deals for the women. Shout out to my girl bear, Danica what? Marie. Yeah, Danica Marie was she pulled it up. She pulled y'all, she was over there cooking. It's a life-size human bear. Teddy like bear. I bet you that the I, but what I'm gonna say is that the rate of that selling that sell the sales of that will be at a 10% compared to a man's <laughs> sex doll. And all right, uh, all right, all right, let me get these super chats real quick. Appreciate you, Bobby. Make us go. Through. I need to give y'all a picture of this sex doll I found outside my house somewhere. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> he gave he gave Leon King. $20 credit. I came outside and there was a sex doll on the neighbor's gar garbage can. I said, Lord have mercy, all out there. Everywhere. Are you y'all trolling? Here we go. Here we go, <laughs> Mr. Walker. <laughs> go ahead. Appreciate you the pleasant help, Paulino. She cut through and said, He the queen said it. There is a fantasy. It is not real. Appreciate you, D. Woods. He says, These women are entitled. <laughs> You better be happy with the 70-30, especially if you are coming with kids. What is a 41-year-old childless man to do? Mm. Bobby Vegas, come back through. Okay, Mr. Wilson. He should have got married when he was young. Ain't that what they always saying? Get married when you was young. Why he wait till you 41 to get married? There you go. That part. Uh, El Paulino come through. Says fantasizing is okay. But living happens in the real world with real outcomes, sometimes with bad results. There you go. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Sal Bill. He says, King James was a slave master. It's black history. <laughs> that part. Thank you, Sal. Because they don't even know who King James was. Dick Gregory said he was worse than Hitler. But they don't want to hear that. All right, yeah, we ain't going down that rabbit hole. We ain't doing that. <laughs> I'll get you hey, and shout out to Bobby Vegas. Come back through. Give him credit for tyranny, Bob. Shout out to Bobby Vegas. Give it all his credits. <laughs> hey, AD, hey, everybody make sure y'all mute it up. Mute up. Shout right out here, to Bobby back. Vegas. Come back through. The credit king says, preach, Mr. Wilson. $20 credit for you, too. <laughs> shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. The second wife is always younger by 10 or 20 years. Not Jeff Bezos, the one of the richest men. They're, they have a six-year age gap. I give you that. It's almost 10. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, uh, Triple X. Says, Leon is greater than Anton Daniels in the Versace robe could, could ever be. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Appreciate you, Sal Bill. The Mr. Wilson has jokes. I'm here for that. <laughs> she mad. <laughs> Where'd your to go, man? That sucks. Appreciate you, Damon. Come through. Says he's the queen. Denzel's knocking at the door. Bye. And like yeah, we tell y'all make sure y'all check the ticker down there for the new bounty rules, uh, Damon. Yeah, fifty bucks. <laughs> Appreciate the divine photos. There's Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson with the ether. <laughs> Some Kendra cousin ghost watching is gonna use that line on her show to Kendra and. I guess can you comb your hair like that? They go steal it. Huh. Shout out to Sal Bill. He says, You said Gail King. Yeah, I let her meet my mom. Appreciate you, D Woods. He says, I thought that was two bit from power on the panel. Shout out to Adrian. I'm sorry, bro. Huh. Shout out to Sal Bill. Comes through. Says Crystal. What you aren't getting is that as men, we are watching our potential wives get knocked up by Nug Nug and then come to us wanting marriage from us. We don't want to raise his kids. So why y'all ain't marrying your potential wives early then? Yeah, why y'all can't get her? Step your game up. Step your masculinity up. Get married early, like y'all tell us. But All right. <laughs> Shout out to Buddy Rowe. Says, my aunt married to a great man. He passed away. 
She's been paying to play ever since. Two houses, one in Cali, one in Ohio. No kids. She's on her second man. She's paying to play. Appreciate your Red Pill Ranger. He says, the black man not proposing because it's trash options. Has nothing to do with an issue with commitment. Also, stop the anecdotal stories. We got trash options too now. Or are you just trash? And it, yeah. it, it's like at some point. All right, real quick, Chris, I'll let you answer this in one second. Let me get this last one. <laughs> the notorious Kevin Brooks come through the 20 bucks. Says he and Queens need some time to herself. <laughs> So y'all need another $10 to throw heat and queen time out. <laughs> but you want to respond. I know Crystal ain't got much more time, so we'll give her the floor. What you got? No, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I just think that uh, it, it's like Lamb said, the 47% of black women who don't have children, the lambs of the world. I know plenty of them. I'm not saying that they're uh, just out at your local hood uh you know corner score store which a uh, red pill ranger never gave me that vibe but he but he does give me little wimpy geek who grew up and hates women so my thing is just step your game up to get the type of person that you want and stop being so mad at the women that mr walker and gavin were able to get so i'll leave it at that um i had a great night with everybody leon i'm so happy you came up i always get mixed vibes from you but man i re-watched my favorite single by choices is the i'm 54 nigga i'm 54 like you gave me so much happiness for like a week straight and just rocking and rolling every day and i don't know i just i really uh have a place in my heart for you so anyway i'm happy you came up with the robe and all rock your robe i love the aries energy you know being yourself uh shout out to joker for coming up tonight and coming out the chat man we love you we appreciate your perspective thank you for being a man and standing on business um heathen queen always an honor gavin walker you already know what it is adrian i think you might be my cousin Unfortunately, uh, I was gonna hit you up on that a little bit later. Where are you from? Are your people or like are your people from Miss Mississippi? Okay, well that's no good. He just gonna shake his head. Nah, nah, I'm from, I'm from Texas. I know you're from Texas, but I'm saying I'm from, from East family. Texas. Right, but most of our family members moved from like Mississippi or the yes. Carolinas during slavery. But I don't know. We kind of look alike a little bit, but it's okay. It don't matter. Um, but regardless, uh, I hope everybody has a good night. Heathen Queen is always great rocking with you. Um, and I'll see you all next Saturday. So I hope everybody has a good night. Good night and shout Christmas. out to Ladies Night. And shout out to Ladies Night. Shout out to Ladies yeah. Night. Shout out yeah, to be ladies on the lookout, y'all. Be on the lookout for Ladies Night. It's, it's coming gonna be good. Next week, it's gonna be dope. <laughs> So here we go. I see we got somebody in the back. A fresh throw up the peace sign so I can make sure. Uh, all right. So we got another guy. So here we are. Leon, Heathen Queen. What y'all got? I, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. AD. Let's get AD. Let's get AD in here. Let's get AD. AD got the green screen going. How you feeling, fresh? First time. Get him, AD. What's yeah, man, going on, man? You guys content a long time, man. So keep up the good work, man. Appreciate where you calling you, man. from? Where, where that accent from? I'm in London. I'm in from London. Okay. Okay. Appreciate you, brother Fresh. But, uh, thanks, man. You guys are really funny, man. I love when you guys say Mr. 40 always, man. It just cracks me up all the time. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, that's too dope. All the way from overseas. AD, Thank what you. you got? What you got, AD? It's been a long night. And, uh, we were talking yeah, about... Yeah, yeah, it is. We talked about these boss chicks uh, paying to play. What's your take on it? So, I, I've, I've... Well, I, I'm starting to see that that it's, it, we got to understand, like, what, what is the result to? Like, far as was it to get the bag or was it just because of poor choices? So you got to divide and uh, separate the different, different, the, uh, the different uh, aspect of which, which way did they go? So that right there, the term is what kind of man they can get in, in the results of that. Is often they're gonna take a downfall from either way it goes. Older they, as they get, they're gonna get a less of a man. But I, I wanted to point out to to the ladies when they, they were they were questioning like what what is it? I said, well, what what's the result of how they got there? You gotta look at that. What is the result of them going there? And what's the what, what outcomes can you expect at the max for them? You cannot expect a, a, a max outcome for a woman 
and and your desire, because every woman desires the best, especially if they put the work in. So, well, I I was thinking is that if if we're going to to talk about that, you're gonna to have to pay to play regardless to get the kind and caliber man that you want. I see. I'm I'm put for example. I see many women. And and at the age of I'm gonna say 50 to 60, they're beginning to have to go meet men in, in these weird places. They're they're going now, they have to go meet men at the at the funeral. Now they have to go meet men. Uh I mean, th- there are some women who are have been educated and things like of that nature have had to meet men in the in the most weird ways. They they got jail. We talk about men being weirdos. They they have to go date men out of jail. Yeah. Now they become pen pals because they need still need companionship. So when we when we talk about these women dying alone, they're dying in the in the worst results. We don't we don't want that for our women. That's why we want them. That's why men should care because we're supposed to be the protectors of the women. Men What's die that? at higher rates than men die alone with higher rates. That, than that's men. not a concern, but that's not a concern in this place. We are concerned about the results. We want to protect our women in our in our in, our, in the image go. of that. There you go. We you, you, what you're you're talking about is like fighting words. I'm not using this as a weapon. I'm using it as a protection. I want to place a protection over over our communities. So our our ones that come behind us or we're responsible for. And, and and giving them an example in 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 a cor- correct blueprint to follow. Right. That's that's what we all here to accomplish. So when we go down this path of, well, I, I do this and I do that and I did this and I do this to deserve this and that, that becomes very selfish and unrighteous. So what I'm trying to say is, she gonna have to either pay to play, but. Or she going That's because out. of the results of what she chose to do. And a lot of women in our community have chose not... Well, we're going to have to apologize to ourselves. And, and a lot of women are going to have to come to grievance with that. They're going to apologize to themselves for the, at the results of what they had did or someone else gave them incorrect blueprint to follow. That's going to be step one for a lot of black women. They're going to have to apologize to themselves for making the choices they made to get the results out of what they got. And that's going to be what they're going to have to do. You you cannot you cannot ask men to be responsible for that. When they made the choice and they've had they they chose to be an adult. They didn't choose to be a wife. You know they would choose to go out and be promiscuous and have babies out of wedlock. So let's um, do this. So let's do this. I'm about 15 20 years younger than Gail King. And I was married for 30 years. I did all the right things. Got married 22, married all the way up until I was 52, married to the same man, had five kids. I had two kids before I got married to my husband. Yeah, you did. I had two kids. Okay. But we stayed married for 30 years. Happily so. Hopefully that's what he would say. Right. And then he died. So right now, my choice is not to deal with men. I'm choosing not to. Not that I don't have options to. to, I just choose not to right now. Am I supposed to jump back into the dating pool because I don't want to die alone? Or do I take the time to grieve my husband and then I jump in the dating pool? Which one am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to sit here and wait or am I supposed to grieve like I'm supposed to? Or am I supposed to jump in the dating pool because I don't want to die alone? How do we how do we do that? All right, I I I, I was prepared for that. That is exactly what I wanted to speak to. So okay. that in in that case, I, I have I have special place for that because when a woman has been a wife, she has already had training. She has not been out here unprotected by herself and acting out of out of her nature. So. She already knows what her heart wants and how to connect it to her mind. She's already moving like a wife. She would likely be picked up and sawed out. 
because she's going to stand out amongst other women who have not been in that nature. So therefore, even if you choose to, so you have the option too. you have a choice. You have the very choice too. But other women who have not been doing that, how can she choose that? She's that no man at that age is going to want to deal with that. But I mean, no man, even at the young ages, are not dealing with that. So what? Why do you expect the older men to want to deal with that? They're not going to choose it. You're just going to go out. This is going. This is going to ignore you. They're mm -hmm. going. They're going to see you, but you're going to. They're going to ignore you because you're, you're going to finally realize. Matter of fact, women like that, they know they're not qualified, so they act out anyways. We see that all the time. That's why the women go up on the thing and say, I want these astronautical numbers mm -hmm. and say things to basically tell the men that if you ain't going to give me this, you did it this, because they know they're unfit. Right. These women know they're unfit. But in your, in your, in your case... I have a mother that remarried right away, like no qu quick. It was no time. But what the thing is, with the uh, if you don't change, if a woman has not changed her behavior right. from the from the results of her her if she got divorced because she went down there and found and said I'm not happy. Instead of saying you know what, I need to take I need to apologize to myself first and do my work and get myself in the best place and find out what I need to do to get results that I have in my heart to connect with my mind so I can go out and do what I need to do to get yeah. the kind of man that I fit to, that I so desire. Yeah. But, but you have to do, you have to know these things. So it's, it's, it's far more important that you have this blueprint to follow. You have if you not had this blueprint, you're going to keep moving in the wrong direction. That's just like if you have getting gotten instructions to go on the on the uh the Oregon Trail, how do you know what direction to go if no one go, gave it to you? They had to have a sense of direction. Now our women want to go out and build on their own. A woman is not meant to do that. Right. She was so never that was thing. never her nature. Let me get in here. All right. I want to get fresh in real quick. All right. So you're over in the UK, brother. Um, are y'all having some of the same sort of relationship issues that we have here in America? Yeah, we're definitely having uh, the same issues. Definitely having the same issues. So the women, the women are acting the same. They're unruly. They want a hundred K man and all that stuff. The only difference I would say with the UK, I don't think, uh, the monetary side of it is as high as the U.S. where they want 100K personally because the truth is only, I believe the statistic here is only 1% of the U.K. population makes 100 and, 103, 103 pounds, I mean 100,000 pounds, only 1%. Mm. So the numbers, they're not like as high as like in the, in the, in America. But we do have the we do have the same issues in terms of like a lot of like like especially like younger younger guys like a lot of girls like if you don't make X amount like fifty sixty thousand they look at you as broke if you can't you know buy them like luxury items they look at you as broke so we're kind of having some of the same issues here to be honest. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. What's your take, Mister Walker? Yeah. Like I said, just collecting data. So, so this, so this uh, plague has spread over to the UK, or has already been there. That's unfortunate to hear, but it's worldwide. We talked about this. Look at, can we agree that you know the melanated woman is kind of leading this this thing with her gravitas and influence it, today? What's more influential than the melanated woman? Nothing. Nothing. And, and, and that influence that made it all the way over to the UK and everywhere. It's a, yeah. There you go. It's an epidemic. Here we are. All right. Yeah. But I'll even give you a quick story. So there was a it was a TV program, and uh, there was this was a black couple. The, I think the girl was in her maybe late twenties, and the guy was I believe he might have been late twenties or early thirties, and she called the guy broke because he wouldn't pay for her to go on a four-day trip to Miami 
and spend 15k on it. Broke. Sound like a broke sound giving dusty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And, and you think like, that doesn't even make sense. Man. Well, I was gonna say shout out to Heat the Queen. She said we got traders in our rank. So for the men, you know, for them guys that do actually take these women out, they know like, oh, my girlfriend got taken to Miami by some simp. So I know it's possible. So that's where we at, man. It's rough hmm. out here. It's rough, Heathen Queen. <laughs> but man, I mean, you you have your traders, and that's why I don't have hope that this whole dynamic will turn itself around because we have traders on both sides. It's just not the men, but it's men specifically who cater to the foolishness of women and they continue to cater and they're going to continue to pander and they're going to continue to do all of that just in the hope of getting some snatch or getting some snatch or continuing to get snatch. So therefore you're always going to have a dynamic of men who cater to the women, who do what they say, who do what they want, give them money, give them time, give them resources. And therefore, when men want to turn that tide around or have consequences for the women, you're not going to have to, you're not going to be able to have consequences for the women. Because if all the men across the country said, I'm not giving up any kind of, any kind of wood, there's going to be a group of men saying, I'm not going for that. And the women are going to get the wood. Period. Okay. What you got, Fresh? Yeah, I just want to have a little rebuttal on that. I understand where Heathen Queen is going, but I think what Heathen Queen is not understanding is that the men who are actually able to do that, they're in the minority. It's a, it's a minority of men that can even afford to do some of the things you're saying. So the thing is, because they, they, they move around with so many different women, a lot of women kind of experience that, but then the average guy can't do that. So what it is, when they talk to the average guy, though, they feel like they're settling. They don't feel that that sense of, oh, this guy is doing anything. You no, get what I'm saying? What I'm, so, what, I'm saying is, no, what I'm saying is you all want women to be fit, feminine, and friendly. Just for a quick, straight-up example. You men, the men have said they want the women to be fit, feminine, and friendly. Otherwise, we're not dealing with you, right? Isn't that the sentiment? But you have traitors who are going to fuck fat bitch. When, when, I mean, who are going to, uh, let me say it better. Uh, they're going I to. I understand what you're saying. They're going, <laughs> they're going, so you, you, got, you got traitors in your midst. As long as you got traitors like that in your midst, it's not going to turn into anything a, either, either queen, that is a lane, like. There's lanes to this. It's this so therefore, this, all those women are going to get in them lanes. Like, yeah, they have to. And there's men that's going to be in that lane. It, it, it's, it, yeah. So That's why I said you, go, you got, you're got you continuously going to have traders in that lane. You care about them traders? And so, and so it's more traders than it is the good guys. That's what no, you're no, not but that's what, No, but that's why I'm disagreeing with you. That's why I'm disagreeing with you. There's actually more good guys. There's less traders. It's just that the thing is, that a lot of these women, they don't want to change anyway. So they're happy when the minority of guys just do that. You get what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is a minority of men that are doing it. The majority of men, we want good women. But what I'm saying, if there's this small minority of men that will just do that for women and then women get delusional thinking, oh, this is what wow. all men want. So we how, can't, are you, we, how are you going to change that? Listen, this is where... They, and don't just take pieces and uh and spot out you said fit fit friendly uh and but you miss submissive and cooperative you know if you uh, 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 see you're not listening or applying kevin samuel's uh principles uh but i don't believe in life. principles that's what i'm saying what then? Most of us women don't believe in those principles. As that, so that gives you the results that Adrian was talking about. That's why I'm saying you are going to continuously have traitors in your midst because we women are not going along with that program. You so want to know why? Because the Bible plainly says that the older women should teach the younger women and okay. you're teaching them wrong or you're not teaching them at all. I'm, so, I'm not teaching them wrong. So, so hold up. So, so he's the queen. You're saying we need to, as men, we need to 
understand that the women that we are saying need to change won't change because of the traders and they are choosing to follow the lead of the traders these these less than men these less than men so that's where we at the majority of the women are choosing to lead and fall under the guidance of men they they deem to be less than that's where we at I don't, I don't know if I wanted to pick it way, I wanted to pick it back off uh, way. right I wanted to pick it back off uh Leon King said I was gonna ask Ethan Queen because you said what should you do now you know right. so you were married right and then you had kids in your marriage yes okay so you only so you've been married and you so you divorce or whatever so no, now I'm a widow I'm a widow okay, he died. okay. So, okay. so so you know <laughs> how to be a woman you know how that goes so now what you should do is start teaching the 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 the, the youth. You feel me? Start teaching, you know, the young women how they can be wives and things you did in the marriage to, right. you know, that's what you should do now. You feel me? Or pay to play. I just want to answer Ethan's I just want to answer Ethan's question. question. You already been married. You want to her. You already played the game, so now teach the game. You played the game now. You right. was married, you you know, widow, whatever. Now right. teach the game. That's what you should do now. Teach them not to have children, children before they get married. Well, yeah, that would be the optimum thing, but I believe it would have to be on a national scale for, for that to make a big difference to the generation that are coming up. It would have to be on such a national sale, national scale. And I believe where we you just think about it. Where did we go wrong when it came to the level of birth, the, the level of uh, 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 childless or, or fatherless children? We have been going over and over and over for, for, for years and years. When did they take sex education out of the schools? When they took that education, shouldn't be. I'm a teacher. Says education, I should be teaching these kids how to put so on the How are they going to learn if their mother is uh, from the ghetto? Oh, guess what? Don't have your children in the ghetto. So, how do you get these poor people out of the ghetto? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, if they're not educated, so they're not educated. educated. We There's can't nothing wrong with this. being poor. There's no shame in being poor. Jesus said you're always going to have the poor. and all, But you ain't got to be nasty, and you sure ain't got to be ghetto. Yeah, but, and you sure but ain't got to be out there. Everyone doesn't follow the Bible, uh, so we uh, have to take the Bible out of it. Everybody well, look, doesn't follow so we, the Bible, so we have we to take the Bible out of it. We can't worry about no fool teaching what our kids. Bible what, Bible out of it, what you got? You got the heathens. But to answer yep. Heathen's Queen question though about what we can do to change, I think you're seeing that we are a lot of guys. We're creating podcasts. We're speaking out when we see, right. you know, women going down a certain way. We are trying to do things to actually change the behavior that we're That's seeing. Wow. Some of the pro no, no, but some of the problem I'm seeing is that when men try to do these things, we get labeled as misogynists and we get labeled like we hate women. When actual women call all other women, we label them as pygmies, we label them as follow, they just follow the men. You get what I'm saying? So we are trying to change the behavior, but when we do, we get nasty labels attached to us for trying to help the community. Okay, wait a minute. Let me address this one thing. The one thing, pygmies. You say pygmies. We women look at pygmies as women who are spouting the men's talking points, but they don't believe it. Just like you all say, and that's bull we want, let me, hold on. Just like you all say, we want to find traditional women. There are no traditional women. Yes, sir. Whenever they say, no, it's not. Yes, sir. You, no, yes, they're not. Sir. All you, the women you, on the 30 you, are not they, traditional. They all those women are not traditional. Sure. But they're they're all, I agree with that. I agree with, I agree with the queen. Married. There is no traditional women. Not the way. In the world. There's the no traditional women. There's eight, eight yeah, billion people. Married. They're being traditional. They're yeah. not traditional. They're modern. Like, they're I, modern I like day women. At, at, at best, at best, the women 
uh, with, like you said, 30 and younger. At best, they're modern women with traditional values at absolute best. But they I are told all you, the, all, the best you can expect from a traditional woman is Candace Owens. She is a and you and you said something, Heathen Queen. You you said the women don't believe it. How, how can you? How do you know that they don't believe it? How do you know that? No, that's what I wanted saying, to find out. I'm saying they don't fall into the category of what Kevin Samuels wants them to fall. You all want them to fall into. Well, no, they you said they are up here spouting out these talking points. And oh, you mean pick me's? Oh, okay, pick me's. Pick me's to women. When we say pick me's, we mean women who are spouting male talking points and they really don't believe those talking points they're just spouting them just so they can curry favor just so you they can be looked on with favor or be chosen as favorable they don't believe the talking points we don't okay. believe that when i call a woman pick me that's what i mean she really doesn't believe what she's saying she's saying it to curry favor can I can I respond? Can I respond to that? Minutes. He got fifteen minutes, y'all. So go ahead. Can I just respond to you, right? But what you got? Who was going just now? Fresh? What you got? What you got? Yeah, I just want to say it, but that's but that's the thing. Women are taking the the, the term "pick me" and and sullying the name. Amen. You get know what I'm saying? They're sullying the name. That's yeah. not what you get. What I'm saying when the women are actually speaking or and actually believe the points that the men are talking about. They shame them with that name. Yes. Yes. And my thing is, so how can I, they tell? How can they tell? So any woman that's agreeing with men, they automatic pick me. So as exactly. men, put, women, put yourselves in men's shoes. If if they're a hyena, we got to stay away, have discernment. But if they're agreeing with us, now they just chameleon pick me. So so where do the men, where do we stand? Who do we choose from? If you agree, you're a pick me, can you a chameleon? If you if you three or four, then you're three or four. That goes without saying. So mm. where we at now? We at a standstill, old Mexican standoff. <laughs> well, they, I I'll say this is that there is women who be be traditional but conditional. Traditional, <laughs> conditional traditionalism. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like right now, like right now, I'm seeing that a whole lot of women are are becoming to be these uh 1099 basically. They signing up. They want these guys who are who are who can put them on a ten ninety nine. They can work for them and still be a boss chick and still be visible as this woman that has her own money and she would guy that that making money because it's shamed upon if you would a broke ninja, you know it's it's shamed upon them if you don't have your own money. So they envision now that. Oh, well, let me get with a guy that got this somewhat plan that can put me on his 1099. Get I can get on planes and I can be visual, visual <laughs> with him and, and things. And, and basically these guys are writing them off. You can see, I give example. Uh what what's uh Steve Harvey's stepdaughter stepdaughter name? Uh Lori, Lori Harvey. Lori. She's basically a, 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 a good example of this. She's getting on page with guys that she can get a 1099 on, but basically they're taking out shopping in the mix of this, and they she just she just getting on program with her. Her mama always told her to prize herself as to, to be the, the to always see herself as the prize. When we all know that she just winning. The man is the prize because she she had none of that without that man. The man was the prize, she won the man, but we see these women and those women try to follow that path and they end up in these situations where they start getting in front of the hood. It's shamed on for men who, 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 who leave with their money or look like they got something going on. Oh no, nah, come on now. Why, why are we, why are we shaming the brothers that, that this out here trying to show they got a little something going all right, on? Well, let, me ask the, let me ask us all on the panel. We get red peel in here. And where where should the measuring bar be though for men? Should should a man have his own place, his own car, a job before he's considering dating women seriously? Hmm. Oh me, yep. Um, first of all, I want to say hi to everybody. What's going on, brother? I'm doing good. Actually, I'm going through some stuff. Uh, my nine year old daughter had her cycle today. Oh my! Oh, wow. So as a, as a father. 
all my emotional. He's stressing, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> just I know it happens. It's natural, but it's kind of like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. So you know, prayers that's my to you, bro. Yeah. Prayers. <laughs> so, but uh, other than that, um, for men, at the minimum, house, car, um, a little apartment, and some spare change. Just at the minimum, mm -hmm. you know, you can you can um, provide for yourself. By the way, women like to say all the time they want a man who could just take her himself. I just want to say that's a lie. They said that because they learned the game. They learned what to say now to certain questions. They don't want a man who just do for himself. Because right here in Texas, you can make 40K and, and, and provide for yourself. They don't want him. 40K, you get a little 100 bit, a, a, a $1,100 little 600 square foot apartment. You got your, 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 your 2018 Honda Civic, got your 300 some dollar car note. And um, you're in that little place by yourself. All you're paying is electricity. And you're buying your little groceries, your noodles, your hot pockets, your things of that nature. And you're making 40000 a year. You can easily do that. So when they say, I want somebody who can just take care of himself, that is a lie. <laughs> you know, but that's the good answer to say, now, nah, as long as he can provide for himself, bullshit. Because it don't take much to do that as a man. Because we're sure. very, right. we live Spartan lifestyles. If we have to. Um, so a man for himself, he can have a Spartan lifestyle. The better looking woman he want, honestly, the more you gotta have, because women like raccoons. They like shiny things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so I, I see my guy Leo in the building. Leo, I see you all set up, man. What you got? The microphone? Leo. Hey, what's up, family? I'm working slowly at it, man. I'm, I'm trying to be like y'all. I'm okay. trying to be like y'all, bro. I like that, Mike. <laughs> yes, Sound good. Sound good, man. Good, man. I'm see you. You're a professional. I see I'm coming, you. guys. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yo, I'm I'm loving the conversation, man. Hey, um, Red Pill, man. Listen, I, I've been there. I've been there on my yeah. knees, man. That that was it was it, it was like my heart dropped. Yeah. I was like, bro. God damn, bro. God damn. But let me tell you, y'all. Um, he the queen was cooking for a little bit, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, that what she said there about the um, about uh, what was it? Um, the pick me's like, like how she described pick me's, yeah. I, I had to agree with that, man. I was like, man, she on point, she on point with that because there's a lot out there that they be front. So, so you think pick me's are neg is a negative thing? Nah, you know what it is, man. At first, see, like, I like her view, I don't, I still feel like a pick me is. Something that you know, modern women would use to degrade like women that are trying to be traditional. And you know, there's women out there, most of our women are not traditional. I, I totally believe in that. Um, and they to get back to being traditional is you almost gotta be the standout, like you you you're not being the norm, you're being something totally different. And with that being said, you gotta think to yourself now. You're that one that's standing in the outside. You're gonna be considered a pick me because you're not part of that big group of women that are just doing the total opposite. So I see pick me in that kind of light. But the way she's describing it too, you got some of them that is pretending to that's be true. like a pick me. You know what I mean? They they're pretending. They they acting like they they're um they're using some of the talking points to get into some of the spaces. But when you look deep inside their soul, you see they they still got they they still got it inside of them, man. They can't get rid of that that sisterhood spirit. You know that that fake sisterhood I've been talking about. And that's that's true. And I said, you know, if that's the case, then where where are we at as men? How do we choose? Right, if right. We either dealing with chameleons or straight up front 304s is there is there another option <laughs> yeah i, I can't hear you can't hear you red pill i got it y'all can hear me now yeah yes, yeah sir. what's the other option what other options do we got well um first of all we got to realize ain't no wrong with a picky if you married your wife was a picky and that's what people, guys need to understand these women need to understand they just lying to themselves, don't pay no attention, because when they wanted that man, they adjusted to his likes and desires. They, if he 
liked watching action movies, she started watching a little more action movie. If he mm-hmm. liked playing football, she got a little more interested in football. Talk about she it. wanted him. Every woman is a pick me for that guy. True. Every wife is a pick me. She was a pick me, and that's why she got picked. And bitter she women did. that say that, they try to shame pick me because they not picked yet. And man, what you think about this? What you think bullshit. about this for the man? He's saying, "Don't marry, don't marry him." <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. At this I yet, you too. know what? Yeah, don't we? Uh, real Leo, Red Pill Ranger. You know, y'all know how difficult marriage is. Uh, Nutty Nate, marriage is not easy. It's not. It ain't for the weak. All right. right. So that's why yeah, we. Yeah, that's yeah. why me and Kevin changed our tone. Like, hey. If you ain't built for don't marry. Don't enter into a union and, and you end up losing, especially the men. Don't enter into no union with a hyena. Just fold some steady uh, in-house cooter catter and then she leaves with your, with your dog. Well, the truth of the matter is, well, men never have been. We'll get you in first. But you say don't marry no, no 304. Men have never truly been marrying 304s. It happens. There's like outliers, but. <sighs> they rarely do it on purpose. Um, so they rarely do it on purpose. Some guys have done it on purpose, but most of them, if they married a 304, is because he just didn't know. Well, this what we, gotta exclude, we gotta exclude the men that was marrying the, for like housing, and he, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So I know, a brother, uh, that that married that married the scripper. I do too, and, especially in the military. Oh God, I think he was ex-military, and then you know they got married, <laughs> divorced him, and took all the stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what, what, what you got, brother? Yeah, I just want to answer a question real quick. quick. I just want to answer a well, question. Real quick. Next, next, AD. Yeah, if we if we say don't marry, uh, look, I'm not I'm not really you know, uh, but I'm just wondering if we say don't marry, can we then get upset when we have all these single moms if we if we preach and don't marry? Well, that, I think that's why we saying don't marry because the single moms are already here. Like it's a, the movement is already active, hence the reaction of don't marry. If there were a lot more single women, I mean a lot more childless women, then I don't think this would be the message fresh. But it's, all right, oh, okay. the devil's advocate though, what about the women that are childless that men still calling 304s and not choosing? So and, and there we go. Where's where's the the pick me? That you now you can't be a pick me because it's it's detrimental. So like that's what I'm saying. Like we can sit here and we can give our brothers ways to behave, present the world to a better self. But now women come up here being their feminine selves, you know, looking to get picked. And now whether or not, how do you decide which one is the chameleon? That's my thing. They using that pick me term as if any woman, they did not clarify any and all women that are up here agreeing with the man, you're detrimental. You're, you're lying. You're a hyena. See, that's the, that's what I'm saying. Like, so don't marry. And, and my thing is, like we said, if the woman don't get kids and she don't got like some crazy body count, is is other stuff can men work with? Like you said, she wear a weave or lashes and some of this stuff. Is that stuff men can say, you know what, I can get her to take that stuff off. Well, she ain't got no kids. She ain't got, you know what I mean? She gotta you know, like you. She, that depends, she on, gotta, that depends on how much rich you got as a man, how many options you got. The less options you got, the more stuff you can look over. But if you got a, um, you live in a life of abundance, you're not looking over nothing. Like, regardless of what Crystal said, I could, I never had a problem getting women. <laughs> and um, so natural hair was always a must for me. Mm. Like, the it's just like women. The finer a woman is, the less she's going to settle for, the less she's going to let slide, the more juice a dude got, the less he's going to let slide. So if you struggling out there, you might have to look over the wig. You might have to look over the talent nails. You might have to look, some guys options so low, they have to look over the baby. You know, um, it's just some, it, some guys look over obesity because they sexual market value so low. So the higher your sexual market value is, the, the more, you don't have to deal with I that agree. you don't want to deal with. I concur wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's the queen. You back. What you got? Any takes from back there? Well, takes from back there. Uh, 
people don't get people don't get what they deserve. It, people get what comes to them. And you can say, well, uh, the man has many options. Russell Wilson had all the options in the world. So that theory, <laughs> that theory about women, the more options you get, you're going to pick somebody on a higher scale. That means nothing. That's why we call him a simp. Yeah. yeah. But he he still, but indeed. It don't indeed. matter what you call him. It don't matter what y'all called him. He still picked a woman that had a child. <laughs> Previously, you know, because he had to. She missing a whole. Have no other choice. Russell Wilson didn't have too many other choices. The even the sisters didn't have too many choices. No, 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 no. Not, not. Listen, men are logical. Let we go get into it. Men are logical. Russell Wilson said, "You know what? I know I'm a square. I know how sisters look at me when I talk. When I get on this goofy shirt, he said, if I have a chance at dating an attractive, melanated woman." I better go for one with a kid. I don't care what y'all say. That's so what he had to was. settle. So and Russell Wilson. He didn't settle. No, he did not settle. Not. He did not, he not settle. He did not settle. That's what you're saying. Men don't settle. Men don't settle. I ne- men don't settle. He got what he could get. Yeah. Pretty pretty what he could get? What yes. it is? Yes. Black Bill Ranger. Black Bill Ranger. Well, hold on. So, so he's the queen. Are, are you saying that Sierra is chopped liver now? Black, Black Bill Ranger. <laughs> the right. Black Bill Ranger just yeah. said. Yeah. He just said all yeah. the money and all the options and all of that. You can you going to pick the best option for you. Y'all, according to y'all, Sierra was not the best option. So what he, Red Bill Ranger, saying really? don't apply in What's reality. I just explained it to you. He had options. He could have got him a Caucasian sister. Not- they would have loved Russell Wilson. We see it all the time. That means he, he had a lot of options, melanated- right? Russell Wilson wanted a melanated sister, attractive melanated sister. He, he knew by options. his by his life experiences, the only way to get one of this caliper, she had to come with a kid. That's the only way she going to accept him. He still had. Wait a minute. Hold That's on. a good point. Caliber. I think he, I think he was married to a Caucasian woman yeah, before as well. Sierra, uh, 304, according to y'all, what do you mean her caliber? He was no, attractive, like, an attractive, an attractive, fit, uh, melanated woman. That's what he wants. She you. was a 304. It don't matter. She was according fit and attractive. According to y'all, she was a 304. She was fit and attractive. Well, according to men, most of y'all 304, so. She was a baby mama. So she was a 304. You mean to tell me he couldn't find a fit, feminine, friendly female that was gorgeous, didn't have no kids all over the country somewhere? You mean to tell me he couldn't figure out no, he couldn't do that? He could have. Yeah, he really, he, so, he's but he a, picked what he wanted. He no, he's, picked what he he's wanted. He's a simp. The yeah, simple fact he, that as a multimillionaire with no kids, your option, your mate you chose had a kid. Is weak in itself, which means it's, it's, yes, that's your theory. Let, let, let is let me Russell, what, what's was it? Five eleven. He's an athlete, Super Bowl champion, mm-hmm. multi millionaire, intelligent, mm-hmm. articulate dude. Paul mm-hmm. no homo, high value, living, high good value, with good, good hair. He could have got other black women. Could have he got. got Hispanic women. He could have got women all over but the he country did it. the world. But he didn't. But, you miss, that's your, the, your but that's the point. Wrong. You're missing the point. He's a simp because he chose the worst option when he didn't have to. But here's for, the for example, if you got a, if you had two jobs offer you a job offering, one said I'm gonna pay you twenty dollars an hour doing the same thing. The other one said thirty. You're not gonna pitch a twenty dollar hour no, job. You ain't finna. You're not finna move the goalposts on me. No, Russell if pitched a twenty dollar hour was, job with Sierra. High I'm value not the men. It's all an analogy. You said high value Russell, men. Russell pick, picked, got all the options in the world. My question is, why did he pick Sierra? Because he he, he he's not a white to women. Syndrome. He wants but he's to not save her. To women. Yeah. That's he has white. Like. It's something called white knight syndrome, where certain uh, guys want to just come to the rescue. Wrong with him, A.K. Captain Save a Ho. He's a he's a <laughs> he had he's his a perfect, on. He he's had the perfect on his definition. Chest. He wanted to swoop of, in and save Sierra from future. But he's the perfect definition of the high value man that you all are talking about. No, that's Captain Save a Ho. That ain't no high value man. Yet I'm, he picked the three hundred four. 
Because yes. he's a loser. He's a simp. <laughs> I'm saying what you keep saying about high value men just having the cream of the crop and picking the cream of the crop just is he not has, correct. Just because he has money don't mean he has high value character. He's a high value loser. Oh, now we finna go that route. Okay. Because oh. the simple fact is it, it's every guy with mo money don't unlame you. Yes, oh, hey. you. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? What does that he's have lame. To do with it? He can have a billion dollars. That's not, we, we, didn't have all, we didn't have all of these uh caveats when you were talking about the no, high value we, man. That's what you were saying was he was gonna pick the best chick. No, he wasn't gonna be nothing else for her. She got then, but, but why did he pick her then? Because he's lame. Right. That boils back to him being lame. <laughs> like oh, literally. <laughs> Now, but do you, you understand, understand that there's exceptions to everything in life? No, but I'm saying high value. It has nothing. No, but I'm saying, do you do you understand that there's exceptions to life? So yes, high value men travel a certain way, but even in that, there is a, there's exceptions, and in this case, Russell Wilson is the exception. You get what I'm saying? Why is Russell Wilson the same when you have that one basketball player who has a wife and she's all on the internet all the time? What's her name? Uh, the light skin dude, Steph Curry's Joe wife. Does. Oh, hey, she ain't she ain't she ain't no good neither. She tried to take her ring off and all that kind of craziness, but yet and still he picked her, didn't he? Sure. Yeah, you ain't making but no even point. queen. You're, you're not. You're not getting it. There's, there's exceptions <laughs> to everything in life. There's I'm exceptions saying. to everything in life too. I'm saying yeah, most listen, high listen. most high value men are not going to pick the women you keep saying that they're yeah. going to pick. Listen, Steph Curry, that was some bull jab. His, that woman came and said she would like some attention from other guys. I mm. tell you, hold on, hold on. Did y'all see? Did y'all see Jeff Bezos' new wife? She, she had that. her ass hanging out. She had her ass and her titties hanging out, and they were going out on the town. That's a high value man who picked the chick who got her ass and her tits hanging out. She ain't got no kids. What do you mean? No, nah, she does actually. She has three kids. Yeah. What? That's not, he didn't. That's I don't think he married boy. her. By the way, she got three kids. I don't think he married her. Wow. Did he marry I hate her? this because now, now everybody gonna think they can get the baseball. Every woman out here, there's three for three. Now they think they gonna get a baseball. Now get ready to get away. I'm saying. I'm saying that talking point. Stop saying it. It doesn't. It doesn't apply to reality. No, but you think you can establish that? Both of them are simple. That's not an accurate statement. But the baseball is a simple. You're naming mm -hmm. except you can't say that because exceptions that apply in skin. life. Really? really? There's gonna be high value men that are gonna do dumb stuff, man. She, 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 but the really majority are gonna do the right thing, man. No, but did he do none of that shit? Stop saying that high value men are only gonna get this type of woman. We're not saying the that cream of the crop because they're not the queen. Are gonna listen to a woman? Simp's gonna simp regardless if they have money. Yeah, Bezos is a simp now. Wait, yeah. One second, one second, one second. Oh, uh, yeah. Who said Bezos was a high value yes. man? Who said, Bezos right high value man? Who said that? Who said Bezos was a high value Def, man? Because you have you seen that? Really, woman? are you serious right wait, now? No, I, and wait, let's. Um, yes, I'm extremely serious. Now you're trying to be disingenuous. The characteristics of a high value man were broken down just because you got a. Bezos got a lot of money. What else and, can we say? And Elon Musk got nine goddamn babies. He a goddamn pale pookie. Stop playing with me. Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. So he's you, a pookie. Who, you who said that point. Money don't make you a high value man. Right. We're right. proving our point. Yes. Really? Yes. Money What's don't make you a high value man. Right. I guess you never watch Kevin What's Sanders at all. Huh? Well, you just stop money. talking about it then. It's a video that's on lane. It's a video that name. The, the, the six things that make you a high value What's man. What's a high yes, value right. man if you don't have no money? First of all, no. you got to respect from your peers. Yeah, you, that, you, you have don't. no money. You, you think you value? Oh, yeah, yeah. You got, you and you, you got and you got you got eleven kids in the spirit. pool. Your other really? billionaire peers looking at you like you a goofy. Jeff Bezos I also don't have respect from his peers. Really? No. I also think a lot of people are misinterpreting high value and high earning. Right, like, thank you, Fresh. High value and high. Thank earning. you, Fresh, because There's I'm gonna tell you, people that are high earning, but they're not high value. Right, right, no, right, right. No, we that's don't a, want that's to facts. Caveat. That's not what you said. What you said was X, Me. Y, and Z. You didn't say except for this, except for that. Jeff Bezos running around with a chick with her ass hanging out, titties out, and she got three kids. Russell Simmons married a three hundred four. Really? 
Look like ain't no good options out here, even for the richest guys, huh? We all screwed. So there you go. <laughs> I was, oh, get, hey. real quick, AP. Hey, I was trying to get in the point real quick. I was going to just try to go in really, a little you can't here. Be, It ain't going to be real quick. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let me say this. Go These ahead, people, uh, as as I was, wa- I was watching the Shannon Sharp nightcap uh, where they were, where he had Sweetie on and she, she, she mentioned that I never run across the guys that you think I run across. They only date the guys that are in that circle. They're not on date naps. They're not on. Uh, they're not. They're not really dating the man exactly in their inbox either. Right. They're dating the man they see in real life that they're around. Right. So, so uh, another aspect we got to consider is: the, Are they actually in running in the circles with them? Are they linked in? Okay, so are they linked in with these women that you we can we, we really consider them highly for? So, I'm I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, that that has been a concern that mm-hmm. what how how the results and how are they going to meet the people? Okay, that's all I want to leave there. <laughs> okay, so let me get these super chats real quick, AD. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to the mother loving Red Pill Ranger. Says women are more delusional because they don't even understand stats and percentages. The height and income most prefer alone proves it. Six six six. That part. That's not a high value man. The six 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 is not a high value man. I didn't say that. Got money. We didn't. We didn't say. We didn't say. Ain't nobody say that. Ain't nobody say that. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Ethan Queen. Shout out to Sal Bill. Says, how dare you compare their wives to ge- to generic three or fours? Compare whose wife? Who? Hey, I'm all confused now. Ain't no difference, I guess. That's, that's y'all. The blurry last. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. Says Crystal just made ish up. Most men beat <laughs> beat their women. <laughs> we go. We go. Hey. Sex dolls. You but know. dildos, roses, and vibrators sell by the millions. Yeah, stop that, Prues. Y'all know y'all be. Yeah, yeah, that whole doll thing. That's just like that's, that's like sign language. Yeah, to the max. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Says men pass away off the most. We risk it all for our families. Amen to that. That part. Appreciate appreciate yourself, Bill. Come through. He says lies. There are traditional women, even if you need a passport to see them. Don't trust either queen. She has no idea what traditional women mean or want. I don't know. I'm sticking on the fact that these women are certain age under 30 are traditional. I mean, are modern with traditional values. These are modern day women, period. At best. (laughs) Appreciate yourself, Bill. Says, uh, who is that? Russell Wilson. He picked the 304. Russell Wills, Russell Wills Smith is his life. See, <laughs> he's winning. He's he winning, winning as far as I can see. <laughs> <We're gonna> see <laughs> he never, and you know what's crazy? If I hope it don't happen, I swear to goodness. But if she do end up doing what we think she gonna do, <laughs> y'all, all the women gonna say, "Well, she moved on. She upgraded. He didn't do something. He probably was." Y'all, y'all gonna make excuses when yeah, you know, are, we saying, some, are we saying come out if the they get a divorce in fifteen years, the the marriage was success was was not success. Mm-hmm. What she got? No, because she gonna take half of his stuff. She success. she leave, she leaving with half, so no. Yeah, she no, no. no. But what do you consider a successful marriage? Damn. 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 Coming coming in coming in without an exit plan. Damn. That's the successful marriage. Who told do you part is a who successful told, marriage. Who told y'all she got an exit plan? Most of them do. <laughs> Have you not paid attention to the reason why men ain't trying to get married? Okay, so <laughs> now that you know that they got an exit plan, you guys hey, are not smart enough to circumvent that? I'm confused. He listen, there so should not be no be exit plan. I, I, Did I you totally really ask don't think that's the thing. That's the reason why these women are not valuing marriage. They're, they're already really- coming in with an exit plan. And not all really women, not all women come in with yes. they don't do as that. a married woman, as a as a as a as a widow, you know what makes a successful marriage. You be asking mm-hmm. these questions, heathen queen, and that's well, why you give you a hard time because you're so full marriage. of crap. Death to death do we part. Yes. If you part anything other than that, it that's wasn't successful. Uh, oh well, okay. So we're so any kind of divorce means all no, any divorce, everything that come down the pike. 
It don't Man, matter what he do, what hey, he say. We got to take it down the path, say. too. Are we not taking it. men's considered men's that? situations too? We're taking things coming down the pipe. Work. Don't make it look like it's only women are the I ones that's taking stuff coming down the pipe. Men are that. taking yeah. stuff from women too, and we still stick it in. That's why but we then, have the highest. Uh, do. Listen, that's why women progress the high at a higher rate than men. Women don't do that. take a whole lot of stuff, and they're the ones that's just jumping jumping ship. We're not jumping ship. Any divorce mean the marriage fails. Let's get that fail. Well, I hope it works out because she's pregnant for him again, man. So I hope I hope I it works did, out. I think she had that baby too. Wait a minute. Let's yeah, get thought, that let's go, there we go. Let's... Women don't just leave for no reason. There's several, <laughs> there's many reasons that women leave. Uh, are you women don't about leave that? you the minute something happens. If he didn't you serious about that, that? Yeah. along the way, wait, wait, you start no business on that one. Are you standing on business on that one? If that man don't just leave just out of the blue. If yeah. he didn't beat you or cheat, you have no reason to leave. Really? If he didn't Listen, beat you or the, cheat, the stuff okay, you okay. Here, no here's an example. Count. Here's an example. An example. You a motherfucking loser, and you don't have a job. <laughs> Dude, why you got you don't have a job? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't leave a nigga that you told. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, this he is what I'm up, saying. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Your husband said. Your wife says. You're a motherfucking loser, and you need to find a job. God, she says God. that in January. Oh, then she God. says it in June. Then she says it in December. Then she says it again. Did you, did you, you mean to tell me you you're going to continue to stand there and take that? No. This is your I'll example? The first time. <laughs> Women say that men it, say that to women. I mean, women say that to men, and they stop still it. say. What? What? Stop. What? 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 <laughs> movies were you watching? What they was doing all of this? What, no, no, I'm saying. I'm saying. Talking about? I'm saying women say that to men, and they still stay. My ticket cold. Yeah. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Birds of a feather, they flock together. This goddamn way. I'm saying uh, women don't just up and walk out of a marriage for no reason. That's all I'm saying. Again, I'm not it, saying nothing else but that. If it's there not, are reasons why a woman may listen, walk out the door. That's not you even that's not so things in your favor. That's the reason to be a balance. Really, there's a large percentage of women that have come got a lot of stuff in your favor. There, there's a large percentage of women that come on in and have confessed leaving a marriage due to lack, luster, physical intimacy. Do we count that as not a good is reason? That, is that the 80% you're talking about? It has to be a valid oh. reason. That's oh, all is it saying. 80% you're no, talking that, about? No, no, get the 80%. I, I, I said there's a large group of women that come on the internet. Okay. And then say there's this. Other, now, then there's those, other those women, they don't, I don't care. If those women, do, or do they leave for a good reason? I'm saying... Those are other reasons besides what you know on that saying. Hey, they're they're saying they're really leaving because of lackluster physical intimacy. They divorced. They they say he was good. I, he provided, but I met a guy at the gym. I that didn't he say. Better. I didn't Is say. Is that a good excuse? Didn't leave. I'm saying that I didn't say there weren't women who didn't leave. There's who a group. Leave There's for a group. Felt frivolous reasons. I, I there see. are women who leave for frivolous reasons, <laughs> but eighty percent of women. Do not up and leave for frivolous reasons. We never say all of them. Some women, That's some my whole point. Cheat. My whole point is that. But you're the only one that makes she left. You're the only one that makes all of them. You're the only one up didn't. here that make all of them. No, I'm not. No you one makes all of them. You ask any woman that got a divorce. As soon as somebody says something, you'll go to people. Half of them all say the same thing. The reason why they got They don't say. They don't say because they don't have lack intimacy. Half of them sound like they've been reading from a script the reason why they get divorced. They all sound the same. It's the same yeah. answer. Yes, we all not have the same answer. answer. Queen. We can't way, all have the same answer. If women were so awesome, then why same-sex lesbian marriages got a seventy-two percent divorce rate? Women just be out there quitting in general. For real, same-sex marriages don't just have a, quit. Let, let me that, that's that's yes, they do. Heterosexual they do. marriage have an eighty-two percent, eighty so eighty percent divorce rate. Same-sex with lesbian couples has seventy-two, and same-sex with men got the lowest. You know why? Because mm -hmm. men. Have a sense of duty, so same-sex men marriages have lower divorce rate than same-sex women marriages, and same-sex women's marriage is almost as high as heterosexual, which women initiate eighty percent. It's something called the clummy denominator mm. that women mm. don't like to understand and get. 
And that mm-hmm. common denominator in the high percentile of divorces is women. You got heterosexual nobody women. Nobody's arguing that point. You got you point that nobody's arguing. Common denominator. You're saying the point that we're not arguing about. Let me give these super chats. Let me give these super chats. Appreciate yourself, Bill. He says, any man who picks a 304 for a wife is a lame. Appreciate your rain. Says, look for a woman who isn't surrounded by a bunch of other women. That's the one you want to marry. That makes no difference. (laughs) (laughs) That makes no difference. He the the queen Jeff Bezos sips for a single mother. Uh, Money, 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 money. Appreciate your Q2, what it do? Says Jeff Bezos is divorced. Already has children to leave billions to. He can be with whoever he wants. Being with that lady is safer to protect his future. But that's not she what we're arguing. She ain't, gonna, she ain't gonna pop out with a kid. What? So real quick, let me uh play this video real quick. I, I see Q back in the building. We'll get y'all in. I want to play this for a second. These are the queens. These are... You know, this lady says we done settling for less. Know your worth, ladies. I know that's right. Is it just me or is y'all tired of fucking with broke niggas too? I want a man who can provide, who got their own shit, own car, own crib, own money, just like me. I'm not fucking with you if you is not on that level, period. I'm done being that female to hold a nigga down when he broke, help a nigga find a job, help a nigga on a place to stay, give nigga rides back and forth. I'm not doing that no more. You got the wrong bitch if you think I'm going to hold you down and do all of that. I didn't been there, done that. I'm only 21. I refuse. And don't get to text me what you're doing every five minutes. That's really going to get you blocked, for real. Because why did you ask me what I'm doing five minutes ago that I just told you I was doing five minutes ago? Niggas be wondering why they still sitting in my inbox. Because all you talk about on social media is sex and da 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 Like, that's all you have to offer me is sex. I don't want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Fuck your good mornings and good nights. Bitch, you can't do shit for me. What's going to happen if my car break down? You going to fix it? Or is you going to be like, oh, you need to take... Soon as you get to telling me I need to take my shit to the motherfucking car place and you can't be a man and learn how to no, I need a man who can fix cars, baby. The fuck. <laughs> so is this a wife? I don't know, heathen queen. What are we looking at here? I'm not even sure if that's a woman. Like, Absolutely not. Like to hear her answer that way. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. Absolutely not. I mm-hmm. think you should take mm-hmm. the hairband off the hair and come with it. I don't see. Ah, I don't see how, yeah, I, can anybody nice. dispute what can her can what she say be disputed? Like can you call your hat like this? Can, can as far as what? Can can you say what she said is can be disputed? Can it be Here's, disputed? So as far as what? As far as what point exactly? Her point. She said, "What do I? You need to have what I have." Why, why would that need to be disputed? <laughs> I'm trying to take care of that girl, you. 21 years old. What does she possibly have? What she got? She <laughs> said you, she is not, she is tired of dealing with men that she has to take care. Of. She mm-hmm. has to get your car. She has to take you places. Why or, can't you or, the same or as what she got? got. Listen, why, why is that? Joker day, Nate, she got to pay to play. And we've been saying it all night. Joker day, Nate. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. She don't you have to pay to play. She can find she somebody else that, that she will just do talked about it. Want. And where she find thing. that somebody else that's a qualified man, right? What does she, she find somebody else? She don't look like she offer much. This is a thing. One like only that 21. There ain't nothing she can offer but pussy. But she she having big demands. But she talking what? like she got more. Yeah, there you go. You just, hey, <laughs> young men, older men don't like care. They man. want young women. If you older and you want a young woman, you don't care what she can offer. She wants a certain she type of man. She's offering exactly what she need to. That's right. snatch. Women like that want a certain type of man. She probably could have got a guy that had all the stuff he wanted, mm. but that guy wasn't her type. Talk but about the guy, it. But the, guy, the, but the tall guy with the tattoos and the dress, whatever, he ain't got nothing, but he the one that made her coochie throb. So, yeah. she, made, so she, like you say, pay the play. You want this stud, you're going to finance this stud. You want some help, you better go get Five-fold, slightly pudgy Daryl with the 50K. Make your choice. Pick your poison. You can't win fist over fist every time. Pros and motherfucking cons. Women don't like pros and cons. She's saying that she's not going to pay to play anymore. 
every that's decision got pros and cons. For every woman that's with a loser ass that dude that do her wrong, she looked over about five, ten dudes that would have loved her dirty ass fucking draws. That's why sure. I never hear, mm -hmm. listen to none of they sad stories. Right. All right, real quick, real quick, I want to get AD in here. AD, what you think about that young lady? Is that the normal? Oh, oh yeah, that's that's the results I was talking about. That's due to the results of unguided, uh, unguided young women going out and and and, uh, and accumulating a high level of trauma that is going to follow them for the rest of life that they cannot apologize to themselves about because they they they. They've been told that the men are the issue at this point. They have no, they had no dealings or or uh, or play in this. But I want to say that also, don't we understand that there's more more statistics coming out that a women are being high, highly diagnosed with ADHD? Uh, this was in a report that I I saw on Apple News. Not, not no other news. Not no less than Apple News. So we, I, I believe that that got to be pretty accurate. Put on a Apple News, and then also I want to point out that it was already known that a lot of women were in at at, at a massive rate of of uh, what was it uh, in in counseling and on psychic medicines. So so at the results of of women not being given proper guidance we're seeing a epidemic of issues occurring because we have no structure or discipline for our women being held accountable to so uh, due to the man we are here crying out saying please do the right thing but the women still say i'm gonna do my own thing that's where the uh, the hyper in. Well, I don't, and you know, so I don't feel sorry for Beyonce. She she put this hyper independent woman mindset out here, and she also said, "They, I want a soldier. I want a thugged out soldier." Well, well, when you ask for that, that's what you get. We don't want to hear nothing about. Well, I need six figures. No, no, no. You need the hyper thug. That's what y'all said y'all wanted. You cried out for. Me. You're still moving, operate on it. So, so do whether you say or not that these that there's not a high rate of these women that so desire these men, but they still speak in the aesthetics of it. They say, I want this big, hyper, tall guy, I want him to be able to, I need a little hood in him. You know, you hear that occasionally. I want that, like the one young lady that had a man that could take care of her. We had re did a review on her, and she said, Hey. And I'm gonna land my plane here. I just I just wanted to say what I need to say, but she left a good husband that wanted to provide her protection, instability, and security. And and we said, oh, no, no one on there, everybody in those comments, I read them, and I stood there and I had to I had to witness and I had to res had to digest the fact that this young lady was getting support. The fact that she was unhappy, happiness is not even mentioned in the Bible. And this young lady says she uh, she subscribes to Christianity. Ain't nowhere in the Bible that you're supposed to find joy. You're supposed to be honorable. No yeah. honor in none of that she did. And it still is found that the black woman still cries out and still says, "I want this and that." And then there's other women just just right along with them. But women I don't, don't do that. Period. Don't do what. Women do not hold up stoically and stay somewhere when they're unhappy. It is just a fact. Well, Why that's, for, that that's for the women. That's for the women to hold women. them accountable to it, though. Women it, are not going to do that. That's they did it before. Do. They did it before. The no. women before this time, they did it. Yeah. They got lost. They didn't yeah. have resources yeah. to get away. Yeah. Now they got resources to get away. They got resources to get away to leave. now. No, they got let, excuses let me, to leave. They got I, excuses. And so they're, they're going to leave. So I'm they're telling you, leave. I'm telling you, they're not going to get around and, when and they don't want. Right about the ADHD part. A lot of women don't have that focus anymore. They don't have that focus on focusing on marriage, being a wife, being a woman. You know what I mean? They they not they trying to be liberated. They want to feel so independent that they don't want to do nothing else but just be liberated. And it's like a selfish point of view because it's not contributing to our society. It's, it's making our society worse. We endowed right now. It's not helping us out. You know? I so I don't trade. feel like 
like that that the reason that they, that you're you're trying to describe i don't think that's valid reasons man like i think i'm they not get, giving a lot of excuses out there i'm and telling you women are not going to sit there I'm, I'm telling you women are not going to be stoic and they're that's, not going to stay where they're not happy and that's period. the problem because life not about happiness it's i've been married, I've been married 20 years that. And right. I, I've been married 20 years, and my wife wasn't happy with me sometimes, and I wasn't happy with her. Michelle right. Obama said for 10 years she couldn't stand Barack ass. When a black mm. woman said they couldn't stand somebody, that means something. Like yeah. sometimes I, I would I always love my wife, and I know she always loved me, but mm -hmm. sometimes you might not like them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, real quick, so, so, like women they, gotta have juicy. Like when when happiness go away, y'all gotta learn how to stay. Most women are not going Listen. to stay. Y'all have no duty because y'all terrible Listen. people. You're Listen. trying Listen. to shame women, and it's not going to work. He's not going to stay around. Listen. Listen. What, what, Listen. What, Listen. what will work? What will work, heathen queen? What, what, yeah, what do we get? Women are not going to stay where they're unhappy. Period. So that's something you all are not going to have to accept. It just is what it is. That's not a real woman. I'm telling you, that's not a real woman. That's not a real woman. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Women are not going to stay because they're 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 they want to be stoic. They're going to stay. Let me get in real quick, y'all. I know we gotta get some guys in. I want to get Leon first, then we get Q in. I want to get Q in here as well, real quick, Leon. What you got? Okay. Uh, a real Leo and Red Pill. All of you guys are right. He's in court. I'm gonna show you what you're afraid of. Ooh. Hold on, Leon. I'm gonna show you what you're afraid of. I thought you're he was about to open that roll. That's what you're afraid of. <laughs> Woo! Can you see that? That's what you're afraid of. It's a book with numbers in it. That's what you're afraid of. And until you guys stop being afraid of numbers and books. Our society, because women have the power in our community. Women are 54 percent of the workforce. Women have taken the worst aspects of men and adopted it for themselves. The community rests on women becoming self-aware, and they're not. Until you change the a woman's God is money. And as long as your God is money, you get what money gives you. Okay. Are we saying are we saying that we blame all of the ills on women and men have no accountability? Is that what we're saying? I'm saying who, be clear. I, I'm saying that, what we dealing with I'm now. I'm saying that uh, who has the power? Who has the power? Women have the power. You saying women have the power, right? Oh yeah, you do. So if women have the power and the women don't want to change, how are you going to change it? Oh, we we've given up on trying to change it. We're just getting passports and going out and finding uh, women who are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative. I know familiar. all about the passport bro movement and that ain't what hey, you It ain't no passport bro. We just- Listen, so what you want them to do? You, you, want, you. you want them to take you a lead of this? Any way you want. But until you take that weave yes, off- Yes, Leo. Yes, surrender, Ninja. That's what this right. is all about. This is a terroristic <laughs> demand. We ain't changing. F you and they not changing and the women are not changing. You can say women need to change. You can say women need to change and they're not changing. Hey, look, we don't deal with terrorists. I'm saying they're not changing. Women, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Women do not when if there was one woman on this planet, and I'm going and this is why I say women are the prize. If it was one woman on the planet, you already got all one. you men, you would kill each other. Hold on. You would kill each other to get to that one woman. We women, if it was one man on the planet and all of us women, we just take a ride. Y'all would kill for that one woman that just true? to have her for yourself. That's not true. That's Listen, not true. That is <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Let me get. Hold on, hold on. Hit the queen. Hold on. 
Let me get Q in here. We need a voice of reason, Q. Yeah, please, please help us, Q. <laughs> oh, he the queen. Okay, so the young lady, uh, or first of all, Leon scared me. Leon, I'm glad you put out that algebra book because I was like, Leon's going, he's on one tonight. Man. But I would say this. So if we if we speak on that one lady, that one young lady, she she went in on about the men that she didn't want. And I always find that fascinating because when I've been out in the dating market, I never focus on the women I don't want. I just leave them alone. She wrote hard talking about the men she didn't want. So I have a question. I'm always a person who have questions. So are those the only men that she's attracted? Has she so she conditioned herself to only attract those type of men, and if they're and if they're and if so, why can't she control? Why can't she attract the other men, the better men? And if she has been attracting the better men, why not have the conversation about why those men aren't suitable for her? So she she has a she she left a lot of questions in the air. If those men that she doesn't want, okay, you don't want them, fine. Then don't talk about, don't give them any attention. But I have a theory, and it's just a theory, and I could be wrong. She wants those men that she's complaining about. She just wants them in a different package, and they're not willing to acquiesce to what she wants them to be. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Can I, can I just make a statement real quick? Go ahead, Fresh. Yeah, I think, I think, and I think I've seen this a lot as well. The, the men that women are attracted to, they usually, a lot of times, I think a lot of women think that attraction means that a guy is going to be a provider or a protector or all these things. Attraction does not, does not prove that. Character does that. Unfortunately for women, though, they're attracted to these guys on a primal level. But the good guy who is actually going to be the guy that will be around the kids, be in the child's life, take care of her emotion, all that, thing, they're not attracted to these guys. And so it's like they're in a conundrum. It's like... The guy that would really take me serious and love me and care for me, I'm not attracted to him. But then the guy who's just out there doing his thing that I'm attracted to, he won't really take You get what I'm saying? So it's like they're in this conundrum. And a lot of times I've realized that they move on their primal nature and they don't <laughs> use their brain and think, you know what, as, as much as I'm attracted to this guy on a primal level, this other person would be a more suitable, long-term, great partner for me. And I you think that's where... Think like that so why would we women think like that no 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 that's not true that, that's not true there's loads of there's a lot of guys who no, hold on hold on hold on hold on let me just say what i need to say and then you can rebut a lot of guys are attracted that we find like very beautiful women attractive but if we re if we realize a lot of these girls are not good a man who's find a woman that's an eight attractive but he'll date a six and marry a six who is a better woman than the woman that's an eight a lot of guys do that all the time so that what you're saying on that is not true. A lot of guys who find like a man will drop his attractive his, his standards on the attraction if the other qualities are in abundance. As, as um, I think Amen. that's what Leon said. If she's fit, she's feminine, she's cooperative, he will drop the looks. He will drop yes. his standard on looks if the other, like the fit, feminine, cooperative, if she comes with that. No. So, yes. yes. I don't believe that. I don't believe you. You, yes. he's the queen. So you're attracted. You, 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 you're, you're, you're gonna look over the woman. Yes. Who, you're gonna look over the woman that makes you wood hard compared to this woman yes. over here. Yes. She's a good, no. she's a good deal, but she don't make it wood hard. Well, no, he didn't say that. No, yeah, yeah, that's that. not. I didn't, I didn't say, say that. that. I didn't say that. I said if the woman's an eight, and he dropped to us. Now I'm not saying if the woman's an eight, and then I'm gonna marry a, like a woman that's a, a one. No, obviously I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that there's a comparable level. Like, if she's an eight, okay, I might do a six or I might do a five. And I'm not saying that, yo, seven and then two. I'm not saying that bigger drop, but I'm saying, like, a comparable that's drop. Like that's not eight, how six. He, you don't have to believe it for it to be real. A no, man, a man will work. take a, a six. You're attracted to who you're attracted to. A man will take a six. No, because no, we don't like headaches. A man will take a six that's not a headache over an eight that's a headache any day. Really? I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna fuss with you. I'm not gonna deal with you. We'll take a six. So that's not why a would you? Why would you want us to do that? That same thing. We don't do that. We don't do that. We, we don't care. Yeah, we, do. do that. we don't care though. That's it. We, we're attracted to who we're attracted to. Man, that's don't, right. 
That's why y'all so angry. We don't care no more. Yes, we, we don't out. care no more either. That's what I'm trying yeah, to do. No, that's, that's, that's not true. You that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. So we oh, don't we care. care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Joe, Joker, hold on, hold on, hold on, family. Listen, Heathen, that is not true. You know why that's not true? Because you got a Kendra G show. That's why that's not true. Y'all always want a man. Y'all we, ain't, we ain't looking for women like yo. It's not we're no, not rushing to Kendra G show for men for, for women. You know that, right? We want that's a man, but we ain't paying for no y'all, man. We are considered the prize, right, y'all? Yeah, yes, y'all are the ones on the yes, show. Yes, y'all have y'all shows. You, Kendra G is a prime example. She's a number one example. Hold on. Why do you think women ain't changed? Why do you think they ain't changed? Why they ain't just did a total one eighty and changed? Why do you think they ain't did that? Why do you think they keep doing what they're doing? They keep doing they don't want fun, they they keep they don't want they, to. They keep doing what they doing because they got that liberation attitude. They got they that sisterhood that's going on. No, and no, no, they're not encouraging each other's demise. That's why y'all keep doing it. It's change. nice. It's nice. To, it's nice to be. Let me tell you something. It's nice to be fake to each other. When y'all fake with each other, y'all could do that all day long, they're all day long. When y'all start talking to each other for real, for real. Then you then you're gonna see women gonna be wanting men because they're gonna get a reality check. The results that they want, they don't need to change. He All right, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let me get my guy Joker Nate. I know he's been trying to get in. What you got, brother? Uh, <laughs> Where do I start? Um, ladies, we ain't we we not gonna bend the knee. We not we not gonna bend the knee. Winter is here. Winter is coming. We are not gonna bend the knee. Tell him, Joker. And, Oh, we, we it, y'all gonna get in line? You gonna straighten up or get straightened out? And you know, just y'all gotta follow. Uh-huh. Y'all gotta y'all, y'all is gone. We not gonna bend the knee. Tell me what result. Tell me what result that we are missing. That we, would, that we would be missing if we didn't straight. If we straightened up. If we straightened up, what's the result that we would get? Hold on, let Joker go. Let Joker go. Let him 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 go. What would we get? Everything. You say marriage? Listen, right? but here's the thing with the marriage and stuff. I believe that there are husbands, there are nug nugs, there are players, there are pimps. Everybody got to be in their lane. Everybody, everybody can't be a husband. Every woman can't be a wife. These women be on Kendra G and Kendra G asking them, oh, you. Do you want to be a wife? Would you be like, no, every woman can't be a wife and every man can't be a husband. That's so true. people have to know they lame. You either you you may be you may be a baby mama, you may be uh you know a stripper, you may be you know three or four, but you're not a wife. These women don't they won't stay in their lane, they don't want to stay in their lane, they want to be all over the street, all over the freeway, lane to lane, switching lanes. No. Everybody got to be in their lane. And I believe with the marriage thing, everybody don't need to be married. Like, everybody need to be who, who they are. A lot of people aren't true to self. So and a lot, of people, a lot of people be trying to BS themselves and be like, oh, I'm this or I'm that or I deserve this. Like, no, you is what you is. Well, you, you may be my mama. argument for me. Baby mama, you a 304, you a heathen queen. You are what you <laughs> are. Like and, and that that's the facts. Like either Queen, you was married, you had kids, that's cool. But you gotta understand you need to start teaching what you have been through and understand it's it's, it's over for you. It's over for you. It's time to tap out, give get throw in the throw in the towel, throw in the towel, Rocky, you know, throw in the damn towel and just give it up and understand or pay to play. But a man aren't bending the knee. We 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 are not. Oh, so marriage is the goal. The no, so marriage, marriage is the goal. Not for everybody. Not for everybody. Okay. Not for everybody. Okay. For the bulk of women, marriage is a. So you all are threatening not to bend the knee, and that threat means you're not marrying the women. A That's threat? the threat, oh, right? No. Threat, not the, a threat no. to be threat. a man. We threaten huh? you to no. be men. What? what? No, we're not not marriage. Get marriage out of you. Saying it. you're saying get in line, line, get in line. Why? Why? Hey, you, they need to I can tell you why. why. I can tell you why. I tell you why. I tell you why. So you want to know? You said if we get in line, what what will come about getting in line? 
If you get in line and do what you're supposed to do, you know what's going to happen? You will see what type of man you qualify for. Now, hold up. Now, fellas in the chat and the fellas on the panel, just hear me out. I know I'm going to come off of being lame. If you, if you, if you stay celibate and you say, I'm going to be celibate till I marry, get married, you will, you will quickly find out the men that you qualify for. You will find out immediately. But you don't want to do that because you're going to lose attention for the men that you want. So you, what you do is you try to give him what you think he wants to stay in his presence. But if you really wanted to know what you qualify for and what you can get out of this life as it pertains to the opposite sex, stop having it and, and require marriage first. And you will find out immediately. But that comes with some that comes with a lot of stuff to swallow at that point because you're going to be upset because it's not going to most of the people is not going to be the one that they want. I, I'm just if you, if you want to know. That's well put, brother. Women women don't require marriage. What if I say that? Also, can I, what if I, can I say something real quick? But, but still, uh, if you want a relationship, well, if you don't want marriage, then, what, then what's the conversation we're having? My whole point you, is, my, my, so, my so, point is so, so if you want to continue, to, but here's the problem, though. You can't say they don't want something and then get online and complain about it. I'm not going to be on Kendra G's show begging for her. Why you guys keep doing they that? I'm just saying you. They, you're not they talking about you. They know they're not going to get that. Okay, but why you guys keep on saying when we say something, you say, "Well, I don't do that." I'm we're speaking in the general. If well, generally speaking, what we see online, they're going on these dating shows asking that they want husbands. Then and and if they want to know what type of husband they qualify for, then be a wife to those type of husbands by saying, "Hey, I will be your wife, but and I will give you everything you want, but you got to marry me first. Wait a minute, and hold then on. You see what type Nobody of husband you qualify. Question. For. Nobody answered the question. Why? Why do women, if they want a husband, like you say, they want all of that you say? Why? Why haven't they started to change? No. Can, can I answer why, that question? Why haven't the women started to change? Because y'all stupid. Because y'all. Y'all rebellion and you got to do How can you why, change? Why haven't they changed? Why? I, I'll but tell you why. I'll tell people. you why. How can you change to something that you don't know? They don't know what to no, change no, no, into. No, 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 you can, you can change and be, become fit. You can change and become more feminine. You can change and become more friendly. But you can do that. Know. What he's saying is they you can don't do that. know. They don't know the that's process. The, that's the beginning. How, well, you how, can change, how can but you, they don't know the how, process is what he's saying. So now how, they don't know how to do that. So how, how, can how, can you, do that. how can you say that's they want to be fit? Is. How can you say they want to be fit in the light of this body positivity movement when when women on their side saying that you're fine? Both women their size and women smaller telling them that they look good in mass. I didn't say So why do they think they need to change? What I'm saying is that how do, they don't know how to change because they don't think they need to change. Right. Can I answer the question? Okay, so they're not going to change because they don't know that they need to change. This well, is the thing. He well, between, this, the, this is the thing she needs to understand. Women, y'all don't have any leverage because it's way easier to get sex for men than for women. Let me finish. Can I please finish my? It's way easier for men to get sex than it is for y'all to get a decent relationship. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't have any leverage. All men need is some, most men, all they need is a companionship, somebody to hang with sometime, somebody to knock off. Due to the sexual liberation and all these three old foes out there, it's way easier to, for a man to get primarily, not all, primarily what we want from women than it is for y'all to even get a relationship nor a good one. Really? Right. And that's right. just a fact. When you got simps and traitors amongst your your ranks, it's way you, more hoes than simps. The, the yeah, ultimate yeah, goal right. of a relationship is to be married. That's the ultimate goal. I had women, women tell me you, they it's better to be, be married. My, women in be my number two to be with their boyfriend. Women have not been married in the past. Women are born yeah. and the they have been living and like, to be no. independent, so they don't concern themselves about that. Saying, they, they want <laughs> that. But they're not going to die. I'm going to get pressure. Let me get these super chats real quick. Yeah, I just wanted to say to to Heathen's Queen question. Right. Real quick. Hold on. Hold on. One sec, brother. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go on. Appreciate your project, Leroy. He says, not all women, Heathen Queen. I don't understand. But all, but 
all you men. He's saying that's what you you'll say not all women, but then you'll say I didn't all say that. Men. I didn't say that. <laughs> he said all the time. You say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we know we know that's not a we know that, that I don't mean all. Just like you don't mean all women at three or four that y'all say. Well, well, it's been things, no, though, so we don't say all. all. Here's the thing. Everybody you, say all. Yeah, we we are. That's we don't, I didn't say all. You did. Not. You do. You do. <laughs> they, 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 I said all you men. I said hey, all you men. Like, the one that are all on the planet on the better couple of panels. Not all men. All okay. In the world. I get it. Oh, you, you don't. You didn't say all men. You said all. I don't you mean got, all got men it. over the planet. I'm right. saying men in general. Copy. Copy. <laughs> Shit. copy. All right. All right so who's the man who okay. says they expect? <laughs> Shoot. They expect. I call cap on that. Everything and give nothing. Shut oh, I love the brain <laughs> wrestle. I do, but God, leave. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. <laughs> uh, Sal Bill come through. Say women are the prize, but she's single. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sal Bill come back through. Says he's the queen. Do you have a cat? Angry cat sound, please. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to G Honda. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother G Honda. We mess with you, man. Says Joker, bro. I need a feature on the next album. Well, G Honda, you can't rap for me. <laughs> the Sal Bill says Joker's bandana came with that hair. <laughs> hey, they, hey, they, hey, they on the Nobody's the safe up here. Hey, the ones with the sack. I got three different hair dudes. Y'all rude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to G Honda come back through. Says Joker, they say I sound like Brian McNa- Man, All right. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. So when we at fresh, we'll get you in here, brother. What you got? We're gonna start getting final thoughts here in a second. Yeah, I just wanted to say to Heathen's Queen question. I think when women will really change is when we actually give them what they want, which is equality, mm-hmm. and we take away the protection that we've actually been giving them i.e. we take away like the benefits when they have children and houses and all these benefits that they get just because they're women if you take away affirmative action where they have to actually compete with men they're gonna when we do those things then they're actually gonna see that now nah, the men are actually advocating for us we actually need these things and i think when we do that that's when they're going to come to the realization that oh you know what men are actually important but until then because we do all these things for them, a lot of times they don't have the gratitude that they need, and that's why I think they behave the way they behave. Yeah, you gotta you gotta understand the animals that you're dealing with. You're not <laughs> you're not dealing with you're not dealing with uh, people that are going to be rational. When Kevin Samuels came out and said, "You're not as good as you think you are," a lot of women a lot of women backed up off men because of that. Okay. Now you have to bring them to the table, and when was you that continue true? to was say, that true? "What? Was yeah, it, was that true? of course." Okay. It what? Okay. They backed away. Okay. They backed away. Why do you think it was a lot of people wishing he was wishing he had he, he was not here? Wishing uh, boycotting yeah, his I show. Re- I really to get his show. watch a lot of Tyler Perry movies, man. I really it was a lot of women who did not <laughs> like. It. Wait a minute, y'all think? Yeah, because you're Kevin you're Samuels done, told the know, truth and they didn't like it. Kevin Samuels you told the truth really and they did not like both it. Both the women liked Kevin Samuels, really? I'm I'm telling you no. they didn't. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, of course we okay. watched the show. So I'm they saying when he came out and said what he said, when he came out and did what he did, when he came out every show and he bashed women. He didn't bash oh, women. Oh, he didn't, no, no, no. He didn't bash women. I'm telling you, that's the way women think. He did not bash women. It don't matter how y'all take it. I'm telling you, dude, you what women think. What I heard women say. The hey, he's the queen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's the queen. You are wild. I heard the all word. I heard the all word. You all word right now. I heard the all word. What do you mean? What, this is what I Yo, heard women please. say. He women say they, right they were the queen. they he were said, offended he, by what he said. They were okay. offended. They were okay. he bashed women. No, he did not. Story. I yeah. never, I never heard yeah. Kevin Samuels. Okay, so <laughs> that's not true. Our point exactly. I don't know why you're like, spreading those rumors. That's bad Dude, news. I came, I came on, I came on the internet after he. 
uh, passed away. So look, the so I didn't you know guys what he was saying until that, after you he passed. So, so you just sat here, you just sat here, and made allegations, and exactly. said I never watched him before. I didn't. Is this it. camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. No, no, I'm Thank not saying. Guys. I'm not saying Thank that I saw him and and he was bashing. I'm saying women have said that they yeah. listened to him and it that, was. That's not what you them. said. See, that's, what I that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what you women mean. told me that they got the best. I said I listened to a couple yeah. things that he said, and I took away after he after he passed. I listened to one or two of his shows, and I remember him saying. You have to be what that man wants, so you have to change yourself into what that man wants. I, gotta go I remember saying change. that, but I, I never saw all of his it. shows or anything like that. Uh, I'm saying that. women said they were I'm ready. I'm ready. A lot of women, a lot of women misinterpreted this, what Kevin Samuels was saying. But why would they? Why would they? Why would they yeah, like what he said? You, you, listen, here's the thing. Why? Because he was he was putting the mirror in their face. He's giving them Kevin reality Samuels checks. Samuels was the first person I ever seen to come up on the internet with right. about 20,000 people watching. Right. And he was the first man I ever saw to side with hurt women. He talked about women and a mother hurt. And it was, that was one of the most profound episodes. And them sisters was crying. It's like, you right, Kev? I'm afraid to talk to my mama. Kev was one of the only guys standing in the gap trying to bring this together. He was Facts. trying. He was trying to keep families together. He wasn't bashing women. He was promoting marriage. He yeah, was. Promoting he was one of the only people promoting marriage. That's true. So that's why, 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 why has the, the the relationships between men and women gotten worse? Because y'all don't listen. Know. Because, because women balance. don't want to listen, which is what I said. <laughs> You ain't listening. You ain't listening. I don't need to listen. I was married for 30 years. I already know the program. No, you don't. So, so, so <laughs> now you need to go and well. start preaching a good word. Watch some Kevin Samuels and then go back and start hitting them up, man. Well, 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 hold up. I got a question. Man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You said women don't want to listen. I was driving in the car and I could have swore I heard you say that men are the problem. If women no, don't want to listen, then how are men the problem? I said men right. and women are the problem. No, 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 no. You did not say that you earlier. No Crystal came in. I, I Crystal, always say men and women are the problem. No, no, no. But remember, Crystal came in and said, who's the bigger problem? You said men are the bigger problem. And then Crystal said, no, women are yeah, the bigger men problem. are the bigger problem because they want women to change and women are not going to change. How are you the problem because y'all are hard-headed? <laughs> How is that making sense? How are you the problem and y'all are hard-headed? It's making perfect sense. This is bow down, ninja. Bow down. Oh, so, bow down. That's you the problem to the women. That's the biggest problem yet. Bow down. We, we need to bow down. We need to I'm not saying that women don't have problems. I'm saying that's... You all's but, but, but if we bow down first, they'll change, right? That's what we need to do. We so, need to so here's my no, women, 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 I think we, we what do you I, mean, think though? This, I think this generation is uh for the birds. That's it what I think. Okay. Okay. Who's teaching the next generation? Who's teaching I'm the next generation? We, we, need to grab, we need to grab a hold of that generation that's coming up. I think this generation has went down the tubes. You need to stay away from this generation coming up. <laughs> Please. I, I, I think healing queen just means we should just accept anything. Anything women do, we should just accept it. I, I would love, I would love to help girls uh, uh, starting at the age of fifteen. No, please don't. 14 and 15. No, don't. Don't go near no children. Stay as far away from kids as you possibly can. My friends is a no no. <laughs> so here we go. Look, we're gonna start getting final thoughts. I want to get my guy Leon in. Leon. You know what? What back in uh, biblical times were the women? <laughs> were there like three hundred fours? Were the women three hundred fours back in the day, or what? Yeah, Word. but the Bible told us how to deal with them. What we got? What we supposed to do? Stay away from them. Mary Magdalene. The Bible, the Bible plant the wisest man in the world outside of Christ himself, Solomon, said that a fool goes into and he goes at night, right? He don't go in the daytime. He go in at night to this 304. 
And the Bible says this man is without understanding. It says that this man would not learn nothing until an arrow is shot into his liver. So what we have to do, the Bible plainly tells us to run. Hold away. on, Leon. You, I, I'm lost. And you're going to say the Bible plainly tells us. You got to translate better than that. You talking about somebody getting shot in their liver with yeah. arrow? We gotta work. Come on, man. Okay, okay. Look, let, let me let me put it in later time. Simply put, the Bible tells us to run away from these women. That's it. To run away from these women. Don't be going out here into the club thinking you're gonna find a wife. You know, they even put out a song. I never heard it talking about I'm in love with the stripper. You know, they never a, heard that song. You never huh? heard that song. Yeah. No, no, I just know. I've never heard a Jay Z or Beyonce song, but I know about it. You know, but what, what I'm trying to say, even Jay Z said, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one of them. So in he other did. words, stay away from them. You know? Yeah, but are you they going to take your advice? Are the men going to take your advice? Oh, We're yeah. Down there. You want to know who the judge of men is? We wouldn't the have only fans men is life. We have an only fans yeah. page. There's, there's a person in the chat. Thing going on. There's a man hey, in the chat. Somebody said that he, he as a stepfather, raised this woman's children, and then she left him. Life is our judge. See, you guys go on through thinking that you can exist on pretty privilege and on your sexual organs and everything. You don't realize you don't spin up your wealth. But, you know, when you hit that wall and you sitting there crying in the corner late at night, it, it, then you'll realize. But, you know, but life is a man's judge. If I know I, I don't eat unless I work. So, you know, that's all we can do is stay away from you guys. Don't be trying to go out. Look, I'm a teacher. I'm fat, black, and old. And I got 15-year-olds that hit on me. Stay away from them. <laughs> Oh, These women, no, they start early. They start early. It's a road, bro. It's yes. just fly. <laughs> you know, so the thing <laughs> is, is this. Okay. okay. If you're going to be a teacher, right. you got to first be taught. And he's in queen, somebody didn't teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she dying back there. <laughs> hey, how you gonna how you gonna insult me? You don't know anything about me. So that's just the fact. I mean, I, I'm kind of curious. How, how, how long you been married? What? How long you been married? Oh, I've never been married. Oh, okay, I was married for thirty years. So don't tell me what I don't know. Yeah, but don't you tell me I don't know nothing about me and a white boy or anything father. else. I know plenty you about marriage. You found a man to come in four girls, and raise four daughters kids. that I raised. And none yeah. of them had kids before the age of 25. Thank you. I know how to raise women. Thank you very much. <laughs> are, are, are they married? My, my two of my daughters are married. Two of my daughters are, don't have children, and they're in their 30s. Okay, that's four. What about the other two? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I had four girls. Okay, all right. Okay. Job, what good. I'm trying to that's say your heart. is... So, let me ask you something, heathen queen. Mm -hmm. Are you going to teach your daughters to put on a wig? <laughs> they are very proud of them. They know how to do that. <laughs> do you know what a woman's glory is? Her hair. So if a woman puts another woman's hair on top of her head, where is her glory? Hmm. Ooh. I, I was supposed to answer that. I don't. I don't get it. Cover the fuck up. Cover it up. I'm confused. I'm. I'm confused. She gloryless. She got no glory. So you. You ain't got the. the Wait a minute, what is the obsession with weaving hair? I'm confused. It's stained. 
Ain't no obsession. Ain't no story. It's not even a story if she don't have no hair. Said that it's a woman has her, her glory. God, man, didn't say that. God said a woman's hair is her glory. See, this is why. I, I don't think you're going to win. I don't think you're going to win this fight, Leon. But no, I do I'm find it kind of. I do. I'm trying to get fight. her to stay away from kids <laughs> in the school and and trying to teach them. I ain't trying because, to get. I ain't trying to go to you. You just said what? that you would like to teach. What? 15 year old girl. Oh, oh, how can you teach oh, You ain't been taught. I've been, I've, been a, I've been a counselor in a jail and shelters for 20 some <coughs> odd years. I know how to talk to women. I know how to talk to men. I know how to talk to all different facts of what <coughs> walk of life. You say you know how to talk to men? Yeah. But I used to work in a, pri a, pri in a jail. So I talked to a lot of men who went to prison. Well, well, answer me this question then. How can, how can you guys last, how can you guys last week jump on us? Well, not us, but the, some of the guys in the panel who tried to come at uh, uh, scam likely for not not ever being married or having kids, and say, you, and the guy said, "You can't say anything. You you never been married or had kids." And then you just told Leon today, "You never been married." I know what I'm talking about. So how, how can you guys jump back and forth on stuff like that? No, I said that to him because <laughs> he didn't know that I had been married. Or not you. That's why I said I didn't. I wouldn't try to stand him. That's not what you said. You asked him because he ever been married. You asked him. Why would you ask him a question if he haven't been married? If the information that he has is right or wrong, what does marriage have to do with it? No, I wasn't challenging that. I was challenging him telling me that I didn't have. You asked him if he was married. That's what I'm telling you. I said that to him what I said to him because he made it seem or he was implying that I had no knowledge of what I was speaking regarding marriage and raising children. And I corrected him. That is it. By asking him if he's been married? That's how you correct him? I was asking him what his life is. Prove your situation. No, that doesn't prove the situation. Well, I don't want to grab a hold. I, I just thought it was interesting. I, I, I remember stuff. Just and I don't remember, remember I don't remember <laughs> shaming anybody to, because they weren't married. Uh, last week, I don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what to y'all boss? <laughs> Yo, oh, is, is this thing on? Thing. Is this thing on? I watched my. You weren't referring to me last week. You were just saying you were just mentioning that, right? I, I just know what I heard last week. <laughs> hey, look. Do you know why it's a good thing for a woman to marry a man? Ouch. Oh, yeah, you gonna run this plane? The, the reason knows, why it's knows. a good thing for a woman to marry a man is because God Himself said your desire will be towards your husband. Mm -hmm. you, you were created as a helpmate, and if you're or not a helpmate to a man, you are out of order. The Bible plainly says that if a woman wants to know something about the word of God, she is supposed to ask her husband at home. All right. They, they ain't trying to hear that. F you. They man, ain't man. They ain't trying to hear that. They trying to, she said they ain't gonna change. That was news for me. This was amazing. He the queen said this. I'm oh, just saying that you I have you seen it. have you seen the rush of women trying to change themselves? I'm right with you. I don't them. disagree. Have you I don't seen disagree. the rush of women trying to change from what they're doing? I mean, they 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 as as men, we're gonna do what you women don't do. We're gonna listen. So you said y'all ain't gonna change. We're gonna take heed to what y'all. We're not gonna disregard yeah. what you say, Heathen Queen. We value what you say. And we're gonna show you. So you said I'm just telling you, you just showing no, you. And we right? heard, we heard you, and we agree. Say, okay, y'all. Somebody show change. me. Somebody show me some evidence that the women are changing. No and, need to and doing doing all that. There's no need uh, to right, look, because look, you, look, you, look, you, look, you look, right? women that I don't know about that are doing that are changing. Yeah, they're gonna uh, change every day. day. Look, 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 a lot of women are changing. A lot of women gonna change because guess what, Ethan Queen, the jig is up. All right. For far too long, we've been sitting here on the sideline dealing with the BS and seeing all these rights get pushed in the favor of women. When we know for a fact, it's just making them worse. 
So the jig is up. It's over. It, yeah. It's either you do that or you're gonna have to go ahead and purchase yourself a dog or a nice cat. But you know, just relax. Know, know. Just but sit back and watch. And then late at night, when you got that pillow next to you, you cry on it, and you know you take them cold showers. Yeah. It's yeah. over. Now, you you, know, you so just the jig is up. It is really up for real. You know you got traders in your midst. Them traders ain't satisfied. I don't care about the traders in my midst. They're gonna always be in my. You got listen. Both sides got traders in their midst, right? Right. But that doesn't that doesn't Y'all take away more. from the situation. Okay, the situation is a real situation at hand that's affecting our community, right? Damn. So I look, I put it to you this way. We were talking about Kevin Samuels earlier, right? When in the beginning, with me and my wife, we've been married for 22 years, going on 23 in like two months, right? And I'm gonna tell you the stuff that my wife has been through and what she's seen, especially with the women in her family, is crazy. It was a it was a hard, long path. And I needed some way to be able to communicate to her, but I didn't know how to because my, I didn't have a father raise me. You know what I mean? So knowing how to be a man, I just knew how to take care of my family, and that's it. I didn't know how to actually function as a functioning husband and stand on business and mean what I say as a man and take control of my marriage. I didn't know that till later on in my stages. You know who helped me with that situation? A guy on YouTube called Kevin Samuels. And how is because he helped me be able to know how to communicate and understand what's going on with the situation we got called a gender war. <laughs> you understand? I know I froze up on the picture, but it'll come back. But like I was saying, it that's who helped me and guide me the way I am thinking now. And guess what happened? Just like what you said earlier, my wife saw the infamous video that Kevin Samuels did that, sh- that shocked the whole wave and blew up the internet. And guess what? She didn't fall for the clip bait. You know why? Because finally she was able to hear and see. She sat down one day and watched him for like a good two or three hours. I guarantee yeah. you, like two videos right, in, man. she was already starting to see where she was going wrong. And that helped me because now I had kind of like a mentor in a way, and I didn't even know the dude, but it was kind of like he was giving me the greatest advice that I needed to know how to communicate to my wife to get her on the right path. Because before that, we was getting ready to like... Because that modern shit, I was not dealing with it no more. The more I started learning, the more I started realizing who the hell I was. So I had to stand up like a man and stand on business and lay it in like, yo, it's either we're going to go this way or we ain't going to be no more. And most women, if they want, if they don't want to die alone or get a dog and all that shit, they're going to fucking take the knee. Trust me. I know they are. So, yeah. So like I said, we're going to go around and get final thoughts. We're going to bring the minister in. He got one word for Heathen Queen tonight. He heard you, Heathen. have nothing and you won't have a man because a man can't be a man when he's saddled down up to his neck in debt with a dissatisfied woman who don't give a damn. She want more and more and more. Let me tell you something, woman. You don't want no man like me. You couldn't live with a man like me. Because I would not take that damn foolishness from one of you for one minute I'd drive you through the door. I don't like no woman to dominate no man. And I don't like no woman who even tries. Send me that, Gav. Like that. Send me that, please. Like that. They don't want to listen to that, though. Like that. And, that's, and, that's a man, and that's a man that acknowledges the amazingness of the woman. Oh, uh, see what I'm saying? But he's st- still mad enough to let y'all know about that snake pit of a mouth y'all ten and a half. I mean, yeah. that, uh, but y'all won't listen. I'm sorry. The minister just speaking. Y- y'all ain't listening. So here we go. I don't have hope that that's gonna. Uh, I don't have yeah. hope that that's gonna be yeah. something in mass that changes. So, okay. Okay. It might change. It might change. Who know? But I'm saying in mass, probably not. Right. Who cares? So what you got, brother? Fresh. What you got, brother? Yeah, I, I think thoughts. definitely today was a great conversation. Uh, I want to say thanks for you guys having me up on the panel. I mean, my final thoughts on it. I just think that we need to try and get some common ground because clearly it's just it feels like it's just a cesspool. Like we're just boiling heads and we're not able to like come to some understanding. But I do think though that we still need to push the message as men because. I do believe that there are some women out there that are listening and they will change. Maybe it might not be uh, the majority, but a large minority will listen because, as I said, when when men stop talking about these things, that's when women really need to be afraid because that means, as men, we don't care anymore. So 
I think women should actually realize that we are talking about these issues because we actually care about them and we actually want to see them actually win. And I, I think a lot of times, but when they see us talking about these things, they think it's hate, but criticism is not hate. Criticism is to help you get better. You get what I'm saying? So I just hope we can continue having these discussions because I would definitely feel afraid when, as men, we stop having these discussions because I know as a man, once we stop having these discussions, that means we're clocked out, we're not interested in it anymore, and we've given up on them. And I don't believe that will that will be good for the women anyway. There you go. Okay. Okay, so what you got, Q? Final thoughts, brother. Uh, I find it uh, somewhat troubling if... Um, if what, if what a heathen queen said is true about the mass of women not willing to change, that's going to be a problem. That's, that's going to be a problem. Um, because So we know that there are good women out there. First of all, I want to say that we know that there are good women out there. Uh, we have some good ones in the chat. Uh, we have some good ones that we come across in life. But if we're speaking in mass, it's going to be a problem if they if, if that's true. Because we only, we, we're hearing this information from Heathen Queen, who's a quote unquote liaison. She's trying to bring with the, how the woman feel over to this space so that we can debate some of the issues that from their side. But if that, that being the case, let me tell you what I fear. I fear, I fear that once um, mandatory DNA kicks in, it's gonna put us in a position to where men are going to check out even faster than some are checking out right now because they're gonna lose hope, they're gonna lose hope. So if we have this first part when she's saying that if it's true that women in mass don't wanna change, and then we're gonna find out that they're doing stuff that we, that most men are not gonna not going to accept. And then that's gonna place men in the position where they're gonna start thinking, wait a minute, why am I via taxes supporting women who don't want me? And if, and if that's more, and if there's a lot of men in that space, we're done as a country. You guys know that, right? Amen. And, um, and, unfortunate, and the unfortunate part of this is that the good women are, are going to suffer. The good women without husbands are going to suffer this. Man. And, so, and, and, and I'm, hope, I'm hopefully my fear is unfounded. But, man, when I hear what's going across these YouTube streets, I, I just I – just, I have a bleak look for the future. And Crystal says, well, how can you be that that negative being a Christian? Uh, I've read the scriptures. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. And so, and um, and it just, I just, I hope I'm wrong. But just follow the logic, Queen and Queen, if you're going to take this back over to your side, since you're the liaison. If men don't see a, a good end to this, then it's over. Now it may take, and now I'm not saying it's going to be tomorrow. It may take 20, 30, 40 years. But if men are not seeing a a reasonable outcome in this uh, gender war, they're going to check out, and then they're going to start doing pushback with money, and they're going to start push pushing back with legislation. Say, wait a minute, equality means equality. So we're going to do this the equal way. If I'm if I can make a hundred pizza an hour and she makes eighty pizza an hour, why are we getting paid the same? Hopefully you follow that logic. I know it was it was a crude analogy, but oh, we're, hey, we're, yeah. in for it. we're in for it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just reporting. I'm just reporting what I hear on the women's side. I mean, I was on a panel earlier today, and I was like, "Wow, that there." Yeah, we we, we bust we we bust your chops. Um, we we, we no understand way. we understand that you that you're trying to um, have your girls have your ladies back, if you will. But um, and and we, and we we joke and we mess around with you. I mean, just hopefully you know. I don't think any man on here hates you. I would love. I would love for every person to have what I had. You understand what I'm saying? I would love for every person that wants to find somebody to cherish and love and walk down the aisle. Every person that wants that, and to be married for that long block of time, to to turn them corners, to do that with a one human being. I mean, it's a gift. It's a gift that God gave me that I went 30 corners with this person, right? 
I want every person to have that. But some of us are not going to have it. And, and a lot of people are rebelling against trying to have that. And I'm just reporting when I hear women say, we don't want to change. Or they're not saying that directly. Their actions are saying they don't want to change. I'm not saying that I heard a woman come up to me and say, I'm not going to change. No, from your actions, I noticed that you're not trying to change. You're Do you agree? Do you way. agree with them? Are you agreeing with the women? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't have a. I don't have a, an opinion one way or the other. I want marriages and families to work. That's what okay. I want. Well, that's your opinion. You, you, you say you have opinion. Hold on, you, you, you kind of co-opted right my final thought. Hold on. You kind of co-opted my final thought, but I get what you're saying. So. I just want you guys, I just want people to start asking them, say, themselves questions. Forget forget about what you think other people think. Start asking yourself questions. If Is what I'm doing working for me? And if it's not, please go to somebody who knows better. Or, or, or even if even if it's not in the same race, right. even if even if it's a, a different gender. Since this is a man's space, we're telling you what we yeah, let me take let me show you something right quick and I'm gonna land this plane. One of my daughters asked me, it's like, Dad, well, once we're all out the house, are you gonna move to Brazil? Because you know, I speak four languages. And 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 because they, they hear this stuff going around. And I was like, Well, I'm, I kind of like my I like home. America's my home. I, I was born here. But but if I, I, I speak Portuguese fluently, I speak Spanish fluently. Man, I, 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 can, I, I, I can I can speak passing French. You you bought you I'm telling you here. this right now. And, and what's that? I said you're not staying here. You out of here. No, but but, but but here's my problem. Is I I I care about the outcome of this country. Why? I have four children, and I I intend on having grandkids someday. So I have invested interest in this country. And we all should have a best interest in the country outside of our selfish individual uh, um, uh, cares and, and wants. We, right. mm -hmm. I mean, why, otherwise, why, why, why are we doing any of this? So I speak French too. I, you, I speak. I speak a little French. Jim my pale. Jim my pale. Yeah. Jim my pale. Yeah. Uh, these these Jim my or Gavin X if he's crazy. There you go. <laughs> right. Jim my pale. What's that? What's my name? What's your name? I, I call it's technically I call myself I call myself okay, Gavin. I call myself Te technically, but it means my name is Gavin. Um, you guys, I, I love uh, I love rolling with you guys. I came back tonight because if we can get some, if we can get ten percent, I, I would love if we can get ten percent more marriages. If we can get ten percent more marriages, right. yeah, at, at least at least one one to two generations yeah. after this will be better off. Hey. If we can get ten percent. That's all I'm asking for. Ten percent. Either I don't way, want do you check out. Men check out. It's a wrap. If a man, if man check out, it's a wrap. Do you feel disrespected up here on the panel today? Who, Who me? Yeah. Who me? Yeah, do you feel disrespected? Oh, no, 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 no. I like chopping it up. Well, I like chopping it up with different and, opinions. See, and, and, I, I, and we love that, we love having you. But this is what we talk about. See this? Lack of respect for women from men, even the lady on the panel. You see how it's perceived? Us up here Why talking about respect. respect. I don't know. No, I, 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 I agree. I don't think so but this is what we saying you see this we up here talking oh, talk okay. yeah and we love having you we up here we laugh you know we talk behind the scenes and yeah. still yet yeah, just having this conversation you know th uh airing our grievances right people see it as disrespect how they disrespect and that's what no it's not a matter mm -hmm. of disrespect it, it wasn't a matter of disrespect it was a matter this is how it comes across my understanding I was on a panel, like I said, this morning. Women said, "You're every time we're ta every time we have these discussions, men are pointing out all the negatives that women have. Instead of saying, maybe if you did this or you did that or approach them a different way, maybe the maybe the attitude will change. But if you're gonna bark at me and say I'm fat, I'm ugly, you don't want me." Why the hell would I check? Why? No, I'm not saying they say that. I'm saying they're hearing that. When you say to me, I need to be fit, feminine, and friendly, all they hear is, I'm ugly, I'm fat. And Whoa! You know. So that's all <laughs> like that. I'm just telling you. I'm just you heard it clear words. 
the Zach. I told you what they told me. Okay, yeah. but do you understand? No. There's no way to fix. We sit here and say, look, you need to get fit for your own good. You need to be feminine for the group. And they're like, oh, I'm ugly and you hate me. We, whoa. That's, that's the yeah, way they hear it. You yeah. all understand yeah. women the way women you, think. You women think. Do women think he, that way? He, he, that's you the way they something? think. You know what? You know what the difference is. Check it. Check this out. If this was all women and one man on the panel, and he was giving pushback like how you you was giving pushback, you see how we respond to it. We respond. We respond in a way where you don't feel disrespected to the point where you got to get off. Versus if if this was all women on here and one man and he's giving the pushback that you give him. Who the big call gay? Over. You were the big call gay. Hey, we we all the They call me Uncle Ruckus. And I'm the richest one on the panel. <laughs> All right, real quick, real quick. Let me give you super chats real quick. All right. Shout out to the brother Tony. Appreciate you. He says, but nobody did talk about when Kevin Samuels was going way harder yeah. on the men than yeah. the women. Nope, they didn't happen. They didn't hear it. <laughs> Appreciate yourself, Bill. Says he's the queen, got a little mouse under that ticket <laughs> <laughs> for her. <laughs> That's why she's confusing. It's good that you laugh at the jokes. He's the queen. Shout out to you. See what I'm saying? Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate the sound, Bill. Says, fun fact. Black hair market is worth over $2 billion. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you, Coffee Killer. He says, wig equals it's not your hair. It doesn't look or act like uh B Dub's hair. It stinks in the summertime. It comes in too many colors that make young women look like uh Wendy's and McDonald's daughters. Oh man. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Appreciate you, MJ. Women are not changing. Time to walk away. Your wives are coming across the southern border. Learn a foreign language like Q. And I was just about to say that when he the queen was sitting here like women ain't changing, ain't doing this. I say, do you think every other woman in this country ain't taking notes and say, okay, so they're not getting that. They're comparing notes like that's why they're taking y'all men. Long story short. Basically, so, basically what the women are saying is they can. you can always find men. There's always there going to be men. Too fuck, that's a bet. That's a bet. That's yeah, a bet. Okay. It's like there's always going to be women. There's always that's going to be men. That's a bet. We're gonna see. That's not a, uh, that's bet. Not a yeah. threat. Bet. That's not a threat to that's women. A bet. That's Even a bet. Queen, I don't know. Man. Is this camera on me? Yes. It's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. I'm just telling I don't know you, it's how not to help nobody. It's not a threat. You saying you're going to cross the border. That's you right. saying we're just going to opt out. That's not yeah. a threat because That's we don't believe you. I ain't say, hold on. I didn't no, say no, men no, was no. going anywhere with my you. last statement. You ain't getting it. There's other races of women in the country. And there's and other the races women of men. These, hold on. These <laughs> women are flooding in the borders. It sounds good. Like he said, it sounds good. Right there. Keep that energy. Keep That's that all. Man, Keep listen, that energy. Really crossing the borders, man. I'm just saying. There's a lot of them coming across our border now. Otherwise, the women would be changing in mass if they, they have did, if they, they were worried to. about the threats that men are making regarding going overseas, regarding changing the women to to different ethnicities. If they were worried about that, they would be changing in mass. You know, they are not changing I, in mass. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here the queen. Here we go. They don't believe it. I'm gonna give you the best advice my mom gave me. I remember one day my mom said, you know, she said, I'm going to whoop your butt as a kid. I said, I ain't scared of you. And and, and to rebut what you're saying, she said, you ain't got to be scared to get your butt whooped. So just because these uh, women ain't changing don't mean that the end still ain't dire. They ain't got to change. But it's still going to happen. They ain't got to change. They ain't got to be scared. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't see the change. I don't see the women change. It ain't, it ain't like you whenever right. You get on you a panel. Right. Whenever we get on a panel, it's always the the rah rah. It's always the women saying we're not changing. We're not doing any of those things. And I haven't <laughs> seen a they woman in my real time right. say she's going to change either. So I, I'm just. But they but and, and, and that's a good point you said that. And that's a good point you said that because at least if we understand in mass. That they're not going to change, and we've if we've come on these platforms. I say we men in general come on these platforms and air their grievances. It, it can't then be said 
that we didn't know that you guys were upset to that extent. Right. I, and, and, and that's the only thing I'm saying. I, I get what you're saying, Heathen Queen, but then they can't say men left without giving us warning. Right. Men right. right. And, and, that, and that's what saddens me. That what saddens me, right, that point right, right there. Right. Right. Appreciate you, right. Izzy DeVoe. I mean, I'm, I'm all for marriage, family, relationships. I want that to be the case. But that's the reason why I stopped getting into uh, panels in relationships a couple of months ago. Because it was very disheartening every time I got on a panel and people were saying, oh, we're not going to change. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. We don't want to do that. And I just got disheartened. And it was just till later, lately, that I got on Hamp's panel. Uh, that I started to get back on panels because I was so disheartened from what I was hearing. So I have not seen a change since I got off panels. I have not seen a change since that time. For the so better. Saying, For the better. It's gotten worse, probably. So that's what I'm saying. It's gotten worse. So mm. that's changed. That's still that's changed though. That's changed. Well, well, yeah. I guess if you're measuring that way. Appreciate you, Izzy yeah. DeVoe. Says, thank you, Heathen Queen, for validating what we already knew. The men are moving on. Asian or Latina, first generation will suffice. Amen. <laughs> Appreciate you, Emmanuel. Says, when Malcolm X said we will die for our women, he didn't include the 304s or women who didn't belong to us. That part. Right. Appreciate you, MJ. He says, I didn't cross a border. She came to me. Niho. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are. We get you in here, Red Pills. Your final thoughts, brother. Um, I just want to say, uh, like I told on my channel. By the way, man, somebody follow my channel. No, just, like, yeah, no, yes, for sure. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Red Pill Rangers. I'm going to be checking you out, man. You got a lot yes, going on. Uh, so, yeah. On my channel, the Red Pill Ranger, spell it just like that. And on there, I mean, I brought that up because I made a video where I said, pretty much, fellas, just let it all burn to the ground. Okay. Let the day market burn to the ground, and we're going to see what rise from the ashes because it's over. Because what you yeah. Queen said is true. That's a <laughs> common sentiment. They don't, they don't care what we got to say. They don't care what we think. They don't care what we feel. They don't care about our opinion. They smarter than us, they better than us, and they don't need us. And they said mm -hmm. this loud and proud. Right. You can't negotiate with terrorists. You're not going to change that. So uh, at that point, just step back, Amen. work out, get your money up, Amen. become the best version of yourself, and let the dating market just burn to the ground. Amen. See what rise from the ashes, just like the phoenix rise. Something's going to rise from those ashes. And Trump is going to be better. And it's probably going to be like Leon said earlier, where you got seven women running two men that got their shit together talking about, I'm okay because I'm okay with being your side piece. Because literally in my life, I'm a married man, but I had women that got to know me in the army or in college or something like that and was willing to be my number two because it was better than being these other dudes' girlfriend. It was, I offer more to her as being a side piece that she can get from these other cats. And that's how it's going to be. When you're a certain guy, you got certain stuff going on, like Leon said, seven men, seven, one man got seven wives talking about, yo, just take me. That's what's going to rise from the ashes. Be ready, fellas. Just get your stuff up. There you go. Yeah. Believe yeah. that. Believe that. So what you got, brother Leo? What you got for him? You muted. You muted right now. Let me, uh, you muted, Leo. You got to unmute. My fault, my fault. Go. Shout out to you, Red you Pill. I'm going I'm to subscribe to you too, brother. I'm going to subscribe to you as well, man. Yeah, I've been dropping, I queen. dropped this link in the chat. So this link is in the Appreciate chat. I'm dropping it again right now. You too, you too, Heathen Queen. I'm, I'm going to definitely uh, let, take a zone in on your channel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got to do some well. research. <laughs> don't, don't, check it out, uh, man. Don't, don't uh, take me. Don't, don't. I'm, I'm saying just... Nah, nah, you take me with a grain of salt. I'm, I'm wilding. You yeah. good, you good, you good. We got love moments, for you, but, you good. <laughs> but listen, look, man, I like I told y'all, man, I'm just happy to be married, man. Like, honestly, in this day and time, I am happy to be married. I'm happy I was able to even 
get to this point in my life with my wife where we have a really good understanding and we understand there's a war going on outside. No man mm-hmm. is safe from, you know what I mean? And it, especially when it comes to um, our community and my wife is from here, she's American, like she's homegrown and she's been through all this modern stuff and to see her rise out of the ashes and actually be a woman is like a blessing for me because I, I didn't, I didn't get a divorce, you know what I mean? And I was able to salvage the, 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 the woman that I saw, I was able to salvage all of the good stuff inside of that and get rid of most of the bad habits that came with it, you know? So I'm fortunate, but I don't think that um, a lot of these women today are going to have the mental fortitude to even stick it through and, and actually be able to humble themselves to understand that, you know, marriage is an actual tra- traditional thing. It looks, it looks attractive from the outside, but it comes with a lot of hard work and let me tell you something a lot of them don't got that mental fortitude for it now can they do it yeah it's possible but if you've got if you if there's no accountability in it coming from one another like i always say and y'all hold that sister wall of silence it's a wrap it's a wrap man and it's sad because my wife is seeing it and she's so every day my wife is coming to me now she's starting to see more and more and more what i've been telling her what kevin sam has been saying what what she she like watching y'all right and she love watching Gab and 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 Walker love watching y'all and she also um Theo I mean she's all in the space because she realized that the, the real women are in the spaces watching and they're learning you got some that are trolling but there's some that are actually learning and they get in it right now because the whole purpose of this program that y'all put together all the time is to bring awareness we're in the year of awareness so it is very important in like I said, y'all, I'm I'm truly happy to see every single one of y'all on here that kind of share similar ideas as men and women too that are here. But we needed space like this a long time ago, brothers. This to me is better than a million man march. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a hundred on that. I appreciate it. Man, appreciate it. like you said, that carries a lot of weight, Leo. We appreciate that, brother. And mm-hmm. like you said, just these spaces on YouTube in general. And mm-hmm. We'll get you in here, Joker. What you got, brother? What's your final thoughts for tonight? You've been ro- rocked out with us tonight. Yeah, Truly yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Man, so um, pay to play. Women going to have to pay to play. Men been doing it for years. So, I mean, women going to do it. So, that's pretty much. Women going to pay to play. Gail is going to pay to play. It is what it is. Um, uh, Kevin Samuels, man. Um, whew, um I, I always was on YouTube. I've been doing music since I was 15. And I had this little YouTube. I had this YouTube uh, page because I was doing music. So I was on YouTube doing music. I didn't know nothing about podcasting and Manosphere. And my one of my homeboys, he, he was married. He is married. And he put me on to Kevin Samuels. So when I started watching Kevin Samuels, I was raised by my grandparents. So I was raised by my grandfather. So Kevin Samuels kind of just his aura kind of just reminded me of my G pops. So he passed, but, um, Kevin was, man, Kevin just, he kind of opened because it was like, I knew things, but when he put it, when he put it up up front, like, it was just like, I was like, Whoa, okay. So he kind of opened my eyes about relationships and, and, and marriage and, and like, you know, what a man is supposed to do and what a man is supposed to, supposed to get from his woman. And, you know, like, it it, it 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 was deep. It was deep. Kevin, man, Kevin, oof, Kevin helped me. He helped me. He helped me with um being a man and wanting to be a husband and wanting a wife and you know wanting to take that responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Because like you know I'm like I'm I'm from the hood. Like I'm from where we don't get married and you know we we you know we 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 don't graduate and you know we you know. We just have a whole bunch of babies, you know, baby mamas and stuff. So um, Kevin was real. Kevin was the truth. So by saying that is with these podcasts, you know, uh, what Gavin and Mr. Walker, what y'all doing, man, it's, it's, it's like, because like I say, I after Kevin passed, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know who I was going to watch. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I got hit on to y'all page and – Kevin was like, I mean, because I'm, I'm I'm a Christian too. I read the Bible. But um, to me, Kevin was like, Kevin was Jesus. And then 
Kevin T passed, and now you guys are his disciples, and y'all spreading more of his word, and and you know his, you know y'all. So y'all are Kevin. This is, we are Kevin Samuel's disciples, and we're we're spreading that word. We keeping his his word alive. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate I appreciate you know what what Gavin X, Mr. Walker, you know Red Pill Ranger, Leo, you know uh, Leon King, Q. You know, Heathen Queen, The Chat, Crystal, Pick Me, uh, Tyranny, you know, all y'all, you know, I, you know, I love all y'all. I appreciate what everybody is doing. You feel me? You know, blessings to the marriages, blessings to family, blessings to, you know, just everybody, whatever, whatever everybody is going through, blessings to all of that. And um, just shout out to The Chat. Shout out to you know to the pot to the panel. Uh shout out to Theo Cool because if it wasn't for Theo, I wouldn't even know nothing about y'all. I was in Theo's chat and Mr. Walker was in there and Theo said Mr. Walker name and just his Mr. Walker name just kind of I was like Mr. Walker and then he was like single by choices. That name lured me to y'all because when he said right. that name, subscribe gotcha. to single by choice. I'm like, what let me check this out. And I'm checking out y'all and then Gavin with, with the diamond and and miss like what y'all doing, man, is is just keep it up. Just don't stop and just keep ever ever elevating, you know, ideas. Y'all coming up with ideas every week, Monday through Sunday. I don't care. You know, I know y'all got y'all live shows, but Monday through Sunday, y'all coming with it. You feel me? And just keep it going, man. Keep it going. I love everybody. You know, and I, 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 I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate yeah, you, stuff, man. Stuff like that definitely keep us going, man. Cause mm -hmm. it ain't always easy, but like I said, when you got people supporting, it makes it you know a little easier to do this every single day. So mm -hmm. appreciate that. So what you got for us, uh, Leon? What you got, Leon? Qu something quick, now. Okay. <laughs> now you get. Um, Kevin's still alive. His uh, his his uh, videos are still available, just like the Bible. You know, there's other uh, material. Uh, a real Leo, check out Geno Genesis. You know, and everything. I know uh, the truth. Look, somebody said that uh, men. Uh, are supposed to be chasing women, woman, uh, heathen queen, I guess, uh, men are chasing. No, there's nothing biblical about a man chasing a woman. A man chasing a woman is out of order. Man is supposed to chase God, you know. So, uh, and uh, if a man chases God, a woman is going to come along. But you just have to have discernment about the type of woman that you want in your life. And if you're going to listen to Kevin Samuel's message, then understand this. Don't neglect the videos that's out here. All his videos are still available. I go to sleep sometimes listening to him and wake up listening to him. You know, so the, the, the teachings are still out here. And I do want to say this, you know, I probably shouldn't, but uh, Kevin Samuels got his main talking points from Tommy Sotomayor. And, you know, that's all I can say about that. And, um, you know, so Kevin's words are still out here. Don't neglect. Look, the number one thing that men should do when we learn something is continually learn something you do not grow by what you know you grow by what you don't know and independence is mr walker said at one time independence is a sign of immaturity it's intra dependence that we should strive for that's my life. And, and, and I agree. And shout out to Red Pill. I see you said, you know, you can't listen to him. I feel kind of the same way about it. It's kind of like, it's like watching 
You know, even it reminds me like when I was coaching football and we, you know, we lost our first championship. The first time we made, we lost, and I can never watch that film even to this day. I don't want to watch it because it's just like, ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be for like real. that sometimes for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. You can learn from your mistakes. Your past is only a roadmap to your future. But no, you're right, though. It's there, especially for people who have never seen it. If you mm-hmm. wasn't here, when if you didn't get to live it, like I said, if you got to live it, it's totally different right now. Mm-hmm. So y'all, y'all definitely need to check it out. But for the people that actually lived through it and was watching it live night after night, it's just a different, it's hard. Different. Yeah. It's very, it's hard. Hard, bro. I yeah. agree with you. It's very hard, you know. But guess what? Kevin gave us what God wanted him to give us. And then he was gone. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't be selfish like that. He gave us what he gave us, and that's it. You know, we can't get mad because he went on. You know, what we need to do is take what he said, apply it to our lives, and continually sharpen the blade. You know, so that's all I got to say. There you go. Appreciate that, Leon. So mm-hmm. we'll get Heathen Queen in to close it out. What you got, Heathen Queen? Hey, look, I got to go because I got to get up in the morning and yes, talk. Sir. Yes, sir. I got to go to my. I got to go to my white church, <laughs> and um, <laughs> if you want the truth, go to go to a good white church. <laughs> White Jesus. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm I'm dip out too, fellas. Um, right, like I right, say, right, shout right. out, to, shout out to my wife, shout out to y'all wives, yeah. shout out to y'all yeah, family. Appreciate the love, bro. Me, you know, just shout out. I'm gonna go go make love to my wife and and, and make sure you drop your link in the chat too. Make sure y'all subscribe to Joe Cornell uh, YouTube channel. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. All right, so, White Jesus. Appreciate time. you, brother. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, I only have I only have a couple of words. As I, I stated, uh, stated years ago. Uh, uh, as, as I stated, I just came back to the YouTube simply because I was disheartened from what I was hearing. Because I came on very enthusiastic. Oh, I'm a you know I'm a I'm a widow, and you know there might be some young ladies online who might want to know what it's like to be married and da 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 da. And once I got here, it was like, oh no, they don't want to hear about that. Oh, no, they don't want to change. They don't want to do any of that. So I was very disheartened. So I got out of the way of uh, that kind of uh, relationship talk, right? Because I did hear, as I came in after uh, Kevin Samuels had passed. So what I had taken away from him, like I said, was you have to be what someone else wants. You can't you know. You didn't know about Kevin when he was alive, you said? <clears throat> uh-uh. okay. I, I, I started... I started uh, on the internet. I started on the internet last year, last okay. year, uh, uh, September, so uh, August and September. So I, I had, not, I had heard of him. I had heard of him, obviously, but I had not thought to get online because I didn't know how to work technology. So I had never thought to get online to listen to what he had to say, really. So I never saw the first viral video. I guess it would be. I've never seen any of that kind of stuff. I've only heard snippets. But when I took what I took from him was that you had to be you had to whatever you have to figure out what kind of person you want and you have to be what that person wants. So you have to change for what that person wants in order for that person to want you. So I was I took that away from what he said. I took that away from the lessons that he taught. He taught many lessons, I'm sure. But my whole point was I hate to be disheartened from what I hear, but I don't hear positive I don't hear coming together of what we, I don't hear people coming together. We want relationships. We want marriage, but yet people come on here every day and we bash bash each other. Great. You want to point out the things that are wrong with women. Okay. We get that. I'm sure that they've heard it. They've rejected that. They've reject, not rejected, but maybe, maybe don't see where they go wrong. But I also see the other side where they say, well, I can lose weight, but you still weren't marrying your women. 
Why? Well, that that's crazy. Saying, I'm just <laughs> saying talking that's about this what I hear. Like, I'm just saying talking, what I oh, hear. I'm, I mean, that may not be true, but that's what I, I'm I'm hearing. And then that's the submission. Say lose weight and get feminine and fit first, and bring bring your best self to the table. Be who y'all claim you are, nines and tens. Be that. Well, man, I, I get that. I get, I get like, all of that. I get all of that. I, I get all of that. I mean, I'm saying I'm aged out of the game. I was told that I was aged out of the game. <laughs> so I have no need to talk. I heard somebody say that to me two days ago, and I was like, really? You this see? is what we done came to? And yeah. it was a woman. Tell us it was somebody. It was a black woman that said that to you. No, no, no. It wasn't a black woman. It was a, it was a man who it said it. It was a young it, guy. I was like, <laughs> really? I, I didn't even well, you know how to work it. Do you, do you think women, do you think it's not possible for a woman to age out? No, I'm not saying that they can't age out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you can't age out. I'm saying, I mean, that's a disheartening statement for to it tell is. women when they hit 30 or above that they've aged out of the market. That's yeah, disheartening. That's wild. That's so wild. therefore, they don't have any encouragement to change. They don't have any encouragement. You mean to tell me a be- you wouldn't take a if you were forty and you wouldn't and, and you had two choices: a fat twenty-five year old female who don't have kids standing in front of you, and then there's a fit feminine and fit and feminine woman that's thirty-five. You wouldn't take the thirty-five year old. Would she be aged out of the market to you? That's if she, she, had kids. And she, she don't. Have, kids. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If they were both equal, except the 25 year old was fat, but of then you course had not, Mary. I mean, Of course, the woman exactly. Woman. So I'm saying, stop telling example. women that yeah, because they're 30 that with. they've aged out of the market. Stop telling women that. Yeah, right. what, 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 what example don't work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You so we need to tell. We're not tell. We're not telling. I always hear fit, we're not telling. You, you, well, no, no, we're not telling fit, feminine, childless women at thirty five that is over, over. You are put. You playing games. Wait you a minute. I hear it all the time. No, you Even when she's thirty five no, years no, old. You, no, 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 it. no, no. It's based fit, on what she asked for. You said fit, feminine. We and ain't no nobody step here. So no fit, feminine, childless woman. And th- we 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 up here Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays, and we ain't never no. Well, well the, the real question is: Do you think that that it's a thirty-five year old woman fit, feminine, and friendly, and a twenty-five year old woman fit, so feminine, why, and friendly? So why you, are we telling? Do, why are no, we no, no, hold on. on. Do you think those two women qualify for the same man? What the the twenty-five say the woman again? Say the women one twenty-five, one thirty-five, and they both equally fit and friendly. You guys said that they qualify for the same man. You guys said that. No, no we don't. don't. No, we don't. If he's forty, they fighting for the same man. They qualify for the same man. They fighting for the same man. They competing for the same man, not qualifying. So the thirty-five-year-old don't qualify for the forty-year-old man. She can't compete with the twenty-five-year-old. Is she out of her depth? But she's but the twenty-five-year-old is. Is partially uh, 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 not fit, not fit, as opposed to the thirty-five. No, I said they both, both fit. They both fit, and that's what we get. You get these thirty-five-year-old women who's still in shape, and they think they can compete, and they gotta understand they lane now. What lane is the thirty-five-year-old? It's not. It's not. Uh, a high value man. It's not the guy making two hundred thousand dollars with no kids. And he's why is it that on. she can't command it, and she's not? She's fit, feminine, because the twenty. Four year old woman want him to admit, but he don't what? pick the twenty four year old. Just like we show, we show with Russell you know Wilson. That's that's you don't that's pick cow. the best choice. Russell says with, yeah, with Jeff Bezos, you don't pick the right, the yeah. best. Yeah. Those are terrible examples. Those are terrible examples. They don't pick the best. They don't always pick the best choice. Well, man, those men ain't trying to marry. Most of those guys aren't really looking for a wife. Jeff Bezos didn't marry that woman. Yeah, as far as what they like to sleep with, what they're attracted to. Really? <laughs> now we gonna go down that route. Listen. You you're you're not attracted to preference. The a preference. What do you mean? I just bought a new car the other uh, day. It ain't super new. It's twenty twenty one. Um, they had a whole bunch of cars at the lot. They had some twenty eighteens, but I got the newest one I could afford, and my credit could cover. Amen. That's what. That's the same thing men gonna do with these women. <laughs> Amen. That's and it. not comparing women to cars, just comparing value to value. Mm-hmm. 
But that's yeah. not that's it, not how you all think when you're attracted to a woman. No, not for fucking me, my See, If you take into account, uh, what's that one lady who got pregnant by that nineteen year old or twenty one year old? See, that's that's the thing. I, the um, guys y'all always referencing talking about y'all guys don't think like that. And I've said this. It's unfortunate. He had all the they, choices in the world. Why did he choose that older woman? To too many, pregnant? too many of y'all sisters don't come across enough good men, and I and I hate that for y'all. I really That's do. The answer my question, Mister Walker. Why did he get <laughs> why did he get that woman pregnant and she forty years old and he twenty five? What twenty one? I, I will answer. I will answer every time, like I always do. Like I said, that she's she's a modern day sex symbol. He was hunching and he's young. She preyed on him. And she's a because, son because he was attracted to what he was attracted to. Regardless of marriage, ain't no marriage. It's He's easy acting. Liar. It's what, you, what you talking about. Ain't nobody talking about. Liar. That's normal. You for you are attracted to well, forty. That's normal for a forty-year-old woman to look like that. No, she's a sex demon. What I'm she's saying is, is the attraction yeah, yes. is the attraction, regardless of whether she's a three or four, or she's a good girl, or she's a nun. Attraction is attraction. What are you talking this about? What I'm what talking about. about. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, you're saying that you have a set thing, you have a criteria that you go by for women, or yes. or high value man goes by a certain criteria. No, yes. he doesn't. He goes by what he's attracted to. They so say high value. We, we we already debunked this. We and as we keep doing the same thing. The guys you keep mentioning have value. Stop that. They just and, got money. And also too, you, um, it's a poor man do the same thing. And, and why? And so, and why aren't we discounting? The fact, if all things being equal, 39-year-old woman, 24-year-old woman, why can't it be that the older woman understands the game better than the 24-year-old woman? She probably understood the game better. The, the younger girl, I'm, just ma I'm making assumptions, the younger girl probably came at him asking for a bunch of stuff, and the other one's like, well, that don't work, so let me get in with him first, get him hooked, and then I got him. Are, are we talking you're, not, about you're not playing the same game. You, the 39 year old is not playing the same game as 24 year old. And she wasn't. A, he wasn't the first celebrity high high caliber, well off man. She dated Chris Brown for a while. She got a, a baby from another athlete. Um, she's dated several high high profile men, so she know how to work high profile men. Yeah, she knows the game. She knows yeah, the right, game. But we're not talking about her motivations. We're talking about his motivation. Why did he get her pregnant? Because he's only twenty one. He, he has all these options, though. Right? He's twenty one, but he has all these options. I just though. told you, forty five. What if I got with a twenty one year old girl? You think I was a creepo weird, and I'd be taking advantage of her and grooming yep. and all that yep. kind that's of weirdo shit? I, I didn't say she was wasn't a weirdo. So that's how he I'm, got her. I'm so I'm yes. that's how he's he prey on him. him. So you, so so on him. you can't say she ain't a weirdo and don't say she didn't prey on him. His brain ain't even fully developed. I'm saying the male brain. He was a powerful woman. I'm saying he was attracted to her. Nobody told him to walk over there and talk to that older his woman. His brain's you not stop. lit. His you brain stop. scientifically not fully developed. But yet and still, older men want women that are 21. His brain don't develop. No, male brain don't fully develop to 27 years old. Yes. And women's brains develop. Actually, all the physically faster than us. I told you my nine-year-old daughter just had a cycle. <laughs> and she got hair down there. Nine years old. So women just develop physically faster than men in general most of the time. There you go. So, so that's that's the thing, and that's that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Either Quinn, we can't sit up here act like these like somebody like Drea is so is defenseless. No, I'm not. That's not or, or I'm innocent. What I said, you cannot sit up here and say the guy that's 21 is innocent and defenseless. You cannot say that. I he said he, I, I, he has I, all these I, men around him. He has, I, all I, the, he, he has all the NBA around him. He has all the old schools around him. He has all of the men telling him she's a 304. He has all of the men telling him that she ain't no good. He has all the men telling him all of these things about this Drea woman. Sound so good, but she, when he getting them new photos across the phone, he ain't trying to hear nothing. Anybody talking about when Drea's sending him photos you so understand? why did he fall for it then when he knew all he the trying to he clap knew. some cheeks like young men do what do you mean so therefore he willingly walked into that right because he was i know ignorantly ignorantly yeah. he didn't know how is he ignorant how 
He didn't know better. He don't have all the yeah, knowledge. I, I, yes, he did. I he bet you any right. money. If you ask him this question when he's 30, he's gonna be like, I should have never been with that woman. It just it's part of it's life. And better still, why did he why did he give her permission to get pregnant? He we don't give nobody permission to do anything. Yeah, you do. You get you, no, you get, he gave her permission to get pregnant. Yes, he did. But but here we go. She are you are man. We had this conversation by what by by depositing his seed, right? Now yes. it's the weird. Yes, he 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 deposited. He gave her his seed. He gave her the permission. He he whizzed inside of that woman, and he God, said, "You can it. have my sperm. You can have it to do with what you want." So when let's, 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 girl... let's get into it. Let's get into it. We know how this happened. This young boy out here. This young man. This young man. Mm -hmm. He already playing basketball. He got a busy schedule. Let's get into it. He going around. These women like Dre, they know where to be. Right. You catch this brother at some away game or wherever, and you be like, hey, got got some hot box here. Mm -hmm. He he go say, okay, some man say, okay, going to get some mm -hmm. hot box. Mm -hmm. And then now he now he in them sweet watery guts. And she's like, hey, I'm safe. You can go ahead and 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 shoot this thing up. And he like, that's a bet. And <laughs> so we're gonna stop acting like. We don't know how they what was going so on. That, so, the the words, so the words so the words that's a bet. So the words that's a bet is his for his his uh uh his acquiescence. Oh, is his go. yes he almost got to take his sperm. That's that's his yes to take his sperm. So but you no, say the part right now. You know that, that phrase. You didn't hear me. She said, I'm safe. That's what these women will say. They say, I'm safe, you good. And then what are you I'm supposed on. to say? What are you, you supposed to say? No, no, no. What are you supposed to say when you what don't want to have kids? I'm, I'm finna put on a condom. I ain't finna. Fuck All right, her I'm glad you said that. And who's, who, hold on. Who's to say the condom didn't break? Who's to say? Yeah, Get that part. So that's what we said. That's what we said. Oh, we ain't, that ain't what we did. We oh, got, we don't. She, she, we ain't she got he, More than likely, he didn't wear a condom. So she got bro, he The wins. condom broke. The condom broke. So no. He ain't no yeah. cop. Yeah. No yeah. More than likely, he was sitting, he was hitting it raw. No, no. no. see why? See that? You see that? I love it. He ain't ain't no way he had a hub on. Ain't no way it broke. Even though it's on record that Drake was out here wearing hubs, and the sister went and extracted it from the garbage can and and inseminated herself. But no, women don't do that. There's no way. He Wait, did the girl get pregnant by Drake? He, he put hot no, sauce in it. No, because he put hot sauce in it. He put hot sauce in his car. She got burnt. Done. She tried to sue him. She tried but to I'm sue him. She got burnt because I tried to steal your seat. When you so we, I'm saying, we need to stop. So here we go, Heath the Queen. Even when guys say, I'm not giving you my seat, but we should we'll still go in the garbage can. It's no, original. We ain't doing no exceptions. What we ain't doing no, is you so when, you know, when you <laughs> don't when you get you gave you gave her permission. What do you mean? <laughs> you gave her permission when you. We're not talking about wearing a condom or busting a hole. Or but, but we don't know. He we're talking about when men when men have raw condom. sex with women. You are queen. giving that woman permission to do what she wants to do with that sperm. When you have sex with what about the man? Well, he said he was about to pull out, and she wrapped her legs around. Was like. Keep it in. He you, trying to get you, out. You no she wrapped her to... legs. No, he's the queen. She wrapped them legs around him. He couldn't you move. Had no business he had no business she, sticking no, it in she without a condom in. on. The condom the broke. The condom broke and she locked him in. No, no. That. We talking about having raw no. sex. No. A lot of people <laughs> have raw sex. <laughs> what you got, Red Pill? What's your final words? I was going to tell her, that boy, that woman got 20 years more experience than that boy. She put some shit on him like he ain't never had it before. <laughs> She, she, about, she need a butt what she need a she, butt what she feel she 39 he 21 she got that dude it was it's a clear bullshit i cannot do, a, like i said if I, a million dollar come my, up. if I put all my grown man moves on somebody 21 year old daughter i'd be dead goddamn wrong but i have her nose wide the fuck open <laughs> she'd be standing outside my door like a goddamn cat waiting on some goddamn milk <laughs> and that's what he did to that damn girl <laughs> I and mean, that's what she did to him. She put that 39 year old, well experienced ass, and she fine as hell. You know what she look like? Hey, hey, hey. You know what she look like? Hey, I him? ain't mad at her. I know what she look like. Listen, she put some boy, he, because he, I, I, I thought he was a virgin, but he ain't never had it like that before. <laughs> he had it. He had it. It wasn't no pull out. Hmm.
No, like I said, we need to stop acting like in the throes of passion. We know, we know what words are said in throes of passion. You they come on, this oh, they should have called that boy over. They should have called that boy. It was, that boy. that sister. It was way too easy. It was way. Too Why they didn't tell that boy? All the Why men around him. To you. Why ain't y'all telling Bonquisha these girls? We just had the girl Percy. She was 18 years old in high school, pregnant with her second child. Why Look, ain't we ain't talking about no po bitches. We talking about the ones that got the money. What? Make me. <laughs> Look, man, we appreciate y'all for coming up. Easy yeah. Queen. Oh. Thank you, y'all. Right, that man, was good night. We appreciate you, Easy Queen. Right. Awesome show. Yeah. We right. appreciate you, Red Pill, man. Right, man. We appreciate care. you, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh huh. Man, let's get these super chats real quick. Oh, Holy hell, Mr. Walker. <laughs> appreciate your sister, Triple Seven. Don't I say that? Just say May. Jayza. Is it Jayza? Jason May. Appreciate you with the $10 super sticker. Thank you. Josiah, don't get us. We dyslexic. <laughs> Shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. He's been requesting this all night. Can I get a vagina? <laughs> Shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. Make sure y'all go over and subscribe to his channel. We'll drop a vagina in here. Where are you at? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Vagina. Give me some of that vagina. That was that, that young brother. That's what he said to it. <laughs> that brother, wow. <laughs> Appreciate you, Joker Nutty Nate. Thank you, brother, for coming through. Says, thanks for having me, fellas. About to go tell my wife to give me some of that vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Regal Rumble. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Shout out to Joker Nutty Nate, man. <laughs> we appreciate you for cooking up with us, man. It's a hell of a show tonight, brother. Yes, yes, thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Christopher, come through the 10 bucks. Says, we don't, we don't know that. She could have turkey based her, that guy. Yeah, See, all man. of the above. And uh, hold on. Let's get one thing perfectly clear. <laughs> perfectly clear. Um, Whatever that brother's name is, make sure you get a DNA test. Because you're going to get the last laugh. As chances are, you're going to get the last laugh, brother. You ain't trying to say, look, I'm trying to tell you. First of all, let's make sure she's pregnant for sure. Secondly, let's make sure this 40-year-old woman can carry this baby till term. Thirdly, make sure that's your kid. All right. <laughs> All of the above. Godspeed. Uh -huh. Appreciate you, Millie Mayo. Come through. I think it's the first time through. Appreciate the two dollar super sticker, sister. It's causing trouble in the chat. Yeah, Millie said my ball stank. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she came in like that. Y'all ninjas balls, they. <laughs> and Leon go, Leon gonna say, not me. I just washed my Leon. Hold on. Stop the cap. <laughs> Shout out to Leon. Man. They gonna say Crystal will be 25 cent. Leon, you really sent the dollar to the super chat. Disrespectful. We appreciate it though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Holy Leon. Crazy. So here we go. We're going to get out of here. Shout out to the show sponsors. Shout out to Gwendolyn. Shout out to Damon. EJ Uno. Sal Bill. This show was a hoot, man. This was a classic. Man, tell you what, I appreciate everybody's bringing the Godfather into the room. My man Joker and they said Ken was Jesus. <laughs> Baby. Like you said, hey, I get what you said, Joker Nate. Nate. Yeah, you're speaking, we, yeah. in, speaking in YouTube, YouTube context. You yeah, know? we, yeah, we black, got you. YouTube black male manosphere context. There you go. Right, we so. understood. Yeah, we ain't that full of ourselves, and we ain't that out of touch. Reality. We appreciate. We appreciate that, brother. But yeah, that my biggest thing with this is here's the thing: we got to stop being so sensitive. I swear to goodness, like listen to the brother, real Leo. Listen to these real men. That come up here when they speak. Real Leo said he had to learn. I had to learn. You know, us us fatherless men, we had to learn from somebody. And the 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 spirit that was Kev, he helped a lot of us with that. And and he didn't he wasn't bashing women. Kev made videos for over two years, only 
only, only, only telling men where they were missing, what they needed to fix, as he was building himself, if you watch the journey. And it wasn't until he decided to antagonize the women and tell them some truth that he blew up, you see. So that's the thing. Ain't no bashing. And Heathen Queen continues to, you know, uh, perpetrate the misunderstanding by saying, oh, he was bashing women, but she never even watched one video. And, <laughs> and Kev was, he was here tonight. He had a front row seat and he was watching you, Heath the Queen. And you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Uh, he heard everything you said, Heath the Queen, like <laughs> all the misinformation you were spreading today. Yeah. Accountability because overall message, accountability and self-awareness is beautiful. Get some. Don't care how it comes. If 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 it comes in the form of your fat, you need to do better. Eat that and change for the better and, and see if you don't get the desired results. I assure you, you will. Gotta got to get rid of that sensitive, y'all sensitive ass skin. Y'all just sensitive. So here we go, folks. We're going to get up out of here tonight. Make sure y'all hit the like button on the way out, no matter which channel you're watching on. Um, also, I'm dropping the link for the Carpet for the Horse channel. That's where this live stream will live. If you want to watch the replay, head over to the Carpet for the Horse channel. Link's in the chat. That's where this replay will live. Um, tomorrow, Single by Choices. We'll be back up here tomorrow. I know tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday, so uh -oh. what time does the game start? I think I guess the game starting around like 6.30, 6.40. So, and then you got uh -oh. that halftime show. So the game probably going to be on to about 10 o'clock at least. So, Kay. we'll see. We're thinking our normal time, and we're going to go ahead. There you go, G. Honda say 6.30. So. There we go. Can, can single by choices compete with the Super Bowl? We'll find out. Tomorrow on next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so there you go. We will, we plan on being up here at our same time. G Honda will say Super Bowl, no single by choices. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. You know what? There you go. I appreciate that. Cause guess guess who ain't the CEO no more for that blasphemous, blasphemous, tyrannical act. How dare you see co? I mean, uh, a past CEO. Fired, <laughs> and there you go. So, who knows? Hopefully, you know, by halftime, it could be a blowout and everybody be over here. But one thing for sure, two things for sure, we're gonna be here. We'll probably be the only live show on YouTube. Y'all ain't gonna have no choice but to come on in. All right, there you go. And only a Le Leon King, if it's just you, if we look up and see it's just you watching, that's all we need, brother. Just one person. <laughs> <laughs> they say make tyranny the halftime. Be on the lookout. We might bring tyranny on tomorrow's show. Y'all never know. Y'all want to be there. We got some surprises tomorrow. There you go. Tyranny's uh, halftime performance singing the Nita Baker's greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. Boom, so there you go. Like I said, we'll be back up here tomorrow. Here's the link for the cart before the horse channel. Um. Right there, head over, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to both channels, hit the like button. Single by choices tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday. We up here, we moving. We'll be back tomorrow like we never left. So until then, <laughs> hit the like button on your way out. This was a fantastic show. Shout out to everybody who came through and supported, whether it was Leon with his $1 to the you know to, to the show sponsors we appreciate all y'all man that part we appreciate the twos and fuse we ain't we ain't making choosers <laughs> so until then we'll see y'all tomorrow night i am gavin x i am mr walker and we are cartfoot horse productions good morning mm -hmm.